Darkness. Confusion. Uncertainty. The last clear image in your mind is of two strangely robed ogres confronting you and your companion Daisy while you were enjoying the comforts of a hot spring in the forested mountains of northwestern Drakkar. And beyond that point, only muddled thoughts and visions flow through you like creeping fog. You feel somehow weightless and heavy, both absent and present, awake and asleep. With these contrasting feelings comes neither panic nor calmness, but instead simple numb attentiveness as you watch the land move beneath you and the sky turn colors from brilliant blue to dark blue gray of night and back again. A handful of days seemingly pass, and your weird voyage comes to an end. Awareness within you begins, slowly to stir and re-emerge, and your dulled senses start to come back to you. Scrim, you feel warmth. Fresh, pleasant, sweet air fills your lungs. The sensation of cool, oiled wood comes to you next beneath your hands, face, and body, and your bleary <laughs> eyes open. The room isn't completely dark, but it takes a moment for your eyes to adjust to the dim light. The lone window in this room is blocked by thick fabric drapes, and the only light is what little daylight bleeds from behind its edges. It is dead quiet, save for the subtle breathing sounds coming from a nearby human sitting and sleeping just at the door opposite you. A human wearing robes that you don't recognize. Sitting up, you discover the long and wide dinner table that supports you. Exquisitely crafted, indeed, the table <clears throat> and all of the furnishings that surround you are massive and ornate and gaudy. Mm -hmm. Confusion still slowly fading from you, you realize your adventuring gear seems to be missing, replaced by simple linen robes. Curiously, you also notice an odd bangle or pendant has been fitted around your neck. Huh. Reaching up, you can feel the band clutching tightly. <sighs> You look again at the only other humanoid in the room, and for a moment, you see a double image. Are his eyes open? Yes. And worse, they glow red. Blinking, you see the eyes of this robed humans quickly fade back to closed. A trick of the light, perhaps. He appears to be softly napping. You wake up to the situation you now find yourself in. What happens next is up to you. Ah. Oh, 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 wait, why, oh, the, the hot spring, oh, why, why am I on a dinner table? Oh, no. Uh, uh, I will, um, immediately notice, like you said, that my belongings are gone. Does the robe that I have have any pockets? Um, checking, <clears throat> you, you don't seem to have any, uh, uh immediate access to pockets. Uh, it, it, no, no, you don't, you don't have any, uh, any pockets on you. I look for the coin. Oh. Where could I, where, did I finally get rid of this accursed thing? Is it gone? And you feel underneath your butt. <laughs> between between the your fabric chips. of the robes and the dinner table. Ah. This, ah. The hard metal feeling of an impression. I should have known. Ah, well, I guess, you know, I can't get rid of this thing, so I guess and I'll like wipe it off on my robe and I'll actually stick it like in my cheek. Because there's nowhere else for me to put it. I know I can't get rid of it. I don't want to leave it around somewhere. Uh, okay, well, I mean, where, where am I? Uh, I don't have any of my things. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to look towards where I saw what I thought were the red eyes. But is this uh, this 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 humanoid person? Um, and I'll get up, and I'll just very quietly creep over and, like, look up over to see if I can get a look at their face. Uh, you walk up to the man, and, and uh, he's wearing uh, dark robes, um, very similar to what to what you're uh, wearing as well. Um, uh, are you being especially quiet? Yes. Or are you okay? Make a stealth check for me. I would love to. Oh boy. Nine. I'm not oh. proficient in stealth. Uh, with a nine, uh, you your first step down off of the table. God damn it. Creaks and uh, he starts to disturb, and this human uh, sits sits up uh, on a human-sized chair, and he um, immediately locks eyes with you. 
Oh, hey, it's okay. Oh, just easy, easy. I, I wasn't, I wasn't doing anything nefarious. I'm just trying to figure out where I am. Uh, who, who are you? He Whoa, reaches, what are you? He starts to reach down. What are you and reaching you for? See, you see that he's got a large brass handbell just at his side. Easy. Oh, oh no, there's no need for that. There's no need for that. There's no need for that. <laughs> just, I just want to know where I am. I'm very confused. I just woke up here. You don't, you don't speak. You're, you're just like the others. What? Have you seen any of my friends? They're a lot taller than me. Well, except for one of them. She's just a little bit taller than me. She's ears. Furry. No, no. Anything. You can't tell me where. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen when you ring that bell. I don't think you need to. We're friends, right? Good buddy Scrim. Yeah. Come on, Scrim. We're old pals. <laughs> We have the same clothing. <laughs> <laughs> I have a gold coin. Do you value gold? <laughs> and he starts to ring the bell. Ring the bell. Here and we go. Rings, and it, it makes an uh, extremely loud sound. And um, it, it's only moments later that you start to hear a commotion outside uh, of, of the of the bell. And he's sort of looking at you in like a, uh, uh, not a mean fashion, but he is... Uh, a professional fashion. I very su solemnly just drag my feet, climb back up onto the dinner table, and resign myself to my fate. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's in the, he sets it back down, and he sort of like stands up and has his arms crossed looking at you, and uh, the door swings wide open, and in enter two ogres. Uh, the first one, much taller than the second, uh, 800 pounds, nine feet tall, gray-robed, bald entirely, both of them, and uh, uh, you don't recognize I either of these ogres as the one that uh, confronted you when you were in the hot springs with your uh, friends, your allies, with uh, Daisy and the rest of the group. You don't recognize his, uh, uh, him at all. His features are instead much more elongated, a little grimmer, uh, uh, sort of sallow pouches underneath the, uh, his eyes, uh, very calculating. He comes in smoothly and sees you immediately. Oh, sweet heavenly gods! <laughs> oh, you're finally awake. Uh, yeah, yeah? <laughs> and you're suddenly very tall and large. Manius was right. Uh, I have your name right here, Tito. Uh, his, uh, Manius said that he might be able to uh, uh, have a, a speech, uh, the ability to talk. Isn't that fascinating? Well, wh why would that be fascinating? You're talking. The other ones were talking. Tito is standing there. He doesn't say anything. He's sort of like shrugs at the at the um, communication that uh, what is apparently his father um, is uh, uh, making to him and he like sticks a finger up his nose and pulls out like a huge booger and flicks it like you you, you, you can hear it hit the wall when, when, when uh, given the size of this globule and uh, disgusting <laughs> Right, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 Shh. no need to talk. It's simply an effect of the madness. Everything's going to be fine. The, the, the madness? Yes, you are beyond the limits of Ogerton for some time. You are unfortunately warped in your appearance, in your mind, your memories. If warped in my appearance? You know, I take issue with that. Uh, you're going to... See, he's already speaking back. It's very, very shush. Shush, shush. When we decurse you, you'll have no voice at all. You'll be just like uh, uh, Allium here, and it'll be all fine. It'll just be another day, and your nightmares will be over. Uh, speaking of all of that, you got any food? I'm starving here. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, he he uh, 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 gestures to Allium, and Allium like, bows quickly and leaves, and uh, it seems that food is on the way. Oh, that's weird. I mean, he goes from ringing the bell to going to get me food. I, you know, I, I can't figure out this place anyway. Well, what's, with this, what's with this neck piece, huh? I didn't ask for this. When, when am I going to get this taken off? Your name is Mustard Seed now. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, no. My name is Scrim. Scrim. Mustard, that's a stupid name. You'll do your job. We'll get you counting in no time. It's going to be fine. What? I draw a straw for that? Where do, where do you come up with his name? At least he has a normal name. I'm Mustard Seed. Manius had a name for the lot of you, I understand. But I, because he owed me great debt, have... Uh, uh, you had you returned to me. Must see. 
Master Master Chief. It was always your proper name. It was always your proper name. Whatever the scrim business is, you can forget it. You, you'll you be back to normal in no time. As a vassal of the House of Commerce, you'll be loved, part of our family, and when you can no longer do your job, you'll join our, uh, your, your family and ours in the halls of our heaven, where you'll be able to... Uh, uh, continue your service, of course. Uh, what did you do with my friends? Nothing. Uh, uh, good. He's very good at getting me to talk to him. Shush, shush, shush. <laughs> <laughs> it's not important. Just, you need to get cleaned right away. We we're going to feed you. And in the morning, you'll be able to uh, uh, become a true vassal of the house. We'll put a good value uh, in, in your daily job offerings. Uh, sounds like a lot of work. That's not really my thing, to be honest with you. Job, and I don't, I don't know if I'm down with that. I suppose you could refuse, and we could send you back to heaven. What do you mean, back to heaven? <laughs> Well, you come from heaven. You're one of the souls of the vassals, just like Allium is, just like any of the other vassals here and the House of Commerce. I I came from from heaven? From ogre heaven, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So what you're saying is that I'm potentially an ogre god. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. No, 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 you're, you're a vassal. Only ogres like myself who can uh, speak uh, uh, with the god's tongue. You, you're here to, to, to serve the family, to be a part of it, certainly. But. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm speaking with the god's tongue. I could potentially just be an ogre god. And he immediately starts speaking in a language you don't recognize. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then he stops, and then he seems to wait for your response as if he's asked you a question or said something to you in what you can only assume is the ogre's tongue, the god's tongue. I look him dead in the eye, and I do my best impression of what he just did, but with, like, hacking, sputtering, and, like, coughing. <laughs> and that's very funny. <laughs> I see what you're doing there. <laughs> Soon you won't be able to make these sounds at all, so it's okay. And if you can't do your job, if you refuse to do your job, We'll happily make a meal of you. Turn you into a... Hmm. Uh, some sort of loaf, I think. Uh, you look very gangly, but... I'm sure we could spice you up, and then you'd be returned. Returned by uh, our right of consumption to consume our vassals. And be able to uh, return you to heaven in the only way we know how. You understand? Uh, no, not even a little bit. Oh, what do you want me to do? Just sit here? Just wait for the food? They're going to clean me up and then come tomorrow? I accept a job or I die? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he gets it. He's you know, a smart one. I think we'll have him in the counting house soon enough. <laughs> All right. I'll wait for the food. I'm starving. And in as soon as, uh, uh, almost by magic, uh, Allium comes in and he's got a... Um, uh, a small bowl, uh, a, 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 a small bowl compared to what you imagine the bowls uh, of the household might look like in the hands of someone like uh, this this um, governor, uh, this chief ogre, and uh, he hands it to you, and you can you you look down, and it's like a a really delicious like seafood like clammy chowder. Ooh. It's uh, fatty and rich and creamy, and it's got Stop all like kinds of uh, uh, meats in it and vegetables and uh, corn even. Uh, you, 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 it looks delicious. It smells Smells amazing. And, like a, and his name is the, the the one who couldn't speak is Allium. Allium is the name of the vassal who rang the bell. Allium. And you've gotten the name of Tito, but yeah. I don't believe okay. I've actually said the name wow. of, the, yeah. of the. As as I take the the bowl from Allium, I look at it and say, Allium. Yeah, of course. And I'm fucking mustard seed. Unbelievable. Yeah, and I begin to just eat, eat the. I just scowl and eat the chowder. Enjoy your chowder. Enjoy your your bath. Uh, you'll be able to join the rest of the vassals in their car. Uh, uh, Cloister, they're 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 word I'm looking for um, quarters quarters thank Closer you trials. in their quarters. My name is Commodus Gork Gustus. Gustus. <laughs> 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 oh, well, thank you. I guess uh, I don't know whether to be grateful yeah. or angrier. 
But I'll just sit here for now. You'll get used to it as the madness fades. You'll become a, a valuable part of the family, and you'll know love. You'll be well loved, I promise. Mm, yeah, all right. Uh, sure. And uh, it Thomas uh, takes uh, Tito and um, gestures uh, and sort of starts to continue to talk to him. And uh, he's talking more in that uh, God's tongue. Uh, but he leaves and leaves you alone with Allium for uh, the time that it takes for you to eat. You know, this is your fault. <laughs> you don't have to ring that damn bell. No, don't mm-mm me. No. I don't I don't understand what you're saying. I, don't don't near me. Huh? <laughs> you and I could have been friends. Now I don't know. You finish your bowl of food, and Alim um, <laughs> leads you. He, he seemed to have been gen- generally gesturing. He wasn't using the more sophisticated like hand code that you've come to recognize in Daisy, but instead, uh, he's just sort of gesturing generally, not expecting you to pick up on the subtleties of, uh, of, of that communication form. And instead, uh, he leads you to uh, a uh, showers. Um, not not baths, but uh, there's no like pool or anything like that, but there are indeed, there's like high water that flows from these uh, from these faucets uh, and uh, you are um, uh, taken not just by Allium but by several other vassals who take off your robes oh. wash you <coughs> oh. actually actually like very forcefully like give you like a, a whole like bath bathing experience uh, you're not left alone to your own devices you're instead sort of forced through this uh, 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 cleaning experience um, however you feel about oh, that oh, oh gosh oh I'm, thank god I put the coin in my mouth because they're looking in the golden egg wallet oh. <laughs> <laughs> the golden egg wallet <laughs> uh, they dry you off and uh, they, re- they re-robe you they uh, um, you, you get a spritz in the face ah, of this ah, new world. And it feels like, uh, like it smells like figs and chocolates ah, and cedar. This very I'm allergic to figs! <laughs> <laughs> You're clean. The bath was warm and nice, but uh, as embarrassing as that might have been for you, the heady smell of the cologne, you're then again led to the quarters of the vassals. And it's here that um, you can see that there's like a number of bunk beds almost, like a shared living quarters. And in the center, you finally do see someone that you recognize. You see Daisy. And she's gesturing. And there's probably a good uh, uh, dozen and a half uh, vassals all sitting and standing around from her and she's gesturing and she seems to be telling a story they're they're all uh, 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 enwrapped and uh, some of them have and it strikes you as strange that they would cover their mouth but they seem to be uh, holding their hand over their mouth in like shock and surprise uh, at, at, at whatever uh, story moment they're being told by Daisy seems to be very gripping and uh, they're on their edge of the seat in, edge of their seat in terms of um, uh, perhaps it's a little scary like some of them are like even like holding their robes up uh, against their body like this and uh, you're you're joined by the three vassals who cleaned you and you're all now sharing these quarters. What do you do? Uh, I would look around to see that if it's just humanoids and not any of these ogres before I like The only two ogres you've seen exclaim. since being left by Commodus and his son Tito uh, were just them. Uh, you, you now are, are in a human-only room. A Without human being space. even worried about interrupting what she's doing, I run to her. Oh, Daisy, 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 Daisy. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, oh, uh, she she oh. sees you and she like grabs you, almost gives you like a, a hug and, and then and then turns and, and makes a qu- some quick gestures to the rest of the people who are <clears> taken <throat> aback by the fact that you have the power of speech. They are, they, you can see the shock in, in, their, in their eyes, even though Daisy seemingly... Warned them and is attempting to calm them. Where are the others? Please tell me they're all right. Where are the others? <coughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, oh no, no, no. I haven't seen anybody. I, I don't know how long I've been out. I don't know how long it's been since we were at the hot spring. We all got knocked out by the governor of education or knowledge. We 
we, we, we were caught by surprise. And it was only through his magics that they were able to transport us here. This is where I was made captive, where I had thought I had escaped before I met you and the rest of the team. Oh no, we have to get you out of here again. You don't even look remotely scared to be back here. Uh, are you all right? These people are horrible. It's it's terrifying here. I Of course I'm scared, but you're here now, and your friends are somewhere here, and I've seen what you can do. Uh. We're going to be able to start a revolution. Oh. We're going to be able to, 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 to do amazing things. I've already told the others, and they're going to spread the word. Oh, You're no. going to be able to be a hero. Oh. We're going to defeat these bad guys for good, and we won't be eaten and have a life of hard labor in front of us. It's going to be great. I meant more like maybe just get you out. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you see that they're like 10 feet tall? And weigh like a thousand pounds. I've seen you uh, 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 deal with ghosts. I've seen you deal with that monstrosity that attacked us on the river. Jornia told me I died. If anyone can do this, <laughs> you're our only hope. Oh, no, 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 Daisy, this isn't going to work. We we have to find the others first. We, we can't start a revolution. Uh, I mean, you've seen what they can do, the magics that they have. We, we can't do anything about that. She turns and looks over your shoulder, and her eyes seem to be tracking. And just as you <clears throat> turn, you are cheap shot, hit right in the face, smacked, and you take... <clears throat> Uh, do I still have 12 hit points? No, no, no. You would have been doing a long rest. thank God. (laughs) 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 You take four points of bludgeoning damage as you are struck on the chin by another human. Son of a bitch! Ah! Ah! What? What was that? You're picked up and grabbed by (laughs) the the shirt, and you realize you're staring in eyes that you've seen months and months and months and months ago. This is the first mate of the ship of the Moribound. This is Mylan, as you knew him, and he is fuming furious, and he's ready to hit you again, but Daisy is stopping and holding his hand back, and in the chaos, he's just looking at you with this uh, grim... Ah! Oh, hey, buddy! Uh, it's been a while! How are you doing? Oh, I, I seem pretty mad. You want to set me down? <laughs> he pushes you back. <laughs> What? And he's he's telling a story as quickly as his hands can tell. How could you? My daughter's back after everything that I did to try to get them out and free. One of my daughters is now dead. Who uh, do you think that you are? After all of the energy that I put into this, uh, uh, I, I... All right, all right, all right. Just hold on, and I'll catch you up to speed. And I tell him basically everything that happened, it provided there's time. He, oh, from the I would last that moment you, that we saw him. You feel that you have limited time with him. Like, you would need to just do it in very broad strokes. Then I tell, okay, he, instead... He's, I, like, ready to walk away. Okay. And he's so, like, don't in, get in my way. Instead, I, I say, after, after we last saw you, we met your daughters, and I give him a very quick overrun of the curses... These, this horrible elder creature that we faced, the the other crew members, what happened to them, and that we did everything that we could to save his daughters, um, and we were taken by surprise, and I woke up here, and just I tried just to be honest. Make as a possible. persuasion check. I'm proficient in that either. What the fuck is going on? That can't be Something's right. not That's right impossible. Uh, I have that's a that's twelve. A twelve? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> he hears you I out, but. And he softens. He he lowers lowers his hands, um, and he. Uh, you can see another one. The, the band is also back on his throat. He's wearing the same robes. He looks at Daisy, and he. I swear to you. I swear to you. We had no ill intention. We did everything that we could. We were just taken by surprise, and I'm just worried about my friends too. But look, this is good. We're together now, and and we can trust each other, and we can work together. Stay out of my way for now. He turns and he makes his way <laughs> over uh, across the quarters and seems to sit in uh, like on his own bunk. Uh, and these are top bunk, uh, bottom bunk style like quarters. Yes. And he sits on that bunk and back to you. Yeah, I'm really trying here. At first, that jackass with the bell, and now my one here. Honestly, what did I do? I just woke up here. Unbelievable. Daisy, um, <clears throat> you can sleep now. 
Huh. Uh, it, it might sound grim, but you can have the bunk where my sister would have slept before we escaped. <sighs> Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Oh, I wanted to tell you something. But you have to promise not to tell anybody. <laughs> Look, the coin, this thing, I can't get rid of it. It's magic. I think, even though they have all of my other things, I might still be able to summon my weapon. Of course you can't get rid of it. You had it in your mouth. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. And I throw it as far as I possibly can. And I hold out my hand. You hear the disappear into the shadows and blinking just once it pops back in with a soundless uh soundlessly it just immediately like an illusion Ta-da. <laughs> why put it in your mouth then where else am i gonna put it in my pockets and just walk around and you it'll eventually you'll look and i can't potentially leave it somewhere what if it reappears and I- I've been dealing with this a lot longer than you have. I don't need your suggestions. It just seems very silly. (laughs) (laughs) The point is, it's not the only thing that I can make reappear. I might have access to a weapon. Think that we can cut these off? (gasps) Yeah, probably. I mean, they're really close to our skin, and I'm good with a knife, but I don't know if I'm that good. There might be some casualties, but we can certainly try. Well, in the morning, the governor of religion is going to come. He's going to attempt to decurse you. And we, we don't know if that's going to make you lose your voice like us. Oh. We don't know any of this. So do you think it's a better idea to try to cut these off or stab him in the face? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't... You think that you can kill I don't know. You were talking about revolution. Now I'm all worked up. (laughs) We need to get you all back together so that we can come up with a plan. Okay. I don't like your tone. (laughs) Look. Also, and she reaches down and she grabs your hand. Ah. We need to be together. Right. Yeah. Safety in numbers. No. The ogres like to pair vassals up. They like to play dollhouse. What? It'll be easier if they just assume we're together. What the fuck does that mean? (laughs) (laughs) Together as in like, together, together? Oh, sweet hell. (laughs) All right, fine, fine. Whatever we have to do to survive, right? Yeah. Mylon's gonna lose his shit. <laughs> we have ways of communicating between the houses. We we can get a letter out, okay? Oh, okay. All right, I'm trusting you. You know about this way better than I we do. We just need to rest tonight, and we'll we'll, we'll make we'll make a, a game plan. Listen, I can't lose my voice. It's like one of the only things I have going for me. All right, this beautiful voice that rings out from my vocal cords. If I lose this, it's over for me. I'm sure if you do, we'll figure that out too. All right. In the meantime. Do you know what these what what, the, what these these neck things they do? What do they do? If we try to cut one off, are yes. we gonna? Yes, they have wands that they can use to make us fall asleep with the bands on. All right, they, all right. They hide the mark that I found on my on my neck. We didn't know these marks existed. Okay, all right. And uh, uh, they they tell the other ogres sort of. Uh, uh, who, uh, uh, what family, uh, your, 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 or house you're from. Hmm. All right. They also prevent us from escaping. We can't go beyond the city limits with these. We'll fall asleep. Mm. All right. All right. Give me some time to think. This is good. We'll stay together. Safety in numbers. We'll play dollhouse or whatever the hell that means. And we'll figure it out. All right. We'll figure it out. We'll get some sleep. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you're here with me. Oh, Daisy, you have no idea how much I feel the same. <clears throat> it's going to be all right. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Get, let's get some rest. All right. <clears throat> I have a story to finish. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> My apologies. Continue. 
And then we went over a waterfall. And <laughs> you find your way to bed. You watch as long as you want to watch. Um, there are uh, the, the equivalent of gasps in this mute audience. It's very strange. And it, it makes uh, for a very dreamlike experience to see something you lived that was so terrifying and uh, ended so violently for you, uh, retold from the perspective of this um, friend. And your eyes close and you start to fall asleep. I need you to make an intelligence saving throw. <laughs> I'm very good at that. With my plus one, I got an 11. Oh. That was not enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm you thinking, failed. I'm thinking these ogres are a bit smarter than me. <laughs> smarter. You find yourself dreaming. You dream. And in this dream, you are looking around a room. A small room. A uh, you're sitting on a, a red leather chair. Ah. You are looking at a campfire, uh, not a campfire, a fireplace, a roaring fire in the fireplace, and you seem to be in a, a reading room, a very elegant, tall reading room with no doors or exits. There is a a window on one side, a large, thick paned uh, window with uh, uh, slats on one side, and uh, behind it seems to be like a, almost a, a, a gray fog uh, or smoke, impossible to see through, but offers affords no vision in any direction. And you realize that this is a room of your mind, that this is uh, a place where if you were to pull a book off of one shelf, you'd turn to it and these were all of the cons you've ever run. You'd be able to pull another book off of another shelf and uh, all of your haunting memories of the Hound would suddenly start to come to you in one spot. You would be able to pull uh, uh, your, your favorite recipes, your favorite colors, your clo uh, uh, the prices of things. This is a, a room of knowledge. And you also realize that you're being watched in this room. This very strange sensation on the back of your head. You feel that there are eyes on you and you look around, but there doesn't seem to be anyone else in this room. Just the hanging lanterns, the shelved books. Where does your mind go in this dream? You feel like this choice will be an important choice. What book do you feel like pulling off of a shelf as you inhabit this dream space as Scrim? Um, after describing the room, I would immediately like kind of mused to myself, like, ah, man, this is, this is kind of nice. I wish I had some of Barnabas's tobacco. I miss my friends. And I'll look around, <laughs> and I will uh, actually pull, well, I would try to avoid, do I get a, can I sense, like, what era of my life each book would be from, where I could avoid certain memories and look for more yeah, recent ones? Absolutely. Uh, it's, it, it is a, a library of your mind. So it, 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 going to the right book or avoiding the wrong book is as easy as, as thinking. It's as easy as just going, oh, right up okay. there, that's the shelf where my knowledge of cooking, what, what I know about any recipe might be. I would say it would be very easy for Scrim to ignore basically everything that happened before. He wouldn't want to look at any of the memories from before the night that he met his friends in the tavern. Sitting at that table right before all hell broke loose. And we were forced to work together to uh, get out of that tavern in whatever fate put us in that position. He would want to reach for the book to remember how he met his new friends. You put this book in a very special place. You grab the ladder that's on rollers and you slide it around the room and then you climb up the, the ladder and you grab this top shelf, this first memory from the Wuze, uh, uh, I believe it was called the five stories and it was a five-storied uh, tavern and uh, you remember uh, your initial meeting uh, the stranger who got you guys into trouble and started the 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 the, the, the adventure proper and you are uh, starting to read that and it's like almost like the words are uh, telling the story joyfully to you before they 
melt away. The ink disappears into the pages, fades, and uh, you pull the pages apart. It, it, the book itself almost seems to fade. And, well, and before you can even start to panic, this sharp, piercing feeling, that same feeling of being watched, dives into the back of your head, just underneath the little knob that you would have here where it connects to the spine. You feel tremendous pain and you ah, uh, bolt upward as the intensity of this pain uh, shatters uh, you into a, a wakeful alertness uh, in the bunk bed of uh, the quarters you've now uh, come to come to rest in. I do that thing where you do, like the hypnic jerk where your sleep is like, yeah. <laughs> 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 what the hell? And if you if you cry out, uh, you faces turn your way. I mean, yeah. it, for ah. for a, a, a community of mute people, it would be a shocking sound for anyone to cry out. I'm sorry. Manner. I'm sorry. Shh, 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 shh. Shh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, you see, uh, his upside down head from the top. Bunk. I know. Look I down. know. I know. I had a nightmare. I had a nightmare. Ah, it was really weird. It just seemed very real. I, I was like in a library, and I had the ability to, to kind of relive moments of my life, and I was just thinking about my friends because I miss them, and I'm worried about them, and I was thinking about the night to, that we met, and I was reading a book, and I had this pain in the back of my head, and... You want me to go back to sleep? Fine, I guess it's not that important. And I'll roll <laughs> over and I'll go back to sleep. <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> she pulls back up. Uh, uh, she seemed to be the kind of person who uh, would be disinterested in anyone retelling their dream. You know, she it, asked me what happened. Happen. Happen. I start to tell her about the shit. Yeah, she asked me yeah. about the dream. I start to tell her about the dream. She tells me she doesn't care about the dream. Unbelievable. <laughs> You eventually make your way back to sleep, uh, just pondering in your mind, going circuitously around, thinking like, what was that experience, uh, that pain, uh, the, the nature of the room? Uh, why was I um, presented this information? Was it perhaps just a dream? It felt like more. And you eventually pass out. And when you wake up in the morning, you find yourself uh, staring at two ogres. The quarters are clear, and you see... Oh, God, I don't want to be bred! You see Commodus on uh, one side, uh, Gork Augustus, uh, staring down at you, his hands uh, uh, sort of doing uh, one of these, and you also see another ogre on, on his side, an ogre you don't recognize, uh, also staring down at you. Oh yes, we're gonna have to. Uh, he, he starts to mumble more of this god's tongue, and uh, the scroll that was in front of him vanishes, and you seem to have had a spell cast upon you. No. In this instant, you have been decursed. You don't feel any different, and you think that you have perhaps the power of speech if you wanted to use it, but your curse that you experienced from dying fades. It, it's gone completely. You no longer have any of those conditions. Well, I know this isn't going to mean anything to you guys, but I don't think I realized how hungry I was until I realize that I'm not that hungry right now. <laughs> Very strange, you can still speak. Yes, yes, I see that you can still speak. Uh, I have to get back up to the house of education, uh, house of knowledge, and uh, uh, another couple hours. I've got a long journey in front of me. Uh, you be well, Commodus. Yes, yes, you, you too as well, you too as well. And uh, they, they walk out of the room. Uh, seemingly the remove curse uh, ritual is as easy as pulling a band-aid off. Huh. Well, how about that? All right, well, now what? Um, you find yourself alone in the quarters for... Oh, they, 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 they leave. They, they, they actually exit. They, 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 they Are the other they humanoids of the other vessel still there? You don't see anyone else. They seem to all be doing work. They all seem to be... You, you're, you're alone Great. in this space. Great. <laughs> Work. <laughs> I choose to do no work, and I sit in my. Well, actually, no. I, I just kind of like pull the covers back up over me, and I try to go back to sleep. As you start to pull the covers over you, Daisy walks into the room, and she pulls the no, covers. No, 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 no. And takes them off. Uh, she's she's got another gentleman wearing a different colored robe entirely. Uh, and and uh, she, this. This is, uh, she makes a gesture of a name of some kind. Uh, this is, uh, uh, he's a letter carrier. Oh. He just, he just delivered a letter from the House of Knowledge, from, um, uh, she puts another name in there. It's hard to put all of that together with limited knowledge of hand codes such as you have, but you can yeah. write a letter to your friends. <laughs> oh. And he, he'll, he'll take it back. And he, he has to go back there anyway. He's part of the house, part of the family. Oh, uh, did, did, 
does she have a parchment and a writing implement? She hands you parchment and a writing implement. Okay, good, thank you. Ah, and I, I take the paper and I lay it down on the ground. I assume it's like stone. Yep, ground, yep, yep, yep. And I take my the quill and in horrific writing, I'm like, Scri- from <laughs> Scrim. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys dead? <laughs> <laughs> what, what else? <laughs> How are we going to meet? Uh, uh, are you okay? Uh, how do we get these uh, bands off? Have you had any luck in doing any of that? Wait, wait, uh, won't, they, won't they read? Won't, won't the ogres read what's what's in the in the, in the parchment? No, 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 no. Vassals communicate privately too. This oh. is not going to an ogre mailman. That's silly. <laughs> oh, oh well, in that case, we have to kill. All of the ogres. <laughs> I don't like them. <clears throat> she hands the letter to her friend, and he darts off to take for however many hours. You have no idea how long it'll be when the, by the time the letter will get back. And then she gestures to you and says, "We've got some counting to do." No, <laughs> you'll be eaten. Ah, that's pretty good motivation. <laughs> There's a hog farm just outside of this villa. <laughs> what does that mean? We have to count the number of hogs for the quarter. It's a weekly task. How long is it going to take? Well, there's usually between 800 and 1,000 hogs, <laughs> and our numbers have to agree. <laughs> what if I lose count? <laughs> then we start again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and this is the option over being eaten? Come on! And she grabs your, uh, he grabs you by the wrist and pulls you off the bed and starts to run you down the hallway. And that's where we'll take a quick break because the letter is going to arrive in the hands of our, our yes. Friend. Thank you so much. Can I You're near. I love this dog. You may. <laughs> we can tell. Barnabas. You're near. Taishan. Queenie. You find yourself standing in the courtyard of the villa of the House of Knowledge. And uh, you've just been left by Manius Laginius, the uh, ogre who's taken you in. Uh, Queenie, you are holding a small pug for some reason. <laughs> it's like Dune. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, the four of you have just been shared some knowledge because uh, Manius has received a letter uh, from Gork Augustus that the um, that they, they they want to meet that they want to uh, that that his request not just to petition the ogre uh, Sonas. Uh, that you uh, claim to have in your in your person, but also uh, to perhaps uh, make an exchange for Scrim has been accepted, but it will be another day or two before he can make the arrangements to go out there and uh, get Scrim. That you'll need to do your chores. Uh, that you'll need to make sure that uh, you are still contributing as vassals until we sort out exactly what has happened, and then. Just uh, a moment after he leaves, one of the vassals, uh, who you've come to know as Barley, uh, comes up to you and hands you a letter sort of on the down low, very, very quietly. And it's the letter that Scrim wrote. And it has the words that he wrote in the, in, in the letter. It says, from Scrim, are you guys dead? We must kill all of the ogres. I do not like them. The letters R U D E D. It's it's very much like scratchy and like yeah. misspelling. Yeah. What does yeah. this mean? And Barley uh, hands you a uh, uh, fresh parchment and and says we can get you another message if you write something back to Scrim. We 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 can we can we can do that before uh, you know the next few days when you have a chance to finally see him again, perhaps. I'll take the letter, and I'll hand it to Barnabas. I think this is for you. <laughs> oh, it is? Yeah, well, at least Scrim is in good spirits. <laughs> Scrim is in good spirits? That's fantastic. How is he, does he say? Oh, he's actually uh, quite uh, a strong uh, wordsmith compared to a lot of the uh, salty dogs all you sailed with. What Certainly. does it say? 
Does he say which ogre he is? Surely his persona is awoken. <laughs> no, he hasn't mentioned uh, which of the, the grand ogre gods reincarnated from ogre heaven he has selected. Uh, oh, he's uh, probably a good one. I'm going to look around to see if there are any ogres nearby. Um, make a perception check. Four, uh, ten. You uh, turn, and uh, you're in the, the, the central courtyard, uh, this inner cloister of the villa, and uh, there's uh, a number of different columns on all sides. There's this, uh, 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 like you might find in the center of a museum, a, a, a grassy patch gardening, uh, these many topiaries, uh, which all have been um, cut and turned into the likenesses of the uh, the family. So there's one that looks like Manius, there's one that looks like uh, uh, Mar- Mariana. There's, no, 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 Gorkin, he wouldn't be part of the family. It's only, it's only the... Oh, okay. Uh, it's uh, only the, the, the... Just this, uh, the it's just education. This, it's, it's this just, is the house of education. It's yeah. just the Bloginius family. Mm. And so Mariana Bloginius is there, and uh, <laughs> uh, you also <laughs> notice that there are other ogres who you haven't seen before. Uh, there are two young daughters that you have not yet uh, met, and there's a, a older daughter that seems to be rendered, and behind that topiary, there's a very sort of coy, shy-looking woman ogre who is uh, peeking out, and you take it from the from the look of this topiary that this is the daughter. <laughs> oh yeah, hello there. We're not talking about killing ogres or anything over here. <laughs> we are gods. We are ogres ourselves, actually. <clears throat> Perhaps it is not best to speak. Why? She is clearly spying on us, is she not? Are Ooh. you spying on us, or are you just more of a curious ogre girl type? She ducks behind the topiary, uh, behind the, the platform that it is, and then turns, and you can see her sort of waddle away and, and, and disappear down uh, down one of the hallways and back into the house. Oh, yeah, the uh-huh. coast is clear. Scrim says we, we should kill all the ogres. Kill all ogres? Kill all ogres! Does that include ourselves? <laughs> Oh, you know, we our ogres have been slain or died heroically in some in the past. Oh. Perhaps he does mean us, but don't forget it. What is your name? Shagoth of the Black Rock. Okay, I oh, like to hear that, Mister of the Black Rock. Rock. What, <laughs> what is your name? Uh, my name is Trothak Shark Puncher. What is my name? Your name is Jotnar of the uh, of the Frostguard, or just Jotnar of Frostguard. Just Jotnar Frostguard. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Queenie, what is yours? Uh, you know, my name is Fiona Smashmouth. <laughs> I'm the swamp ogre. <laughs> All right, our stories are straight. Yeah. Well, clearly Scrim is not on the same page. We need yeah. to write him back. Is this is, is the vassal guy still there? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we need to. Oh, wait, we need to. Uh, we need to give him his, uh, his 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 god hero, his hero god. Give him something good. So, I guess if Fiona is the uh, princess of the swamp ogres, you're the uh, king of the something. You're like the you're the avatar of the gods, right? The frost, the frost, the frost ogres. ogres. We got the dragon ogres here, yeah, more of a sure. volcanic range. Yeah. Well, I'm the sea ogres made peace with the Sahuagin, uh, allied with their great shark god Sekola. And I spit on the ground. <laughs> uh, what does that leave for Scram? <laughs> well, I don't care. Maybe leave it up to him. But that sounds like a bad idea. Well, all of us have, have reincarnated as. Uh, Things that we, we became kind of aspects of the ogre gods that we once were. He's probably an ogre god of gambling or slacking off. This is good. Maybe some kind of <laughs> mountain ogres. Oh, is there an ogre god of partying? <laughs> or mines? Or drinking? <laughs> or dirt? Uh, or fanciful plays? <laughs> Oi, that's not a or bad lunch. <laughs> <laughs> or like. Handsome hats? 
<laughs> or sleeping on the ground. <laughs> or sleeping in graves. <laughs> Oh, he did sleep in the t- oh in the grave. He slept in a <laughs> hole. Called to death. Yeah. Oh, you know now you're on to something there, Mister Fire Blossom. Well, yeah. Perhaps he's the king of the uh, Skellogers. <laughs> a great necromancer. Oh, just Skellogers. Skellogers. Skele ogres. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like skeleton ogres. <laughs> Oi, he'll be Mr. Bones. <laughs> uh, Surely you've You know, all my, all my creativity, I think, is ran right out. It's the chat. <laughs> well, you don't have to create anything. You just have to play to his key aspect uh, that will allow to spark his memory. Uh, Mr. Bones, uh, <laughs> they live underground in dirt and sludge and muck. <laughs> And they all have very intense gambling habits. <laughs> so you've basically just created an ogre loa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just checking. Uh, oh, is that good enough? I think it fits. Perhaps describe good. our plan of blending in with these personas. Oh, and I'll like write down like, oh, I am, you know, Trothek, uh, the sharp puncher and, you know, all of this and we're all of these. We're going to go to Ogre Heaven and we are all gods and reincarnated ogre heroes and we have ogre souls within us. But only our dear friend and leader, Yoknar Frostguard, can speak the god's tongue because he is not as corrupted and her, his memory hasn't been purged like ours as much. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Should you make sure to add in that <clears throat> Daisy is our reincarnated uh, vassal and that she does by right belong to us? Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. By rights? Uh, Maybe you should say, like, she's Scrim's personal vassal. Oh, that's right. That sounds right. Because we know she's in the With same the, house, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that they, they should cannot, always do not let her out of your sight, yeah, they Mr. Stavis Scott. Oh, and uh, Mr. Bones loves dogs. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think? <clears throat> He's fine. I mean, I think that's him. If that doesn't spark his memory of his true ogre god soul, then I don't know what would. That's Scrim in a nutshell. All right. Anything else we should say? This might be your last chance. We miss you. Oh, yeah, that's right. We miss you. Especially oh, Queenie. Yeah. Hope you're okay. Hope they're feeding you. Okay, hold on. Here, hold on. Here, turn around, <laughs> Mr. Fire Blossom. Let's oh, see. sorry. I oh, 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 don't know my own strength. Oh, 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 sorry oh, about that. Oh, 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 that was a sharp barnacle, wasn't oh, it? Oh, gosh. <laughs> that's what? Like it looks worse than it is. What happened? It looks done. worse than it is. <laughs> what's he, no, what's it's, he fine. Done? it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What's he done? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, is it good? <laughs> How bad is it? The gas was just like... <laughs> <laughs> Am I bleeding? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it looks very painful. Oh, uh, beware, uh, beware the uh, taper uh, that eats our drinks. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <sighs> oh, this is a long letter. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's covered in blood now. Ugh. <laughs> oh, you mighty, mighty uh, going to you to deliver that to our friend, uh, Barley. Oh, no. Barnabas, did you write all of that in brown ink? Because you know once blood oxidizes, it turns brown. There's going to be a bunch of that Scrim can't read. <laughs> Wait, Wait, can Scrim read? Oh, yeah, can Scrim, Scrim even read? That's a good question. Why would you offer me a brown ink quill? <laughs> <laughs> he can read liquor labels, presumably. I, oh, that's well, true. I think he just recognizes the picture. The color? <laughs> well... Uh, hopefully you make sense of it. I'm not writing, writing that again. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> hey, what was your name? Is that Barley? Oh. Our good friend Barley. Oh, oh I that was Snarly. <laughs> oh. 
Is it barley? He walks away. <laughs> <laughs> he walks away. And you have no idea what the idea of like how you talked about your pro ogre yeah. zone is in front of him, like how he would perceive that. He just walks away. Gosh, I thought his name was Carl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you mean Kyle. Oh. Yeah. Mr. Bones was the best you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I just when it came to it, it just felt right. You know? Well, I'm trying to, to think of Ogre and Scrim, and I think, you know, he'd be a little fella, and he'd say, oh, I, I, Mr. Bones, and he'd take it back. You hear a whistle, and from That's one of the, uh... <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Yankee. I did not to scare you. You want me to get the death whistle out? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, from one of the uh, second floor's uh, uh, windows, you can see Bacon. Uh, is looking down and uh, pointing at each of you, and uh, he's pointing at the sun. Uh, it's clear that uh, you, you need to get to work. That you've, you've got a day's work ahead of you, and that you need to take care of the chores that you agreed to do that with him, um, so that he can re- make a, a happy report to Manius that you are contributing. All right, we will reconvene at the end of the day. All right. Good luck. Stop gonna kill me, mate. <laughs> Snoring like really loud. <laughs> I'm gonna turn and start heading towards the uh, the fields. I think, right? I think I said I was going to the fields. <clears throat> uh, you agreed to, or was um, it the animal uh, gardening? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, garden. Yeah. Garden. So you you know where the garden is at this point. Um, it, at the very least, you understand that there is an adjacent, like large. Um, like thinking garden uh, that it, it has paths and uh, many different types of flowers as uh, much variety as possible and a huge number of shapes. Uh, Manius has told you that your job is to um, uh, think like an ogre uh, would and to um, uh, use your creativity uh, to, to clean up the garden. It's been, it's been uh, a little neglected because they've been a little under vassaled, so to speak, and uh, it would be great to have someone with um, mm-hmm. any experience at all, really, to, to see what you can do. You start to make your way. Yeah, I'll head there. Well, I think I was requested in the kitchen, the butcher shop, wherever you report to the kitchen and uh, they ask uh, you to uh, make your way out to the stable. Uh, they, they need you to slaughter, clean, and cook a cow, uh, at least to get it slaughtered so that uh, it can be stored for the coming winter. Uh, it's a tremendous amount of meat, but you'll have to do the, uh, the job of the killing. All right, I can do that. <clears throat> Taishan. Well, I'll see y'all later. I'll, I'm going to the... Ale house. You make your way to the basement, the oh, well. wine cellar. So I'm in the basement. It's not an old ale house. I thought it was a proper, I thought it was a proper setup they had here, but I guess it's just a dang just dirty basement. basement. Uh, oh. And one of the vassals, who's also seemingly responsible for this, um, uh, uh, walks you through the steps. You'll need to um, uh, taste all of the wines, and you see that there's a long hallway of barrel after barrel of, uh, after barrel, tall standing barrels with a, uh, a complicated mechanism that allows you to open it, taste, and see if it needs to be topped off with fresh wine, if there are any off uh, 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 flavors, that sort of thing. And Queenie, uh, you're, in, you're on babysitting duty. You're, you, 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 you make your way to the second floor, and uh, sitting there is Fraldina, uh, one of the uh, Few vassals that you recognize right out of the gate because of how very, very pregnant she is. Heavily pregnant, she is watching the sleeping young twin ogre daughters wow. who you've learned their name to be Fabia and Flavia Blaginius. <laughs> what the hell? And we'll start with you, Queenie. What do you do? All right. It's story time, young ladies. All right. So let's. Shh, shh. Are you shuffling? Fraldina. Let them sleep as long as you can. Oh, they're sleeping right now with their eyes open like that? <laughs> she looks... <laughs> and she's like, good luck. And, and, and she, like, as fast as she can, waddle bolts out the door. Uh, and you're left with Fabia and Flavia. And uh, they are... are, are who are you? My name's Queenie. I'm gonna be your babysitter. You wanna hear a story? Yeah! Alright, go ahead and sit down. 
We're gonna play a game. Can we have ice cream? <laughs> yeah, sure. You listen to the whole story. Uh, no, we get ice cream all day, up at, all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know, and you can have it the moment the story. Yeah, goes. we get ice cream all the time. No, we don't. Have, we we want ice cream for the story, for the story, so we can listen and eat ice cream. You can't chew and listen at the same time. Oh, we we could do the whole thing. Absolutely, we could do it. No problem. <laughs> you know what? It's interesting that you say that because I met two girls once that. Um, they could do that too. It wasn't really impressive. <laughs> but you know what? I heard that there are girls that can't sit and just listen to a whole story. Make a restoration check. I bet you're not those girls. Can you give me dice? <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, a d20. Would you like me to. Yeah, d20, please. It's a two. <laughs> I fail. <laughs> Um, those girls sound stupid, and they bolt out the door. All right, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> they disappear. You can hear their uh, feet uh, immediately evaporate down the hallway. Um, I'm gonna yell out really loudly. Who's playing hide and go seek? I bet you can't find me. And then I'm going to start running in the opposite direction. Very, very, very loudly. You start running in the opposite direction? Yeah. Okay. Um, make one more <laughs> persuasion check. Eighteen. And I'm going to assume there's a plus to that. I added the plus. <laughs> oh, terrific. Yeah. Oh, I reviewed yeah. the character sheet to co-play. <laughs> well, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> we're, co- we're co-piling. Right now. We're co-piling my character, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like taking over for script. <laughs> you're near. You find yourself in a garden that um, is not as poorly kept as they made it sound. It seems that their standards of what poorly kept would look like is like there's a little bit of weeds here, there's uh, 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 some debris over here. You you find yourself in a what is actually a pretty nice garden. Um, there's some running water, there's a, a fountain or two. Um, it, it does need upkeep, but not like a, a, a complete renovation. It, what do you do? Um, are there any topiaries in the garden, or is it just sort of like nice oh. plants? There do appear to be hedges that have been unshaped. Uh, uh, that, 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 like a big square where somebody would be able to go to work and do sculpting if you were to want to uh, uh, design a, a shape. Uh, and then there's also choices to be made. Uh, uh, if you wanted to move a plant from one section to the other to try and create a better contrast or or uh, introspective vision, uh, you'd be able to um, give it a your near touch or think about what you're doing as a. Uh, your no, frost guard. So, what I would like to do is if there are any unripened fruit, I want to instantly make them ripe. Uh, you do go to a bush. Do you want to, do you want to yeah. have more suggestions? If, there, if, if there's a well, one, yeah, so like, I, we'll, we'll, we'll start with that. We'll start with that. Okay. You, you go to a bush and uh, you recognize this bush should not be producing berries in this um, season, but you do know how to coax the, the berries into ripeness uh, that would normally be arriving perhaps much later in spring. <clears throat> and uh, uh, with a few hands of uh, uh, motions and with the uh, process of your druid cat craft, um, what we're small uh, sort of black bulbs uh, immediately uh, almost inflate and turn into these brilliant orange um, golf ball sized uh, fruit uh, on this bush and as that happens a small bird uh, comes down and it has in one of its claws a silver coin oh is this for me oh, you you want the berry the fuck? This is strange. Uh, hold on one second. So, as my uh, racial feature, <laughs> I have speech of beast and leaf. I can communicate with, though not understand, beasts and plants, and have advantage on charisma checks to influence them. Mm-hmm. Uh, is, do you want to leave the silver piece? And take one of these berries. If this is true, leave the silver piece on my hand. Puts it right in your hand. Uh, uh, Squawk once if you are actually a bird, or squawk twice if you are not a bird. 
That was less of a squawk. <laughs> that was more of a bird call, but this is fine. Uh, do I get a sense that this is strange? Do I know what kind of bird it is? And if so, does this seem like a strange level of intelligence for a bird to have? Um, make an insight check. Uh, and what is the... Nice. One moment. Look at that. One moment. Let me just uh, make sure that I have... Do I know what kinds of birds are in my cities. Who doesn't? <laughs> well, the chief export is... Uh... Uh, this is a blue thrush. And oh. it um, is uh, waddling around and... Um, Insight is wisdom. So yes, uh, you make a insight check. Twenty-eight with a twenty-eight. Oh my! This God. is very clearly unusual behavior for a blue thrush. You might expect some smarter birds to have a notion of doing a learned behavior for a reward, like uh, if you've in anachronistic terms know of like crows who like pick up trash and like put it in for treats and stuff and they create those uh, those uh, uh, psychological boxes and stuff. Stimax. But to an, an unprompted Stimax. bird that yeah, seems so great. wild like this one to sit down and have gotten a coin and then immediately wanting to exchange it for food seems in, unusually intelligent. Uh, oh, my right eye will flash real quick and I'm going to use detect magic to see if I get a sense of... Ooh. Anything around the black, the black. Not even background radiation, aside from what's on your person. Uh, this is a non magical garden and a non magical bird. Whoa. Uh, do you have a name, young bird? Do you know the button? Uh, one tweet <laughs> for yes and two for no. It oh. gave you the. I, I give I give the the bird the berry that I paid for. Uh, it puts the the berry in its mouth and. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> and in that moment, you hear uh, the sound of um, giggling. Uh, laughter, uh, very playful laughter, almost mischievous, and two young ogre twins sprint through the garden, uh, uh, running past you, and uh, oh, oh. they disappear and evaporate. And moments later, you see Queenie. <laughs> oh my God, you run so fast! How old are you? How much energy do you? Get? Is this your goal? Hey, you're near, I don't have time to talk. They went into the woods. All right. I just hear like, <laughs> like jump past the shrew. As fast as you are, these uh, twins seem to be especially good at hiding and seeking. So they are disappearing into uh, 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 the next uh, phase. Barnabas, you make your way out to the stable and um, you understand uh, the work that is to be done. Uh, there are a number of different cows, but you've been told to look for the one with a special pattern on its side. Very All right, let's still kill the wrong one. <laughs> Very recognizable. Uh, it's, it's at age, it's, it's time. It's mature, it's had to live a happy, uh, free range life, uh, but it is time for the, uh, this cow to, uh, uh, for the right of consumption uh, that you will take. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what, what's, what's the pattern look like? Uh, uh, you, afternoon, cows. Uh, you, you understand that it looks like. Bear to meet Ogre God. <laughs> I cast hello, cows, meet God. Yeah, I cast gun. <laughs> Prepare to meet yeah, Ogre God. Um, you understand that this looks like the um, face of a dormouse. Uh, that it has two large ears, a, a small uh, brown spot in the center with a nose, what would look like sort of eyes. And, and as you are walking through the stable, smelling the rich hay, rich uh, 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 experience of the barn, you um, eventually come across one that, uh, oh, yes, yeah, I can see a dormice there. Uh, looking at the others, it doesn't seem to be a uh, dormouse. It doesn't seem to be to match any of these other calves. You feel like you've you've spotted the one, and <laughs> judging by its age, you, you'd say that you've you've got the correct cow. Uh, this looks more like a field mouse, but <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it past the ogres to mix them up. <laughs> do I have any implements? Like, what do I have? What implements do I have? Um, you have uh, been told that you would be able to... We don't have to, to RP this. Yeah, we don't have to RP this. <laughs> 
It would be like from Forgetting Sarah Marshall when he's like killing the pig. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Uh, you would have the usual killing instruments for this purpose. You would have uh, 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 saw, knives, um, they, uh, all, all the things that you'd be able to use in this space. You have one of those like gas powered uh, like Anton things that sugar it, Yeah, yeah. It's like it shoots it. Oh, what's the, the movie where that's used so famously? Oh, no Country for Old Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Sorry, stare into the implement. Uh, well, uh, are you there? You'll probably notice I have a, a lot of killing implements. <laughs> <laughs> you have a mouse on your eye. <laughs> okay, no. I believe that, you know, you, you probably know what this means. Uh, you know, I'd say, you know, no hard feelings. The same thing will probably happen to, to me in a couple of days. <laughs> So we're all going to get turned into stew, uh, and I probably will make quite, not quite nearly as delicious a brisket as you will. So uh, I, I thank you, uh, Ms. Cow. And I, get to, I try to do it. You start to walk forward, and uh, it it walks forward to you and puts, puts its chin up against your chest and... <sighs> I'm just gonna hell, take your temperature really fast. But, uh, you, you know, what? Like, don't don't give me those eyes. Do you see how many killing implements I have? <laughs> and it's in that moment that you hear mischievous laughing. <laughs> you hear the sound of uh, uh, two young twin uh, ogre daughters uh, uh, running through the barn, and they uh, immediately uh, uh, walk, run from one opening to the other uh, open open gate and disappear out and into the field. And moments later. You see Queenie. <laughs> oh my dear God. I don't know why I picked babysitting. I am an idiot. Oh, by the way, before you kill that cow, you might want to milk it. Its udders are full. And then I'm going to keep running. <laughs> okay. That. Hmm. <laughs> I'll like look at the hammer that I have, <laughs> like the knife, <laughs> and the saw, and then back to the cow. And before the and before the scene of Apocalypse Now ended. <laughs> Uh, so I do have to say something really quickly. So someone says, what, Nikki? What happened in Edge of Midnight Body Horror? This is not bad. I don't know why, but, like, I can talk about, like, human death. Sorry, Steve, the FBI agent. I can talk about human death like it's no problem. But the moment it comes to animals, it becomes really difficult. Kill all humans! Oh, you yeah. circle in life and all that. There's always a bigger fish. <laughs> to use an anachronistic term, we cut to scrimp. <laughs> <laughs> you are out on a field looking out at a um, uh, uh, like a football field size pitch mm. and it's muddy it is gated and uh, you're on a hill and uh, next to you um, with her knees in her arms uh, Daisy is seven hundred and seventy six seven hundred and seventy seven. 778, 700, ah, ah, damn it, 700, <laughs> Seven. again, <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't made for work, <laughs> She smacks the back of your hat. Your hat, uh, which doesn't exist anymore, uh, doesn't actually fly off because you're not wearing a hat. Oh, I miss my hat. <laughs> One. <laughs> two. Three. It's hard. It's difficult for you to count these, uh, not just because you're being distracted and you don't want to, and you don't want to, and you don't want to, but... <laughs> 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 You're seeing all the hundreds of hogs um, occasionally like get into like lined orders or form circles 
start to swirl around and like play games with each other almost. These are our unusual activities for humans. And you are watching them be very strange in orchestration. Daisy seems undisturbed. She's just doing her best to pocket them and write down some numbers and then pocket them and write down some numbers. Before we get started again, uh, and I apologize about that, but I have a question that, why are they doing that? Yeah, they're weirdly organized. This like is, this is how hogs behave. What like, are you like? I'm not. I'm not just like seeing things, right? I haven't been out here for so long that my mind is fried. I mean, they're actually forming <coughs> designs, and they're, they're weirdly organized. That's not nor- That is not normal behavior. That's how hogs. I don't understand. These are the only hogs that you've ever seen. Well, I've seen other hogs at other farms. Uh, I, these these are the the house of uh, this is our house's uh, uh, f- uh, hog farm. But uh, you've we're... never seen hogs outside of this. No, no, no. I, I, I are there hogs out in the the, the forest? Yes, and they don't behave like this. How I'm telling they, you something. How do they behave? Like hogs? That doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> like a normal hog. They don't form intricate patterns and designs. They, they just kind of sit there all day. No, they look at, look at, look. This is, this is what they do all day. They love to play and, no, and muck around in the mud. Look. This isn't right. This isn't playing or mucking. This is something advanced. And as you're looking down, they're like. It's synchronized holiday. Yeah. Like when it was 1920s, black and white, like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This a group of four of them once smoking a cigarette and playing cards. Yeah. Oh, Turns into a hog rave. <laughs> <laughs> no, Daisy, you, you don't understand. I'm telling you that something isn't right here. And, and look, I know that none of this is right, but this is especially wrong. What do you think is happening? This is wrong. I don't want to be right. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I get... I mean, besides it just being weird, is that really the only feeling? Like, I mean, this is just out of the ordinary. Make an intelligence check at advantage. Oh, wow. Well, I will roll twice. Thank goodness. Oh, no. That was worse. I got a, <laughs> uh, I got an eight. An eight? Yeah. Hogs shouldn't act like that. <laughs> That's look, weird. Look, Daisy, I, I know that I probably wasn't your first choice out of the group to be stuck with, but I'm telling you that this isn't right. Okay. I believe you. One. Huh. Two. One. Three. Two. Four. Three. Three. <laughs> You've been shown how to do this once before, and this is the first time that you're doing it alone. And you walk down the steps, and you find yourself in a beautiful wine cellar. Uh, a wine cellar is not uh, very... doesn't quite do it justice. The, this is like a, a brewery room where uh, huge uh, casks, barrels, as tall, maybe taller than you are, uh, round bulbous oak uh, barrels are stored and it's not just for the coolness that they are are, are, are are able to like ferment and age these wines um, but each one of them has a small little step ladder that allows you to go up and undo this complex mechanism pull it up get a draft and actually take a sip of wine and uh, get a sense of uh, how it's how it's doing and that you will need to do this for 40 or 50 barrels <clears throat> Oh, imagine all the tea you could brew in these, maybe. Oh. Yeah. Um, being being back in a, in a like a brew a room of brewery, I think would take me back like very very quickly for just a moment. It uh, does feel strangely mm. familiar, mm. even in this alien place and this alien continent, in with the experiences that are starting to show you so much wisdom about the world mm. that you're starting to grow up to. You are uh, taken back by this space. It's not tea, but it does have those same parallels that uh, make you almost homesick for a moment. Mm. Uh, before before I climb anything or I, I approach the barrels, I just, for a moment, uh, I, I close my eyes and I just take a deep inhale of the room. 
just to get a sense for all the everything like the the wood of the barrels the any anything that's potentially like an ingredient in the room anything to really like bring in every smell and trying to begin to to piece it apart and really intake uh uh every aspect of this space uh before i begin to uh visit visit the first barrel you center yourself and you take in the smell you get the wood the oak smell uh the oil that's been used to treat it um the musk of this basement being what it is not unpleasantly so um uh, it is rich and uh, clean smelling and you uh find that balance inside of yourself that allows you to approach the task at hand. I climb up the first barrel. Uh, it, it's one of those, um, you know those uh, uh, mason jars where it has like one like arm hook and then it mm, hooks around mm-hmm. in the other way and you need to like twist it in sort of a funky <clears throat> manner mm-hmm, in order yeah, to yeah, get it to yeah. pop over the ridge and it's one of those Heard style that. mechanisms and you're able to... <clears throat> Uh, uh, using uh, just a bit of strength, not that big, but just a bit of strength, pull it free and open up, and you get this heady, fortified wine smell. Um, You know that there's going to be a variety of wine smells in this space, but this seems to be almost like a dessert wine, port-like. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, this smells delicious. Now, do I have a scooper or like a uh, cup? You have a, a ladle. ladle. A ladle. You have a ladle. Okay. Um, you have a, um, a, a satchel of water so mm-hmm. that you can clean the ladle between okay. the barrels. Okay. And you have a cup which um, you can pour into just a, a small shot glass, let's mm. say. Take the ladle. Your notes of cherry. Mm. You're starting to feel the aged nature of the oak really add the <clears throat> vanilla dimension and, and additional other flavors to it. Mm. Um, mm. It yes. doesn't taste like it's going in any wrong direction, uh, but it, it's syrupy. It's a little. It's it, the, the at the back of the mouth. It's it lingers for ha- perhaps mm. too long. In, in your opinion, <laughs> mm. Mm. I'll have to cut the lingering of the the after the aftertaste. Uh, we'll add a little. Something special. You um, go to the front the storeroom, and uh, you know that there's um, some fresh wine. Uh, there's some uh, d- additional like herbs, fruits, vegetables, mm. uh, things that you might be able to add uh, just to, to to kick it up for a week before scooping that back out. And uh, uh, you you grab what you feel is appropriate, and you make your way back up the stairs. You... Do I find any cranberries? Oh. It is Christmas, Derek. Sam, maybe some mistletoe. Oh yes, there's there's uh, uh, what looked like uh, uh, as sort of towards the end of life, but not molding, but uh, uh, not fresh cranberries, but cranberries that have been well stored. Mm. Uh, I take whatever I deem would be an appropriate amount, judging by the size of the cask, to uh, uh, to um, add in there that Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you do that and you um take another uh ladle and you take another sip and um the tartness uh and 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 the sweetness that the cranberries have added um makes it a little drier and 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 made a little easier to swallow you think that you've you've course corrected just slightly this particular barrel Mm. another 49 barrels to go you (laughs) well You're you're on Six your months later. you're on your tenth barrel mm. as you're making your way through this task and you're realizing that you need to make a constitution saving throw. Uh-oh. <laughs> you're supposed to spit it out. You're not supposed to swallow it. Oh and I, I, how am I, how am I gonna know tasting. how the how am I gonna know how the ooh, how am I gonna know how the after dig tastes? deep dig uh, deep dig deep find this constitution. Um, Dragon sorcery. Ooh, fine. eighteen. Nice. Eighteen. Mm-hmm. Um, you are taking small sips and you're trying to be cautious. You know how many barrels you have to go through. Another 10, 20 barrels. Um, make that uh, Constitution saving throw at disadvantage. Ooh. Um, twelve. Mm-hmm. Roll again. Oh, oh, and oh, just another one. Your oh, disadvantage, yeah, yeah. Oh, course. yeah, nine. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, 
ladder is getting a little precarious. No. The taste that you have in your mouth, they are all starting to taste the same. Does this white taste like that red that you just had? Was the... Which... Was it oranges oh. that, that they wanted me to go in with this one? They said something... Uh, this one tastes a little off. Probably should add a lot more fresh this wine This is this delicious. One. And, uh... Wine will never best shag off of the black rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I know exactly what... <laughs> Oh, I know what this one means. Oh, little oh, the ogres. Uh, oh, the ogres. <laughs> oh, well, love. Uh, what I have? A pepper, I think. Pepper. <laughs> Pe- pepper. Um. Uh, yes, pepper. Exactly. Oh, eight. Teen handfuls of it. You put exactly teen correct. Teen handfuls of black pepper into one wine. <laughs> <laughs> and then you move on to the next one, and as you make your way up to the steps, you. Perfect! Uh, your, your vision is doubling at this point, and uh, it's strange to come to a, a, a single image. Uh, and you're looking and looking at the mechanism, and you're staring at what is a dormouse. A small little mouse. And it looks at you, and you're so taken aback that you almost stumble off your rear oh. for a moment. Then you pull yourself forward and stare right at him, and he works the mechanism, opens the top of the, uh, the, the barrel, and takes a thimble, scoops out a little tiny bit of this particular wine, and fills what is clearly a little satchel at its side and then closes the mechanism before scampering down the backside of the barrel into the deep of the basement. Well, thank you, cadre of Dormice. I, I, couldn't, I just need the one, though. I couldn't possibly drink seven thimbles of this wine. Silly to pour so much. The Dormouse is gone. Uh, no, I, please, join me, have some. <laughs> are, you, are you there? Dormice! The four oh. of you finish your day's tasks. Oh, Queenie. <laughs> you chase... You chase the hell out of these twins, and you make your way uh, through uh, a field, past the stables, past the garden, all the way up to a forest line. And you find the twins there, and they are standing there, and they're doing this like, you can't catch us, you can't sneak us, you can't seek us, you can't hide from us, ha ha ha. They're they're taunting you as much as possible and trying to get you to chase them uh, full of energy as they are and full of mischief as they are. Uh, you are standing looking up at them almost out of breath, but determined. Um, are my bees innate? Uh, your honey pot is not at your side. It's it's uh you 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 don't have your your. But it's not my honey pot that calls the bees to me as a swarm keeper ranger. Though. That's true. So I would look towards the tree line, and I'm like I'm about to pass out at this point. Like I'm seeing I'm seeing quadruple here. There are eight <laughs> twins in front of me. Uh, I've sweat so much I can't sweat anymore. And I look towards the tree line and... All right, you might have bested me, but I think that's because one of you might be an ogre princess. We look at each other. Now... Confused now. I know you probably weren't told this. But I was asked to babysit you because I am the reincarnation of Fiona Smashman. <laughs> the Ogre Queen of the Swamp. And it is written in our lore that one twin will rise above the other to take her seat <laughs> as Princess of the Swamp. <laughs> and only the bees can choose the rightful heir. <laughs> Now, I need you both to come towards me and stare out into the forest with me and let's see if we can call those bees. You make persuasion check. <laughs> An outside advantage. And whoever the bees choose have to eat the loose. <laughs> <laughs> you said We're gonna get a keen did you say persuasion? persuasion? <laughs> 21. 21. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, they're Good looking luck. at each other and it's like, who moves first? Are you gonna move? 
And then one of them turns and starts to scramble down the, the rock that they were standing on uh, uh, and, and make their way. And the other one uh, huffs, huffs and st- uh, jumps forward. Sibling rivalry has been kindled within them and they immediately start to race forward and they are standing there looking at you. What do we, what do we have to do? What do we have to do? Well, you know princesses are graceful, right? They're not rude. They're not bratty. They're not mean. They're lovely, ladylike, kind, smart, intelligent, because those are different. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the most loveliest and kindest and graceful. You are not. Ow! 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 That's <laughs> not the kind of attitude that's going to summon the bees. They're going to see right through that. Ow! A brawl explodes. <laughs> see, see what you did? Who hit who first? They're less likely to be a princess. That's what I thought. All right. Say something kind to each other. The kindest person is going to summon the bees. I like that you look like me. <laughs> We're pretty. That's that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. You always give me more food than you eat, and I like that, and I thank you. All right, that's nice, too. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to call on the bees. I'm going to make a buzzing sound in the back of my throat and call on just a few of my swarm to make their way out of the forest and uh, have them dance around in like beautiful patterns. The bees that join you come not just from the forest, but from behind. You expect to be able to summon bees of this nature, these fey uh, spirits that join you in your journey across the Vantress and uh, uh, in, in the, in, where, where you think it, think that would, it would emerge. But they also come from behind, seemingly of <clears throat> having left wherever your honeypot may, may be. They immediately come to your beck and call. You summon them. Look at them all around us. And I'm gonna have them create the images of a beautiful towering castle. And um, the image of a crown or a tiara, um, a scepter. You're creating these images one after the other and you've clearly enthralled the twins. What was their 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 plan of of torturing you the way they might have tortured any other vassal uh disappearing melting away as you are enchanting them in this way and as you create each one of these shapes you turn and look back there is no ogreton from this vantage point for you you feel that dizzy passing out feeling that's not fading it wasn't just the heavy uh, workout and sprinting and, and exercise that you had just done chasing the twins. Looking back, there's almost a mirage-like feeling. And what would be farms and villas and uh, structures of a whole city and the the waterfall looks mundane. Like a, like a simple mountain face. As if there was no city there whatsoever. I'm gonna make a note of that up here in the old mountain. <laughs> Now, twins, yeah. girls. Yeah. They are at oh, their alert attention. These bees will leave if they sense any unkindness in your hearts. They are only drawn to the princess with the most pure of heart. You, you want to go play? Yeah. You want to have a tea party? Yeah. Let's do that. And walking gracefully, you make your way, having succeeded on your first day as babysitter, and yes. you make your way back to the rest of the group. Thank you, bees. <laughs> I love you, bees. Uh, the four of you finally make your way at night. You have an opportunity to enjoy a shower. You eat a fatty, delicious meal, and the four of you find yourselves uh, uh, speaking together in the room that you share, um, elevated from the quarters of the vassals, uh, alone the four of you, all by yourselves. I learned something today that seems suspicious. I learned something too. Are you feeling all right? Why don't you go first? (laughs) Mr. Fireboss, are you all right? No, Shagoth of the Black Rock is totally fine. (laughs) Oh, Shagoth of the Black Rock, yes, right, we should be Uh, in character. Uh, You're you're drooling all over yourself. No, that's wine. (laughs) No. No, I'm not. No. 
And why am I all wet? Listen, did anyone else kill any kindly eyed animals? <laughs> no, but I got close to killing two child ogres. It's so. it's possible. Don't drink from the 79th wine barrel. <laughs> why not? Oh, because I thought it was a pool. And the dormice uh, that show told me it was a pool. You were talking to dormice? Yes, many. It many dormice. Spoke to you? We went for a swim. It said I was very handsome. And I told her that Mr. Bones was going to rise <laughs> from his, his skeletal rebull tomb. <laughs> and we went for a quick backstroke in what I thought was a delicious pool. And it turns out it was the 79th barrel of wine. <laughs> And uh, it's very charming. Uh, a dormouse. That's a dormouse, yes. yes. No, Many a, dormice. Uh, yes. Did a dormouse have kindly eyes? No, too? Kind. It's like you knew what it was. Oh, he knew no. what you were doing. And he tipped his bowler cap to me and said, You're a handsome gent. Don't put it in. Did he give you eyes that was akin to someone saying you don't have to do this? <laughs> no, no. He said, in fact, you do have to do this. He said, do it more, but don't put any more pepper in it, because that was probably not a good idea. Oh, yeah. That, um, that beef had plenty yeah. of pepper, didn't it? It was yeah. well seasoned. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm convinced that the first barrel of wine is probably okay. The uh, 87th barrel of wine, I come for you that entirely. So I think that's when uh, the wine took over, and I'm pretty sure that's maybe the best one. So, I shag off seen, of the Black Rock. You've never seen a, a Taishan like this. He's, <laughs> I brought wine skins with me, if you'd like uh, do a sample. Uh, and I would suggest this one will pair very good with anything. Um, as everything is in it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and try oh, that. Oh, that's for you. I love uh, the taste of everything. Corn is asleep. Your ears best with itself. <laughs> you, you taste I'm, the wine. I do. I taste the. What does it taste like, Mace? Well, <laughs> Sorry, this Derek. one. This one is. Um, this one is a medley. Um, a winter medley. I call it the Four Seasons uh, because <laughs> it has. Uh, it has something from every season. Mr. Fire Blossom. Why, and it, uh, why yeah, it, it, it has flowers. Why, why do you call it the it, winter medley if it has something from every season? No, I call it the four seasons. You I don't just, call it the winter medley. I said that it is a medley. I said that it is a medley. I did not name it Mr. Dormouse with the handsome bowler cap. It's red and white wine combined. It's red and white <laughs> combined. It's a twist. You know, back where I, in one of the uh, port towns I used to uh, work in, they, call it, they, they call love it, their port. I uh, don't. Uh, <laughs> Like cheap, oh, uh, town cheap that rum. Loves it. Oh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> they 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 called it that. They called that the Uncle Mose. <laughs> Throw a couple of ice cubes in there, <laughs> and you'll be blacked out for an 8 p.m. bedtime. <laughs> All right. So, can you finish telling me what's in this? It's got oh, floral it's notes. got flowers. It's got floral notes. I it has just a scooch of black pepper. A scooch. A scooch of black pepper. Uh, it, it might have a couple of shreds of hair of the dormouse in it. I don't know if you got in this one or not. Uh, but for sure, apricots and cranberries and other berries and then elderberries <laughs> and then cherries berries. <laughs> nice. and yeah, that's, and a that's a nice touch, French Mr. Fuller. French Fuller-Bosa. dressing and then oh. a jalapeno. How did you make a French then, dressing? And then, you taste I, I think I the dormouse is French. Yeah. I was, so was going to say, after t- like, so t- Shen explains it. What does it actually taste like, Derek? It tastes, it tastes like a nightmare sangria. It's a spicy, overburied, extra sweet, extremely tart, red and white combined <laughs> impossibility. My goal in That's my... That's pretty delicious, actually, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, it, it goes with everything because it tastes like, like everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is like this is like an everything bagel in liquid form. Uh, you yeah. know how sometimes you can have leftover days and you combine stuff and you're like, this is really, really good. This is actually surprisingly good. It's like the day after Thanksgiving when but you take your entire Thanksgiving dinner and you mash it up into one amalgamous Thanksgiving uh, mound. You like, you like the Four Seasons, huh? 
<laughs> You'll never be able to recreate that dish because you don't know exactly how the ratio. The, the, the not just the ratio, but like certain foods had been seasoned previously, and you'd have to season that food exactly the same exactly. way in order for it to work. It's in the never going to be the same. It, you, it's you'll always never be, different. You have yeah. a uh, a unique, a legendary artifact of a wine. <laughs> uh, this is. Probably the greatest thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> I fire off fireballs into the yeah! from my oh. finger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Check out that the Black Rock has done it again, and will do it many more times, yeah. and has done it for many lifetimes before. <laughs> and you, you're near to sleep. Miss Smash Mouth, I don't think I like Mister of the Black Rock. <laughs> Oh, I like. I think I think Tashi's really. I mean, I'm sorry. I think Shagoth is uh. an amazing. Friend. Oh, I think the dragon ogres just have gotten to his mind. Draw the fact, Shark Muncher, you just haven't tried it. Did you just call him Shark Muncher? I uh, just call you that. Does he not munch sharks? No, oh, I punch sharks. You punch sharks? What do you do? And then I them? strap them to my hands and I punch people with sharks. <laughs> okay, well, that's all well and good, but, um. You're near. Wake up. Mm, Wake up, you're near. Wake up. I was trying to share a story about my day, and <laughs> no one would let me talk. To well, I told you to go first, but then everyone wanted to enjoy the four seasons, so and I don't know. Anyway, I guess. actually think you cut him off to talk. But anyway, <laughs> I gotta tell you something important. I don't really care about your wine. I do, because it's delicious, but oh. I went to the edge of this place. And How far did you go? Pretty dang far. And when I looked down upon Ogreton, it wasn't Ogreton. It was like this, almost like a mirage of an Ogreton. And it was it was more just the side of a mountain than anything else. It's almost like it wasn't even here. Is this all an illusion? I'm not sure. Were the ogres there? Well, I was with the twins, and they didn't seem perplexed at all. I mean, to be fair, they were being brats. You, There is a small, bestial creature that is whimpering and clawing at you. I think you need to address that so I can continue my story. Oh, is it the dormouse again? <laughs> there is a tell very, I said, there is a tell very I said hi. Tell him I said hi. You talk through the days that you shared, and uh, Taishan, I'm not sure if you'll remember any of this information, but uh, <laughs> you, you mind all is share your unusual case. experiences, and you have that knowledge as characters. Scrim, it's night now, uh, having counted many hogs many times over, over and over again, and you did finally come to an agreement that there were 914. So. <laughs> Daisy takes you to the shower, and it's time to clean up. This is clearly a ritual that has been baked into vassals, and there's a number of different folks who are all uh, uh, getting showered. And she beckons you. Join me in the stall. I guess. I mean, how much weirder could this day get? Go ahead. <laughs> she pulls you in and closes the, the, the not the door, but the, um, Curtain. 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 Shower Thank curtain. you, the shower curtain. And uh, she doesn't turn the water on just yet. Instead, she points at the grate down at the floor. And looking down, you can see another vassal peeking up through the through the grate in the sewer system. What the hells? And a hand lifts up and clutched is what is clearly a blood-covered parchment <laughs> letter. <laughs> oh my god. Do you think they're all right? She... I, I will unroll it. And, and what does your letter say? Well, so I'll, I'll start to look at it, and at the top I'll see, see something about Mr. Bones, and then blow it, <laughs> yeah, and I can't yeah, make yeah. out, and then some other thing, and I'm, I'm reading through it, I'm skimming through it, and I'm, I'm reading all these titles and things that you put in there, and then there's the random blurbs from Queenie about being okay, I hope they're feeding you, we miss you, and then <laughs> something about me owning uh, Daisy as a vassal, and I look at the letter, and I look at Daisy, and I... 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 I look at Daisy and I say Barnabas what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> doesn't make any sense doesn't make any fucking sense there's blood all over this I can't even read half of it there's something about 
ogre titles and 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 and, and something about going to ogre heaven and why yeah. is there blood? <laughs> you think that's their blood? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> There's a chipped golden scale rolled up in the in the note. <laughs> this, this, this is Haitian skin. Who's Mr. Bone? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared too. And she comes in and she gives you a hug, and that's where we'll take a break. <laughs> The four of you wake the next morning and are prepared to do additional chores, but before you can be directed by Bacon or, or be guided to uh, return to your duties, Manius uh, shows up at the door. Hello, hello, hello. How, how's everything going? How are my vassals doing? Still trapped in stations beneath the great he ogre gods of heroes old. Well, you'll be pleased. I've got progress. Progress that has been, has been made. Uh, the, 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 the governor of commerce, Gork Augustus, has agreed to meet with us today, this morning. First thing, we need to get into carriages and make our way down so that we can uh, see if we can get your, your companion, the other one that we rescued from the madness, Get him and uh, make our way to see if we can petition the House of Military. Oh, yes, uh, Mr. Bones, I believe his name is. Mr. Bones, you say? Yes, Mr. Bones. Is this our companion. another memory or talent that is emerging? It is. Uh, he is another reincarnated ogre deity, yes. Oh, the Necrogers, yes. Oh, uh, can everyone maybe just stop shouting? What? Oh! oh! All you need is a good pot of coffee, Mr. Fireblossom. Uh, oh, coffee. Put that tea down. Uh, coffee. Uh, coffee. Uh, and uh, he yells out, and uh, a vassal shows up, uh, uh, and uh, she she's looking uh, uh, very expected. And, uh, yes, 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 coffee. Um, can you get some of yourself? I mean, coffee. Can you get can you get coffee for for uh, our our four uh, uh, noble guests? Let's let's call them. Mm. Um. How are your twin daughters behaving today? I understand that they, uh, 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 uh dramatically changed. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you. They are starting it's to ogre magic. Like true ogres, yes. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm the reincarnation of <coughs> Fiona. Smash Mouth. Mariana is not able to give her the, the attention that an ogre needs growing up, and so I... I feel it deep in my soul that you are uh, what you say you say you are. I believe in you. I believe that we're going to be able to uh, convince the others, convince the whole peoples of Ogerton, be able to convince them that you are who you say you are despite your appearance, and that we have learned everything we need to learn about the world to grow and be taken back all together to Ogre Heaven. Yeah. <laughs> no, well said. I believe that we will show our divine taint. Uh, I mean, uh, not corruption, uh, uh, not touch. Uh, divine spark. Spark, yeah. Exactly right, Mr. Manius. Uh, thank you, Trothak. Yeah. If you can follow me, the four of you, we'll make our way down to the carriages right away. Let us go. Oh, I should also explain that I think... Uh, yes, Shagoth. Yes, barrels 1 through 15 will be quite delicious. Uh, barrels 16 through 78, mm -hmm. I can't speak to. Barrel 79, you shouldn't try. And barrel 80, mm -hmm. that I think is when my final drink, I pierced the veil, I peered in and I saw everything that was of Shagoth of the Black Rock. Yes. And barrel eighty. Fascinating. I think 
It's maybe the greatest thing you will ever try. He writes some of these notes down. Um, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, Caraway will will be back at his old duty, uh, taking care of the wine. I'm sure it'll be fine, and through your guidance, we will eventually uh, uh, get it back up to stock. Is Caraway an ogre? No, one of our vassals. He definitely shouldn't drink it, then. He'll probably explode. <laughs> I will, I will make it known before we Don't let out. him taste it. He'll definitely die. <laughs> I will see you down in the courtyard in 15 minutes. Oh, that's the nightmare sangria, I believe. Uh, is what, what Mr. Shagoth here had been calling it. He turns and he makes his way, and the four of you find yourselves at the front. Uh, and sure enough, uh, at the front of there are two great carriages pulled by massive arctic bears, polar bears, uh, white-furred, and uh, they are uh, uh, sort of looking around... Waiting, getting getting ready, and uh, uh, Manius comes down with two vassals himself, makes his way into the first carriage, and then the four of you enter that carriage, and you're pulled away. You're drawn by a bear-pulled carriage down this long path, past fields and farms, uh, being worked not just by vassals, but uh, by uh, ogres, too. Um, fields of all shapes and sizes, uh, fields of all uh, makes. Uh, you, you can see this is a bountiful land with a variety of different foods. It explains why you were able to have uh, uh, such rich stews. Uh, this, is, this is a fertile land. And uh, pretty quickly, uh, you start to approach the city proper. There's a, a beautiful uh, mishmash, a myriad of uh, white uh, uh, stone and, and houses, but you do not enter. Instead, you turn and you make your way up another one of these legs. And I told myself I'd be prepared with a map today so that I could slap it down so that you could see what I'm fucking talking about and I can create a quick draft for you if you want to on on, uh, on the, the surface here. But um, you for tr trust me <laughs> that you uh, uh, are able to dip down very, very close to the actual like center of the city where, where it's... Um, uh, buildings and buildings, uh, uh, roof after roof. Uh, you can see even uh, some really large, massive structures, but back up and into the sort of uh, villa land uh, that you've come to know uh, Manius enjoys. That is clearly the case also for Gorkustus, that he has one of these long, extended um, uh, villas and uh, fields to work. And making your way, uh, you eventually come to the front of another very similarly fashioned and beautiful uh, space. The carriages come to rest, and you come to a stop, and the four of you are uh, uh, allowed out by one of the vassals, and there, standing at the front, is this uh, ogre that you've not yet met, his gaunt face. Uh, uh, his elongated features. This is very clearly Commodus Gork Gustus. And standing next to him is a person that you recognize. Scrim. Hello, old fellow! Yes, old fellow, how are you doing? Oh, it's good to see you, it's good to see you. Uh, I, I'm glad you received my letter well. Yes, all is well, all is well. I understand that we're going to be uh, 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 talking about an exchange, even though you gifted this one to me uh, uh, just a few days ago, uh, that you'd like to uh, trade for him back. Yes, 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 uh, we've made an amazing, amazing discovery. I, I believe that these four here are uh, Jotnar of the Frostguard Ogres, Trothak, Shark Puncher, Fiona Smashmouth, and Shagoth of the Black Rock. That these are souls not of vassals, not uh, uh, part to be part of our family, but instead perhaps even of the gods. Uh, 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 members of the family of Sophilith himself, perhaps. And... We 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 we've we've much to learn. There's only one way to know for sure, and it's to test them, to 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 see if they they know our ways, to know our 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 our, our experiences, that they can guide us, guide us to uh, ogre heaven, that we are the last generation, that there will no longer be needed for a, a lottery, but instead uh, that we all of us would be able to, the thousands of us walk across that bridge, jump on the silver ship, and cross back into heaven, having learned what there is to learn about the mortal world. 
Yes, yes, yes. You explained all of this in your letter, Manius. You explained all of it in your letter. How do you know for sure? There's no way to know for sure, but I need the set. I need... Uh, what did you call him? Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones. We need Mr. Bones to know for sure. We found Of the Dirt Ogres. We found these fives, and though... Uh, Alcatra, the one that has been returned to you, uh, we're not sure about. Uh, we know that she grew up here, but this one, look at his appearance. Oh, um, He's, uh, I'm, I hate to interrupt you, but I am uh, Queen yes, Fiona, Fiona Smash yes. Mouth. Uh, Fiona, um, it is. Yes, we do know about Catra. She may have grown up here, but she was the one that foretold our coming. If it were not, is it coming? Anyway, um, if she had not brought us here, returned us here, you never would have been reunited with the five of us. She makes she an is excellent point. The key to all of it. You see, Fiona makes an excellent point. Yes, yes, she does, but she also is a part of the House of Commerce. She is. Uh, part of our family. As Governor of Commerce, I couldn't possibly part with two, let alone perhaps one of the ogre gods without appropriate no, no, compensation. I think, I think you are mistaken. Mr. Bones and Daisy, which is her name, as she belongs to us. She's our vassal. We'll see in good time. I have not yet made a judgment as to how I might see the four or five of you as perhaps what you claim to be. I haven't given it enough thought. However, I would agree to parting with Mr. Bones if... Manius? Yes, 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 of course, of course, of course. Would you be willing to trade? Perhaps two of your vassals? <clears throat> it is worth it. It is worth it for my research. I, I, I think it is absolutely... Uh, of course, of course, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I, I... You can... You can have these two vassals, and Mr. Bones, you'll come with us, and the five of us can... Prove that you are who you say you are. Oh, yes. It would be worth it to me if I could win the lottery, perhaps. I could join my family and... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I want to raise the dead in Mr. Bones' hand. Uh, I have a question. Could you accomplish your day-to-day -day tasks as you are without your vassal? Without your vassals, your many vassals? You're speaking to Manius now? Mm -hmm. I... It is a shame to lose them. They are part of the family. It would... Uh, I, I don't take they, this decision they're lightly. They're part of what makes you who you are, yes? Very much, yes, of course. Well, Daisy is part of what makes us who we are. If we're going to pass your test, we need our vassal. Is there any way that we could... As a friend, Commodus, could you part with both Mr. Bones and the one they know as Daisy? For two vassals, I suppose I could part with Mr. Bones. But for both, I think a bit more. You'd have to agree to promise your daughter's hand in marriage to my son Tito. A marriage agreement. You have two daughters and one on the way. I mean, what's one? Make a persuasion check. Um, 19. Ooh, hold on. Damn. She will be of... Matrimonious age soon enough. When that time comes, 
I think the answer is that we can join our houses, Commodus. Many a sign think that you are correct. I agree to your terms. You are a fair negotiator, despite not being of the House of Commerce. Very good, it is an agreement! Go along, go along! And he, he, he pushes the, the two other uh, vassals forward who, who look uh, downtrodden, let's say. And uh, Scrim, you are gestured by Commodus. Go on, go on, Mr. Bones, whoever you are. Uh, Should you turn out to be a vassal, this will have been a very profitable day for me, I'd say. Uh, Thank you for counting the the hogs. I just kind of grimace at him, and I reach out to grab Daisy's hand and, like, take her with me. You pull her hand, and she is right behind you, and uh, she turns and she waves, and uh, you can see that through some of the windows, there are other people are very intent. Like this is a, this is an event. This is drama. This is gossip. And are there, we the drama? You are the drama, and there are faces in the windows looking down. Uh, people have come to see exactly how this might happen, and looking up, you see the face of Myelin. And he's looking down at you and at the party, <laughs> and his fuck, 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 fuck. His, ha- his his arms are are um, uh, crossed in anger, and he hits the window and turns and and disappears into the, the 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 darkness. And the five of you are reunited. As soon as I get over to the four of you with Daisy and Tom, I'm like, guys, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck's going on? Who you read my letter, Mr. Stab is going. Your letter didn't make any bones. Your letter didn't make any fucking sense. It was covered in blood. Ooh. Oh. oh, wait! Covered? How much hey, blood? How is your back feeling? I don't know what's oh, kind of issue. I, I lift <laughs> up. I lift up his shirt, and it is it is clearly infected. It's oh, <laughs> it's gross. Definitely don't drink barrel seventy nine then. <laughs> ah, That's stop. really. You guys have to start talking nonsense. Something is seriously wrong here. Mr. What, Bones, what do, what do you, you mean? mean? What have you seen? First off, I tried to tell them that I was a god as soon as I got here, and they didn't believe me. He started talking in some crazy tongue, and I tried to fake it, and they knew I was faking. So how the hell did you convince them you're gods? You're near. You're not as convincing as we are, I suppose. Uh, bullshit! <laughs> Second of all, I fucking found Mylan. He's alive, and he's in there, and he's being held captive like everybody else. I thought they said that Mylan died. Yeah, he punched me in the face. He's not dead. So he gave up himself Unless... for his daughters. All right. What if we're all dead? At this point, anything is possible. But he is pissed. He is pissed that his daughters ended up back here and one of them didn't make it. Let's get into the fucking carriage. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, yes. 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 All right. All right. Oh, it's good to see you, lad. Manius and Commodus exchange a few more words. They shake on it. You can see they like even like grab each other by the, the forearms and, and give each other a great big bear hug. And then uh, uh, Manius turns around and uh, uh, realizes that his uh, carriage is vassalless and gets into it alone. And the... Uh, six of you, with Daisy included, are being pulled in one carriage and Manius in the front carriage as you're being carried to your, your uh, next destination, it seems. So we're, like, relatively alone. You seem to be alone for the first time again in however many days, uh, and you are um, able to have a private conversation. Important. I am so important. glad to see you guys. I thought you guys were dead. I didn't know what... Th- you calling me fucking mustard seed. What? Who's this Mr. Bones? Oh, that's you. You're Mr. Bones. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't get that from the part of the letter where it says you're Mr. Bones. Wait, have you been to sleep yet? Uh, yeah, 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 I got some sleep. Did yeah. you have the mind library dream? Well, I, I mean, that's oddly specific, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all had the same dream. Did you, were you in a lot of pain when you woke up? Oh, yeah, very much so. In the back of the neck. Yep, yep, mm-hmm, like right about here. No, oh, no, yeah, the same for us. Yeah. Something strange is going on. Is there a window to this carriage? Many. Uh, it's uh, your your classic, um, like, Cinderella's like carriage. Cinderella style carriage. Where and there's no got ogre big wheels. in our compartment. There are mm-hmm. no ogres in our compartment. We're totally alone. You're awesome. totally alone. Manius is in the first carriage. Uh, originally, he was just being served by his two vassals, but now he's alone. And uh, he didn't say a word to you. He just uh, 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 jumped into his side, and uh, and and now you're being carried, drawn to wherever he is drawing you, and you can see out. As you are passing the same farms and fields that you would see on the perimeter of the of the town, but you're clearly heading back to the city at this point. Oh, this- I, 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 I know that the dream thing is weird, but have you guys seen the pigs? 
Oh, I saw the cows. They were, there was like, well, first off, there were like 900 of them and they were like synchronized dancing. Mm. I don't mean like dancing like, (laughs) but they were like making patterns and shapes and moving and weird. They weren't moving like hogs. Wait, I saw some dormice and they were doing the, (laughs) there were probably at least 900 of them. I saw a cow and seemed to understand its own mortality. Oh my God. Gosh. I had a dream once about a, a frog that was wearing a bow tie and he had a top hat and a cane and he was saying, hello, my honey, hello, my baby, hello, my ragtime girl. Did that and happen, like, like, while we were here? Oh, no, this is back when I was a kid. Oh. Oh. Well, clearly, there is, well, you saw a dormouse, you saw a cow, you saw a pig. And 914 I saw of them, to be exact. And they were all intelligent. Or more intelligent than they should be. Well, I don't know but if the Daisy... Dormouse was intelligent, but oh. he was a fantastic dancer. <laughs> Daisy said that that was just how the pigs act. That that's how they all work. While we're sitting here, if I can be next to a window, I want to take out one of the berries that I didn't, uh, that I still have, hopefully still have on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're, they're very persimmon-esque, is what I'll say. And I want to just sort of hold my hand out, um, out, out the window, all riding, and just mm. see if, if any birds will come down as we're riding. Make a nature or animal handling check. May I twist this? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> please. Twice? Please. Yes, please. Yeah, sure, why uh, not? Did you make a nature or an animal handling? I did a, let me tell you. Uh, nature is four, animal handling is five. So I made an animal handling check. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. It was faded. It was faded, yo. Yeah. Uh, 14. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not enough. You hold out your hand and you do this with the fruit and uh, I think you're expecting to attract a bird and... Any, any, yeah, any creature that would... (laughs) Hopefully silver coin. (laughs) Um, you do, but it does not offer you a coin. Instead, it seems like a gesture of generosity and you just have a bird go... (laughs) <laughs> and disappear with one of the fruit. Oh, oh. Oh, all right. <laughs> Bye, enjoy! Uh, and then, yeah, all riding, I'll just take out another one, I'll just hold my hand out while we're talking. As you're talking, uh, yeah, you're, you're feeding these birds. Uh, uh, it seems it seems that ev- every few minutes, um, one, one will have finished its meal and grab one out, out of your hand, and uh, pretty soon you're through the, the lot of them. Well, do, do any land on my hand? I would try to like hold it on my to my thumb. Oh, okay. I want, uh, I want this, to get one this to land time on my you, hand. You very smartly uh, trap one of the fruits, and uh, this time you, a bird does land on on your fingers. Um, I the second it lands, I'm going to cast uh, speak with animals. Hello. <laughs> please, please don't do that weird neck thing. I am called Yornir. <laughs> what is your name? Theodore. It's nice to meet you, Theodore. It's a pleasure to meet you. How are you, sir? <laughs> I'm doing all right. Is he, is he talking to a bird, or am I still uh, extremely aside, drunk? Um, I think he's talking to that bird. Can, can I have yeah. that fruit? Well, uh, we've gotten the others for free, and they're very <laughs> delicious, and we need fruit to live. I would like it if you just answer a few questions. Ask him what kind of bird he is. I will give you this fruit. Oh. What kind of bird are you? Uh, I'm a blue thrush. How would you know that? <laughs> <laughs> You've activated my trap card! Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck! <laughs> what are you? Yeah. I'm a fear bull. How do you know that? Because I'm an intelligent creature. I'm a blue thrush. And you've identified yourself as such? Sure. Have you always been the blue thrush? Absolutely. You were born here? Yes. And your family's from here? <laughs> yes! Ask Many the- generations of proud blue thrush. Ask him how long a generation is. How long is a generation for your species? you <laughs> <laughs> really googling. Ask him what the prime export of the <laughs> thrush community is. Ask him how to determine the value of material six components. years ago. I'm 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 getting up there, but uh, <laughs> every 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 five to ten years or so, what is it to you? I'm just curious. It seems like the animal life in this area is very, uh, 
intelligent. Who well, asked are you? Well, thank you. You ask him uh, about the cows and if they're a forgiving species. Oh, and ask him <laughs> why that one thrush paid for the the fruit. What was that all about? Any other questions I should ask? No, I I don't particularly care for birds. I think that they're a conspiracy theory set up by the government. Oh, ask him if he knows how to kill all the ogres. <laughs> Do you see the large ogre city that we are traveling towards right now? Yes. What kind of question is this? You're very strange. Oh. You seem nice, and I like your fruit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. And as I let go and let him take the fruit, I want to cast B Sense on him. Oh. Okay. Uh, he uh, reaches down with his talons and he hooks into the the, the top husk of this uh, large berry and he starts to uh, flap away. In slow motion, what happens when you cast Beast Sense? Uh, so for the next hour, I can see through his sight. Oh. oh. See through his eyes and hear what he hears. Oh. Uh, and I can flip back and forth between my senses and his. Okay. Wow. So. That is clever. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm just like, you just see me, I'm like. <laughs> my eyes are just glowing, and I'm just totally. Oh, no, this, this is good. This is good. I, I suspected that whatever we're wearing uh, didn't suppress our magical abilities, and I've been holding that close to my chest, so to speak, because I think if we really need to, I still have a weapon. Because of your horrible curse. <laughs> yes. Hey, nicely done, Mr. Bones. Are you talking about your blade? Yes. Oh, I still have all of my magic. Yes, that's right. That's what and I'm saying. I still have my uh, my mutations. I just didn't want to try it. I can jump real high. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> that, I'm sure that will come in handy. I have a bunch of bees. But what? I, yeah, know, I know. I just don't want to use our show our hand too early. If you know what I mean. The point is, when we want out of these things, we can get out. I oh, just don't you've really you removed one already. Oh, yeah, maybe these things can be so, cut through. Wow. So what Daisy seems to think so. So what I'm what I'm thinking is why don't we you know I'm a I can sew. So why don't we cut them and then fasten them back together in a way we could easily rip them off. So that way if we get into trouble down the line, we're not scrambling to try and remove them when we're in a hurry. Wait, Mr. Bones, you're brilliant! I saw Mylan when we were leaving that place. You were with him. You asked him how he got the collars off of his daughters and how he broke them out. Oh, you yeah. have a plan. Oh, yes. You spent all that time you had with the one guy who's escaped and gotten many people out of here. He is always the one coming up with the plans. He's I, the idea he's guy. He's always got the plans, the idea guy. I knew you on Mr. Bones. Ugh, Mr. The Bones. The person in this whole place. The brains of the operation, you might say. Who's got multiple people out? We're multiple uh, people. Uh, he knows. Oh, we uh, knew we could oh, count yeah, on this you. This is it's gonna so be our savior, Mr. Mr. Bones. Uh, I have a plan. Oh, I knew it. But Mylin wouldn't talk to me. Well, he can't talk, so that no, makes no, sense. No, no, he was furious. He refused to even entertain anything that I had to say. Why was he mad at you? What did you do? Well, he thinks that we're responsible for getting his only remaining daughter back into captivity. I mean, he's not wrong. I tried to explain to him that we did everything in our power to protect them, but... I mean, we were in a sauna, so... Well, even before that, I told him about the encounters that we had with the horrible creatures and, and what happened to the rest of the crew, and he really wasn't interested in hearing any of it. He's yeah, very, I mean, very angry with us. to be fair, if we'd never engaged with his daughters at all, they probably... I don't think Honey would have died. Well, but surely when you told him we were happy to break out his daughter again, he was he was all too happy to put forth the information on how to do it. No, he punched me in the face and stormed off. Oh. It was very abrupt. I wasn't really ready for it. Oh, that is fair, is that we're the ones that got them mixed up in the nefarious deeds of our crew. But for what it's worth, uh, Daisy thinks that we could lead some sort of revolution. <laughs> That's the plan, the whole you, plan. You guys That's have it. done amazing things. Yeah. Mm. 
And, you know, Mylan, he, uh, my father, uh, didn't, um, uh, you know, cu cut or break the, the pendants. He convinced Gork Augustus to, to let us free. We, we, we he, he, he just took the, 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 the pendants off. We don't know any other way. Gork Augustus did. Yes. But it was Daisy who suggested we try to cut through them. Oh, well. He traded, he traded with Gork Augustus. Do you know what he gave him? I understand it took him many years, 10, 11 years to, to make happen. Well, so if we don't have a decade to uh, spend around here trying to trade for our own freedom, perhaps a revolution might be a good start. At least if we kick something off in the chaos, we might be able to slip out of here. Wait, well, I think that the real plan here is to get all of the ogres to ogre heaven, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I yeah. like that idea. The true goal of all of our ogre souls. To achieve ogre heaven. Oy. And then there won't be any ogres left and we can just walk out of here. And we won't be eaten. If they, and they'll all be happy because it'll be an ogre heaven. How much time do we have until we reach uh, wherever we're going? I, I presume that we've... You've been where we're going, right? I'm going back to wherever you guys came from? No, I don't think so. Oh, no. Where are we going? I think we're going to prove ourselves to... All of Ogreton. Mm -hmm. To Gork Augustus. The, the, we are the uh, the ogre gods that we say we are. And that, that we said that you are. <laughs> How are we going to prove that? Who knows? Well, well you, know. so I mean, you got your old backstory, right? You, I wrote everything down for you. <laughs> it just said something about bones and dirt and muck. <laughs> well, in mines, you're underground. You're zomb undead zombies, gambling habits. Do I just have free will to make up whatever I want? Oh, that's what we've been doing. No, what? No, you remember your life from before you don't make up anything. It comes to you. <laughs> I'm getting very conflicting messages here. No, you are an ogre necromancer oh. god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chirp, chirp. Uh, as this conversation's been happening, you're near. Uh, uh, part of you has been soaring over the um, scattered fields and, and vi vistas of the space, uh, eventually coming to land in a beautiful um, uh, cypress, uh, fingerling cypress tree, uh, and uh, a small, small um, nest. Is that the type of tree that creates fingerling potatoes? It is now. And, <laughs> and uh, you see... Um, a bushel of fingerling potatoes. <laughs> Theodore. <laughs> fingerling potato off the tree. Why does he need all this fruit when he has a tree that grows fingerling potatoes? Theodore lands on a tree branch and hangs up his coat and puts his hat on the coat hanger and <laughs> says hello to his wife and two children and uh, uh, is able to deliver a, a fruit to them. And, uh, Watches they the a, newest episode yeah, of they, I Love Lucy. They watch the, yeah, yeah, they, he pours okay, himself oh, a real oh, tall oh, drink of bourbon and gets way too drunk for Absolutely. a Tuesday. Yeah. Billy got an F on his report card. <laughs> that's great. That's great, honey. Let me watch my episodes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the news. <laughs> All you do is come home and drink <laughs> again with the nagging. <laughs> God, poor Teddy. <laughs> oh, Teddy B. Teddy, Teddy Bird. Teddy Bird. Oh, damn. He Teddy Bird can't song. catch a break. Oh, yeah. first so song. whenever he like turns his head, he sees what I. I see. Yeah, uh, he sees the city. Uh, at no point does he cross whatever threshold Queenie describes okay. where you would see the um, city mirage, uh, where all of a sudden it goes from, oh, there's there's a thriving, bustling city of ogres to, it, are there no ogres? Or is this actually just a flat land? Or is that the illusion? And vice versa, the way that, the, the, either, either way that you could play it. Um, you, you, he doesn't get that high. He, he goes immediately home and starts eating. I'll snap back. You snap back. He's just the bird. You guys are like deep into Mr. Bones lore at this point. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Mr. Bones deep lore. Oh, you I want to get man. off of Mr. Bones deep lore. <laughs> And that is how you rose from the dirt, from the graves, that you command your hordes of undead, and you joined the great dragon ogres and the great uh, mutant sea fish ogres, oh, the yeah. shark ogres. Now, this should be perfectly easy to prove that I can do. Oh, and then there's yeah. the, the, the king of the frost guard, the closest to, uh, what was the name of that girl that we were supposed to be? 
friends with or something. The god was Sophilith. Sophilith. And I, of course, the Swamp Ogres. I'm not going to remember any of this. <laughs> well, well, it'll come back to you. The memories will come back. You'll realize that you were Mr. Bones all along. <laughs> oh, Taishan, I, I wish I understood what the hell you were talking about. Uh, the rocking under the carriage changes as Hardpack transforms into cobblestone. And the full breadth and scope of the sprawling city of Ogreton reveals itself. Towers and shingled roofs, columns, cloisters, galleries, arcades, to use the ancient Roman-esque term where there's a tremendous number of columns instead of uh, classic joystick action. <laughs> Some buildings are two, three, four classic stories high with action. wide open arched windows built with cut stone, with brick, with terracotta. Colorful flags and fabrics hang from most buildings, many of which feature iconography of a f silver ship. You pass through a lively, bustling marketplace filled with tents where ogres and humans alike are trading and exchanging their many wares. For every ten ogres that you see, there is a vassal. They're, they're outnumbered. There are much fewer of these vassals. It seems that you, it's unusual that you had such a uh, contingency mm -hmm. in the villas of the governors Shit. being what it is. Mm -hmm. However, uh, there are hundreds, no, thousands of ogres inhabiting this settlement. You deduce this easily. Everything looks brand new or at least built very recently. You can see some squares and streets are undergoing fresh construction. Frequently, you pass by these uh, construction spaces. There are shops and houses and gardens and broad sidewalks with heavy ogre foot traffic in every direction you look. You reach the center of the city as you pass through these streets and pull in to what appears to be the center of the city. And I do think that I'm going to have to pause here in this description to at least give you some indication in a drawn manner what I am describing when sure. I... There's massive mountains that you've been facing. Here. Can you adjust the camera? Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's a great waterfall right here. Okay. And uh, this would be the center of town. There's mm. uh, a, the obvious like network of what is a town. There are uh, large structures in different directions here, here, here. Uh, this is the market. And then there are these long paths that lead out to the five houses uh, oh, of, okay. of governorship. And ah, so you, we're on one of these. And roads. so there's a village, a villa, I should ah. say, at the end of each one of these. And you would see, you know, farmland, 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 wow. farmland, farmland, farmland. Are farmland. we in like a big valley? Like a giant A hand. giant valley. And this this slopes down before, I it, hits say the, before it hits the, the mountain. The hand of dreams. And then this starts yeah. to come back up to a larger, taller mountain. This is the forest line where Queenie, uh, this would have been the house of knowledge as an example. This would have been the house of uh, commerce that you experienced. So you guys had to come down here in your carriages yeah. and then scoop back up, come oh. back here, experience, I say, experience there's the nothing, they don't connect they don't, that we can they, there, tell. There are no connections that uh, go okay. from one to the other. Instead, you have to go down one leg and then back up another leg and then down one leg if you wanted to go from house to house to house. And this is the dream eating taper under the ice. And that's the dream, <laughs> that's the dream eating taper under the ice right right there. Look at this little guy. Um, right. But this, this area is, very, is a very oh. urban experience with many, many different streets and, and residences and shops and but towns still, and that sort of thing. urban in the, the sense of ancient Rome. So, right, this, right, this, right. so basically, this is Rome, and then these were the country villas where the senators exactly. lived. Exactly. Roger exactly. That. And exactly. all of the farms yes. that would basically support their... And that's, that's what yeah. I am picturing when yeah. I'm describing all of these spaces. So... 
In last episode, you guys looked out from the top of the town. You could even see the waterfall all the way down. As, uh, this, this is a massive, like, Niagara so this, style. So this is downhill and this is downhill? Yes. Okay, so this is like the bottom oh, of the Oh, so this yeah. all feeds so this is straight sheer, to here. This is a sheer cliff. Oh, I see. Oh. It's a crater. You, you guys imagine that um, this is the other side. Like, if you were to go through these mountains, that on the other side would be the ice the shells. polar bear stuff that you guys mm. would have experienced. This is shoals are So but basically, the uh, polar bear caves like right over but here. My Miles and miles and miles yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, between, between, right? Oh. Yeah. But you've been taken to this little pocket, and Queenie would have uh, oh, had her shit. confrontation with the tw twins when she turned around mm. and saw nothing here. Right, right past the 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 um the line. Uh, tree line. Uh, question, yeah. dumb question. Or sorry, no, good question. Dumb Andy for not asking it immediately. What the fuck is the weather like here? It's <laughs> like. 45, 55 degrees. It's, it's, it's nice and warm. Yeah. And you remember from your showers that you experienced warm water. There, there, There's actually like oh, yeah. hot and paradise. cold water. Yeah. Yes. There's, it's, it's like Shangri-La. and is fertile. Yeah. There's there's all of the the, 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 the lush foliage that no. I've described, all uh -huh. of the food. I'm yeah, he, had, he had access to unlimited food, uh, uh, berries, whatever he yeah. wanted. Yeah, this is bullshit. Yeah. This is horse shit. This is something about lotus eaters. Yep. Well, you know that th that's a thing that really made me think that they were humans was because of the lotus eaters from Odysseus. And so, what if it was a combining the lotus eaters and Circe, uh, the witch who turned his crew into animals? This is nightmare. Mm. I want to go home. Uh, stop the ride. I want to get so off. So I'm like, wait. Or in the Cyclops because yeah. they're all like ooze. Well, you, exactly. you are you are Mr. Bones. You are the wild ride now. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of a Spelljammer Odyssey. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, the Odyssey. The Odyssey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, uh, so you pass through that lively, bustling uh, marketplace. You make your way deeper, deeper, deeper into the city. Ooh, you're passing ogres. You're passing vassals. Um, everything looks brand new, as I mentioned before. Uh, coming to a stop. Uh, you reach the center of the city. Um, this long, this large, uh, uh, flat. Um, uh, for lack of a better word, stage. Uh, this large open space. And um, uh, directly across from it... Sorry, I'm going to do this one more time. No worries. Directly across from it, there is what is clearly a forum building mm. with huge columns all circumferen uh, on the circumference of it, and uh, the perimeter of it, I should say. And at the top right here, there's a ship. There's a huge ship that appears to be made of pure silver. What does a ship look like? A ship. It looks like a uh, classic sailing ship. Like, uh, very much like the more bound. Uh, three uh, giant three mast. mass. Like a space galleon. Like a galleon. A yeah. uh, galleon. <laughs> and at the at the front, uh, right where the um, uh, what's the <gasps> word I'm looking for? Like the Cyclops. Uh... I'm, I'm, I'm going to find the word because I have it written down right here. The big cannon. The figurehead attached to the bow. Mm. There's a curvaceous ogre woman with uh, uh, car carved ah. into into the uh, 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 into into the wood or silver, <laughs> and she's holding a giant globe, what appears to be an orb made of like glass or crystal or something like that, and she's facing the the waterfall. Uh, it glimmers and reflects in the light, and uh, the the whole thing does appear to be made of pure silver, at least coated with it uh, entirely. Uh, you can spy uh, through the um, Ter uh, through the, the the huge columns, this terraced interior where there are people, robed figures, ogres, all having some tremendous debate or discourse or dialogue, uh, uh, where where they're, they're they're yelling at each other and, and screaming. There's a huge crowd of people passing uh, across the open plain, that square that I that I have dr drawn out there, just before the drop that goes down at the bottom of this waterfall, where the edge of the waterfall turns over and, and dips down and down and down into the this crevasse, uh, Ooh, right at the crevasse. edge of, exactly, right at the edge of uh, the, uh, the the city where this uh, Ogreton has been uh, clearly built. And um, uh, let me see if I capture all of the information that I want to <laughs> convey to you right now. No, that no, just that. The, the carriages come to a stop, and you can hear the, oh, uh, so am I hearing this correctly that the waterfall is not empty until it's a river that runs through it. It is empty just deep into the earth. Exactly. Um, 
And you can hear the sound of it uh, uh, crashing um, uh, hundreds of feet, perhaps, below the the uh, in, into the crevasse. Does it crash taperly? Deep. It crash. It crashes very <laughs> taperly. Is like a big what, what does that mean? Note? What does that mean? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, it means I guess. like a taper. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you come to a stop, <laughs> and uh, Mania steps out from his carriage, and uh, he walks over and uh, 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 opens the door to yours. We have, we have uh, work to do here before we continue on. Uh, are you ready to uh, see the people, the people of Ogerton? Yeah. Yes, we are, of course. So they need to meet their uh, great heroes of old. And uh, I think you'll get some strange... Uh, uh, some people will react to you a bit strangely. Uh, don't don't speak too much. I don't want to shock them. But uh, we have important work to do here before we make our way to the House of Military. Can I ask you a question? You just did, my dear. <laughs> Can I ask you two more questions? You just did, my dear. Okay, so time for the, the Ask your question. One. Please go ahead. With all right. I'm we have ask. much to do today. I, all right. Well, you're just making this take longer than it needs you. Go you ahead. Yes. You can speak anytime you want. Well, I do. Well, anyway, are the only the only things that reside in this place animals, humanoids, and ogres? Uh, just ogres, vassals, and the beasts that we keep, yes. And, and your vassals, are they all human? Uh, every single one. You're the only who have shown up uh, looking the way that you do. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you for that. I'm going to use primeval awareness. Ooh, that's a good one. That's pretty <laughs> clever. He's like, oh, fuck. How close <laughs> to the waterfall are they? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty clever. The pathway to the dream eater is um, open. Read that shit. Give me the types. Uh, I sense whether any aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fays, fiends, or undead are present within one mile. I'm a dragon ish. You you're not me. a dragon. Well, you're I'm a dragon. Ish. Humanoid, Aww. You don't count. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dragon light. Yeah. Why would the search not? Taishan is basically Dragonite. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Same color. I used to oh, look man. a lot better and got ruined in the final evolution. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. To me. I do Sorry, have. At level know. 20, I get Hyper Beam. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't they totally different lines? Like the Dratini line? Yeah, the there's line. theories. Okay. No. What? Uh, give me that list again. Um, Within a mile? Aberration. Well, what terrain are we on right now? Oh, the plot thickens. We're even the terrain. Mountains? Types. I'd say mountain is appropriate. So six miles. No, yeah, no, six miles. Six miles. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> um, <laughs> you sense a dream eating paper beneath the ice. <laughs> oh, this list weirdly dragons. Aberrations, celestials, dragons, dream eating tapirs, elementals, yeah. phase, fiends, dream or eating undeads. Tapers. Get the fuck out of here. In the back in the back of your mind you hear drowsy. <laughs> yeah. You reach out with your sense, your your the, the ability that you have magically through your connection to your swarm, to you, the experiences that you had uh, uh, growing up, becoming a ranger. And though you don't know the location, the distance, the number, I don't. you do sense aberrations. Oh, let's fucking What's go. What's an aberration? Let's fucking go. Give it, come on up top. That was brilliant. Well done. Amazing. Oh, my well God. God. Mind Flayer, Slotty. Uh, something that needs to yeah, 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 yeah. thing of note is that it's not. It is it's not something just that we are not aware of. And right, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh Let's shit! Some. It's some. It's a mind there's, biz there's, there's creature. There's some kind of mind biz creature. After you ask your question, mm. and you, you hone in on this ability, and you have this sensation. What would that look like to Manius, and what would that look like to your crew? It really wouldn't look like anything. Um, the way the way I envision it is like my my bees are just kind of 
not even just my bees, but like a connection to to just nature in itself. And I kind of like hear and feel the vibration, uh, like the buzzing of bumblebees. It's a network of buzzing. And so like I'm hearing it in my head, this Oh a hive. Like almost yeah. like the hive mind. Oh, and then at one yep. point I, I eventually out. hear like it kind of hones in, and I can just feel that it's you get you get a dance, yeah. you get you get, you get a, a dance. A, an invisible and it, it connection. just looks it looks different for each type, and I'm like, oh, thank you, bees. You you it's speak this special generic. language, and you have this special connection, and that is the data point that you receive. And as you are processing the information, uh, you uh, all of you, the uh, uh, Mania certainly, and Daisy hear a voice uh, uh, over the crowd. Um, you can hear the the crowd all around you. They're just talking and 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 being pedestrian. However, you hear citizens of Ogerton, a fine reward is being offered by House Fragilarius for the return of their cat Abra Cat Dabra, a striped brown and tan cat with a distinctive M on its forehead, one hundred gold pieces to the family of the house that safely returns their dear Abra Cat Dabra. Come on, come on, come on! We we have to make our way. We have to make our way. All right, we, all right, fine. We're gonna follow you, but I swear to God, if a single person calls me Mustard Seed, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. <laughs> oh, Mustard Seed, that was the name I gave you when we were we were transporting you back to Ogerton. No more. No yeah, more. It's before he knew you were well, Mr. I, Bones. I'm yes, Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones now. Yes, oh, which is a mispronunciation. Mustard Seed, Mr. Bones. You know, it I happen. had a name for each of you because I thought you were vassals, but. Uh, what was, was my name? What was my name? Uh, I'm your, curious. Your name? <laughs> he needs to check his Asus laptop. <laughs> 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 Do you hear that that family has a Majin cat? <laughs> no. oh, that's, that's, what really really right. Right. Yeah. that's clearly Majin Boo's around here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the every. Oh, yeah, we don't know that. Yeah. Here around here the, the head of that family is a portly pink uh, <laughs> ogre with the, with the stem that comes Julianus out. Julianus and I discussed it for days as we brought you back to Ogerton. I was going to call you Mackerel. No, it's not, that's not bad. Uh, I mean, spelt but... for you, sir. I hope I'm not uh, oh. offending you. Oh, that is fine. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> let's go. What was my name going to be? Rabbit. <laughs> wow. What well, well, the hell? hell? That's a little apropos. <laughs> Thank you. And you were going to be Daikon. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, I thought so too. Yeah. Like a radish. Yes, 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 yes. Goals, goals, goals. Oh, so sweet. hold on. Why does he get to be a radish and not lizard? Yeah, that's what I want to know. And I would have much preferred goblin over mustard seed. Well, I don't know what a goblin is. What is a goblin? Well, they were named after foods. Well, yeah. So they eat in, rabbits, they don't know what a goblin is. In Dragon Ball Ogre, all of the heroes are named after vegetables. Besides, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever watched Evangelion? <laughs> <laughs> Daikon 4 is the premiere. It's, it's an unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> an animation. I love Daikon. <laughs> He he leads you out, and uh, you can see you're getting some very Scream, strange stares uh, from from the people of Ogerton. Uh, no one's ever seen a non-human, non-ogre before, and just your very shapes, you immediately feel all eyes on you as you make your way through this crowd, through this square, and uh, it, it is a flat square. Uh, and as you are approaching, you sp spy on uh, the side just. Just before the crevasse uh, falls, an enormous bell that is sitting there, and uh, a, a hammer that it seems to be attached to a central cog. Uh, it is motionless, um, but uh, it's not something that anyone is doing anything with. It seems to perhaps be uh, related to some ceremony or ritual, perhaps, you deduce. And uh, you hear the voice again, Citizens of Ogerton, please note that the announcement of Marcus Drekarashia, uh, his death a few days ago was made in error. He was found drunk in his basement yesterday, having mm. uh, accidentally locked himself in his own storeroom. <laughs> Citizens of Ogerton. In there. <laughs> it is my honor to announce the matrimonious Same. betrothal of Valentina Blitzerensius and Maximus Grudusca. Grudusca Grudusticus. Their engagement is to last five weeks until their wedding day. 
And Manius walks directly up to this person, leading the five of you through this crowd. Daisy staying inside of the carriage, just uh, keeping to herself. And he hands a scroll, a uh, parchment, to the newsreader. Uh, and the newsreader in the square, he unfurls it and gives it a look over and nods to Manius, understanding his power and authority as governor of the House of Knowledge. And... Ah, <clears throat> uh, citizens of Ogerton, <clears throat> heed this message and spread the good word of Manius Ogris Bloginius, governor of the House of Knowledge. He has made a startling discovery he wishes to share with the people, that of five new vassals found beyond the limits of our great city of Ogerton. It was there in the madness that Manius and his son Julianus found these five souls and saved them. Know also that they are unusual in form and appearance, and even more exciting, they share our own power of uh, speech. Uh, an investigation is underway and more to be learned, but know that these five are under the protection of Governor Bloginius. No harm or rights to consume them may be exercised until his research is done and a determination can be made regarding their fates. Uh. I don't like this. I don't like where this is going, guys. I don't like this at all. Oh, you were gods, remember? Yeah. That's well. going to be the determination, Mr. Bones. You need to play the part. Okay, Sound okay. confident. All right, stop putting this pressure on me. I don't do well under pressure. Oh, you don't fuck it up, Mr. Uh, Mr. Stop, Bones. Stop it, I'm sweating. <laughs> so much is writing on this. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to say this to someone having a panic attack right now, but you need to move quickly. <laughs> you need to calm down. <laughs> it's not working. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> we tried not being depressed. Manius', <laughs> Manius is, uh, 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 chest is out. He looks proud. He is strutting. He is he is looking like uh, uh, he is uh, showing you off and uh, looking around like almost a uh, uh, don't challenge me. Look what I found. Oh my goodness, what a discovery! And he's gesturing to the five of you, and then he starts to strut back to uh, the carriage and gestures for you to follow along the way. He wants people to see you with him. See all of you and and uh, make this great display, this announcement. And uh, as you are making your way, the newsreader continues. Citizens of Ogerton, let me again repeat the announcement that if you purchase milk at the market from Augusto Zakilvanes, please return his trading tent for a full refund and free herbal remedy. He offers his sincerest apologies for the symptoms, and then he farts loudly. <laughs> <laughs> this guy have like a million chins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, yes. he's elderly. If he if he could have gray hair, he would. Like yeah. he is he is just there to read the news every day, and he starts to repeat himself, uh, going all the way back to the fine reward regarding Abracadabra. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the slow news day, perhaps, but he has now uh, the job uh, and uh, uh, gift of the message that he is conveying to the people of Ogerton. How far are we from the? Agora, or the whatever. It's pronounced Agora. Agora. <laughs> I would say you're it's supposed about, to be a convention here. Feet away. <laughs> Isn't this where? The, <laughs> is where the Agora? Uh, he's standing in front of the bell. He's on like a soapbox, for lack of a better word. Are we able to like? <laughs> does it feel you, like me. we could go shopping? It does feel like this square is uh, a social space. People come to see the waterfall. People come to gather and then go into the city proper, make their way down one street or another, and perhaps go shopping. Uh, Manius is making his way back to the carriage, but you are a character of free agency. Manius, do you mind if I purchase something very briefly? I will not hold you up. What are you looking? <clears throat> what are you looking to purchase? <laughs> I was hoping that there might be incense. The quarters that you have us in it, it does not smell the best, and I would like to, if possible, uh, light something in the evenings for us to sleep easier and mask the smell of the other uh, vassals. 
We are uh, very much to do, to say. I, 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 I would like to make us our way to the Hippodrome right away so that we can uh, uh, talk to uh, uh, Lucian Fangaro and, and see if we can uh, uh, convince him that you are the ogre god. Do, do you really think, I mean, we do have incense at home and... Uh, oh, that is fine. Then. I, I, I also, uh, uh, we may be able to get incense for you here in the shop. I don't have my vassals with me, but I'm sure I would be able to uh, uh, talk to Fangaro about procuring anything that you might I'd need. That would be fine. Whatever you can do, thank you. Very, 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 very good. Yes, yes, yes. I want to make sure you're feeling comfortable. That that your that your mind is clear, so that your full soul can be restored, and so that I might continue my research. Well, I appreciate it. And are we back to the carriage? Let us make our way. We have uh, only uh, so much daylight. And he guides you five, unless anyone else has anything else to say or do, to the uh, the opening of the um, carriage, and you continue your way down the path. And it is not another hour. Uh, it is not another 30 minutes before you suddenly see this giant structure emerge in front of you, what is very clearly a coliseum of sorts. A hippodrome, which is, I'm just going to say that over and over and over because it's my favorite fucking word in the goddamn universe. <laughs> hippodrome. <laughs> I'm going to be waving to people to show off my webbed hands just like as an interesting, because it says like they do not look, like he's crying that they do not look like standard. <clears throat> God's so I'll try to like show, quickly. and my fin, the fin on my arm, there are and like the, shocked, the webbed fingers. Shocked by your, your triton appearance. Oi, shark puncher. I punch with sharks. <laughs> And they're 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 <laughs> peeking and then immediately uh, going into like a uh, uh, conversation mode. Um, it is very evident that uh, uh, the just the appearance that you have um, is causing quite a scandal. Um, if I have a moment to like lean over to your near, like you know, uh, as an aside, just as long as Yogurt's not here. Wow, what do they use as currency? Well, are we going to give them the, the silver coin for the incense? No, this is all I have. I just need a little bit. <laughs> all right, well, if you need, uh, if, if they, I, I tried to bribe somebody with gold earlier. I still have that one coin. It's, oh. It's currently deep in my mouth at the moment. If you need it, you let me know. I can get and, ten times as much, yes. Well, That's presumably, I, they, they don't seem to care about money, or at least the vassal didn't care about money. Maybe it's because they're not allowed to spend anything. I was just curious how you knew about the, it, you know, it doesn't matter. Either way, I mean, if they can provide it, that's all I need. Fair enough. <clears throat> you. Where do it... they get all their imports from? Oh, they don't import anything. It seems to be a very self-sufficient valley. So they just have an incense maker? Oh, yeah, they probably grow it in their great gardens in this strangely mm. temperate climate. In the vast forests, uh, they might be able to just get what they need from there. I actually don't know what comprises incense. Well, it's normally gum arabic. Oh. As a base. And if you need material components, gum arabic is for some reason a component of the invisibility spell. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. I wonder if that's because it's incense and it's so, like... Like misty, aligned to like mm. smoke and mist. Most material components are jokes. The fact that I'm enforcing them is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you make your way to the entrance of the Colosseum. You are led by Manius and guided to uh, uh, a a top, um, top, top, top floor of many stairs, and you can hear the sound of a crowd. You can hear roars and cheers and boos and hisses. Uh, you can hear clanging of metal. And as you make your way higher and higher and higher, you are um, uh, eventually brought to a room. Uh, a, not, not a room isn't actually the best way to describe it. It really is a... Um, What's the word in, in, in sports when you have like one of those special boxes where you can view? It's a box. A box. It's a box. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you're making way to your way to a, an, an ancient D and D style box uh, uh, in the stadium, and uh, looking down at the games, you see a very uh, old but musculatured or ogre who's <laughs> standing uh, and staring down with a goblet in one hand and uh, a sharp, uh, bold red. Uh, uh, I want to say toga, but I'm trying to avoid Sash. saying it. Uh, 
robes. Uh, okay. The same classic robes, sandaled feet, and he uh, turns and he greets Manius. Manius, old fellow, you're, you're looking as good as ever, old fellow. How's it going? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, we, we, uh, I, I, I have some uh, f- five people outside in the hall that I need to introduce you to. Do you remember getting my letter, Lucian? Do you remember? Do you remember getting my letter, Lucian? <laughs> Lucian, <laughs> Lucian, remember, remember. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh God! <laughs> you got uh, five vassals. You wanted me to see. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, that's, that's exactly right. Uh, as uh, uh, Governor Fangaro of the House of the Military, you, I, 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 I wanted to bring them to you first so that we could petition you in another uh, week, however long it takes. We want, we want these five to be named as ogres. Their appearance is very unusual. They're not humans, they're not vassals. They're filled with the spirit of ogres. I believe it in my heart. And in order for me to continue my research and to prove this, I need your agreement. We need a ubiquitous vote when we take it to the forum. Bring them in. And you hear uh, the sound of Manius. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And the five of you uh, approach and see the this this character. Lucian Fangaro, governor of the House of the Military. He's extremely intoxicated. <laughs> oh, he looks like he's been into Barrel 79. Oi, <laughs> Solve, uh, governor. Your name? Solway. Your name is Solway? No, I, that's, uh, I believe, a traditional ogre greeting. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, see, they're not ogres at all. You're supposed to say, hello, old fellow. Hello, old fellow. Yeah. I, yes, I am Trothak the Shark Puncher. Trothak. Trothak. That's just a name. The Shark Puncher. That's a mighty thing that you could punch. High Admiral of the <laughs> Sea Ogres, the Deep Sea Ogres, made peace with the Sahuagan, allied with the great shark god Sekola, gained their powers of eldritch mutation. And your name? My name is Shagoth of the Black Rock, brewer of the Firebelly Brew, a wine known to... Well, put a fire in your belly. Mm. Give you the power of a dragon yourself. Right. Dragon I would like to try this wine. <gasps> yes. I would like to try it very much. So I'd be happy to brew it for you. And, and you'd have you? have to be strong to survive it. You're very small and furry. That is incredibly rude of you to say. I am sorry. <laughs> House of the military has never been I known think. for their grace. <laughs> You might be confused in your drunken state, which I admire, by the way. I am Fiona Smashmouth, Queen of the Swamp Ogres. Smashmouth. Yeah. (laughs) I may be. I may look like I am small, but I am mighty, and I will smash your mouth with my fist. (laughs) I'd like to see that. You? I'll say enjoy. You're very tall. I am your me. (laughs) Jotnar <laughs> Frosko. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you're not not. You're. you're... Sorry, I, I started a little bit. Jotnar Frosko. I was a high king of the Frost Ogres in a previous life. A god king, if you will. And in Giant, he repeats, uh, repeats a god king. Yes. It was. Uh, we. Had a long bloody war with the frost giants, and due to our intelligence and cunning, we persevered. <laughs> it's, are you sure about this, Manius? This seems like a. They might be pulling your leg so they can get out of uh, life of a vassal, all the hard label or the. You know what I'm saying. I'm trying to... <laughs> 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 oh, the vassals! Oh, 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 no, 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 no
awesome! Yeah, it, it only seems that way because you've had so much to drink, Lucian. So much to drink. We want to we want to convince... Uh, this is Mr. Bones! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm Mr. Bones. I'm the ogre god of death, gambling, and dirt, and shit. <laughs> and don't be fooled by my small mortal statue. When I was an ogre god, I was at least 16 feet tall, and I weighed 2,000 pounds, and I could rip your puny arms off. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I honestly, a god of death and shit looks more like he would look now than a 2,000 pound ogre in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you forget it! <laughs> what was this guy's name again? Lucian <laughs> Fangaro. Uh, Lucian Fangaro, yes, sir. Yes, uh, <laughs> uh, Smash Mouth. Yeah, why don't you have another Mork's Hard Lemonade so you can make these hard choices and realize that we are who we say we are. I don't mind if I do. And he walks over and uh, he like he starts pouring here and the pouring of the wine crosses over the top of the glass making a huge mess, but he gets enough into the goblet that he seems satisfied and he turns yeah, back Yeah, have another you. drink, buddy. I'm not convinced. I... <clears throat> You're not convinced? Do not push the calcium danger of Mr. Bones. <laughs> you, have of the the calcium <laughs> you must have fight in you. You must have the ability to defeat one's opponents. Have your blood pumping like those men down there. And he almost trips and falls over the edge of the box and tumbles into the, the stadium crowd, but uh, he <laughs> manages to hold on to himself, and do you see that there are indeed a, a handful of ogres who are uh, uh, being cheered on by some and booed by others and having this uh, uh, combat experience. Oi! If you wish us to fight then, then we will fight to the death if need be. I have never been more prepared for anything. And you will know why they call me Shark Puncher. You see? You see? Look how willing they are to engage in combat. Uh, 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 Ogre tradition. (laughs) Yes. We'll take your strongest warriors and beasties. All you got. We'll defeat any opponent, especially Mr. Bones. (laughs) (laughs) He's the heart of death within him, eh? Ah. It's been a while since I've had such an exciting proposition of combat to see the five of you tested. Vassals never fight ogres. They would be crushed instantly. We are not vassals. We are ogres. We are ogre gods. Those are puny mortals in our eyes. We can arrange the game today, can't we, Lucius? Lucian. Yes, yes, thanks for correcting my own name. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll go down, we'll go down to uh, prepare and to, uh, uh, to the armory, to ready ourselves. Will you be able to set up a fight for, for this afternoon, for, the, for this evening? Wait, we all have to fight? Oi. I said, uh, going to be an ogre, you'd... Relish the opportunity. Yes, we'll fight. Not, not well. all ogres are fighters. Yet yeah, we'll. You are. You are one of them. You're smashing mouths <laughs> left and right. No, no, no. You layers. Smash mouth. Layers. Onions have layers. Ogres have layers. <laughs> Onions have layers. You get it? We both have layers. <laughs> and some of those layers are not battle-ready layers. Man, yes, not every ogre wants to fight. All the time? <laughs> I, 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 you, do, do you want to fight right now, Lucius? Or would you rather drink? It's Lucian. Huh? <laughs> Lotion? Lotion. Uh, <laughs> you can call me Governor Fangaro. That is going to be very difficult. If you Enjoy some are Weavers truly over kin, you'd relish the opportunity to fight in... Uh, Hippodrome. I like that word very much. <laughs> Why? It's a good word. It's like a hippocampus. Great and majestic creature. We would be happy to fight in the Hippodrome, but I worry that tonight won't give your caretaker enough time to prepare the coffins. <laughs> for, for our no, no. opponents. The we won't have a fight to the death. 
Oh, that will oh, be left as their wow. bones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, will, will. Oh, right, when he, when Mister Bones is done with them, your <laughs> orc gladiators will be begging to get off his wild ride. Oh, we won't Don't have a fight. Die. To death. We can't be killing each other. That's madness. I thought you said you were ogres. Yes, yes, yes. We like to it's not compete. mice. <laughs> we like to fight. <laughs> we like to uh, uh, do damage and and bloody ourselves. <laughs> but of course, that's not. We're not gonna kill each other. That's not the way of our things. We 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 fight until we yield. Ah, oh. well, I, I mean, Mr. That... Bones has never heard the term <laughs> yield. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to yield. Oh, he's crazy. <laughs> 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 Keep an eye on you. <laughs> and don't tell the gladiators as much that they should watch out for you. And, Lucian, I want you to remember as you watch what's about to happen, there are two kinds of ogres in this world. There are those who shark punch and those who are shark punched. I want you to think about what kind of ogre you want to be. Choose wisely. I like the cut of your jib. What was his name again? Uh, he was called, um... I have it written right in front of me. Trothak the Shark Puncher! Trothak the Shark You will learn why they call me Shark Puncher. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, Alright, well, do we, do we all have some kind of, like, specific fighting style? If you're a shark puncher, what what do the rest of us do? No, I, that's what I do. I punch I punch with me my, my eye sharks. You'll have full access to uh, armory. You can take any weapons you need. You can... Uh, do, uh, have any accommodations you might require? You can have armor and you can have all kinds of uh, whatever you need. You it's just all down puked there. on yourself a little bit there, buddy. Yes, I'll need a new robe. And he strips the robe off. <laughs> ah, and no. completely naked. naked. He walks over to what is clearly an assortment of hanging robes for the purposes of having thrown up on them and immediately starts to redress. <laughs> He's missing four. They're four empty hooks. <laughs> <laughs> just from today. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A vassal <laughs> runs in and just like, oh, just uh, <laughs> just another rope. <laughs> 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 we have a deal then. If you uh, see that they are uh, uh, proven uh, ogres in combat, that you will uh, uh, vote yay when the time comes. Yes, and it'll be entertaining either way. Thank you for bringing this wonderful show, Manius. Goodbye, old fellow. Goodbye, old fellow. Thank you, yes. And the five of you follow Manius as he makes his way down, down, down to the armory where you can equip yourself with whatever, literally anything you want. I immediately look for anything that is made of bone. I feel as though I am Mr. Bone. I need something like I've seen your near wear bones. <laughs> I feel like I need something to like hang around my neck or just anything, even if it's like the the shrimpiest little bone I can find, just to represent that I am Mr. Bone. Make an investigation check. Do were, were the powers that we got at the end of yes. the Herald of Fear boss fight? Is that technically an item? Or is that I thought that was an item. Yeah, I assumed I didn't have my stone on me yeah. anymore. So the fun thing about the stone is that as long as you have that on your person is the first thing that I wrote in the... Uh, <laughs> because I was anticipating this art. Okay. Okay. Because we do not have access to that. No, in no, I'm sorry to say. I got a 15. You got a 15. For investigation. Uh, yeah. I would say that with a 15, uh, you were able to find what is clearly a bone-carved dagger. But it was a dagger made for a ogre. So in your hands, it's basically a short sword. Okay. All right. Does it... Hmm. Hold on. One second. I'm the bone man. <laughs> I start throwing bones everywhere. No, I eat that, bones. That'll work. It's... it's. You're a boger. That's right. A bone I'm, ogre. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a boner. <laughs> I mean bone ogre. <laughs> Mr. Bone's boner. <laughs> I have the bone, the bone dagger. Yep. I've got the bone dagger. You've got the bone dagger. And it looks a little ridiculous, maybe a little beat up, maybe not so in great shape. Mm -hmm. But I have a... You, you, okay, you can I found it. Your equipment. I found it. I'm good. I'm ready. Oh, I, I can do this. I can do this. I'm doing okay, right, guys? Am I doing all right? 
Uh, I buy it, Mr. Bones. <laughs> Mr. Bones is never scared, though. <laughs> With a lot of you, with a lot of you, uh, 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 I, I need to, um, uh, I've asked Daisy here. Uh, Daisy is what you call her? Yeah, that's her name. Okay. Uh, I've asked Daisy here to uh, fetch anything else that you might need. Anything at all. And we re- really, I want to make sure that you have the best chance to... Cool, to... grab my pack of stuff you guys took when we first arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean those tattered robes we found you in? Oh yeah, everything that I had. Well, I don't see any reason why those... You said that you would provide me with anything that I need to have the best chance. <laughs> and all of the things that I had with me were the things that I need to have the best chance at proving to this guy that I am who I say I am. Well, it was Do just, you want to win or don't you? It was just a bunch of fabric. There was nothing else that was of interest in when, when we found you. Oh, well, that's not true at all. <laughs> <laughs> she had the bow and the arrow. Did you see that? I don't recall you guys there having was a anything honey... that was like weapons when we found there you. There was a honey nearly, pot you were and a, a, a honey sack pot. of seeds. A honey pot sack of seeds? Yeah. <sighs> the madness. Uh... Seeds? No, 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 no. You no, no, misplaced no, no, no. my uh, flask when, and when my When we found you in those hot springs, uh, uh, yeah, you were you were basically floating, nearly drowning. I remember it as, as vividly as if it was yesterday. There was... There was you, you didn't have seeds or bows no, 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 or arrows or, or anything. I don't, I don't like where this train of thought is going. We have to focus on the fight. I agree. I'm, that's why I'm asking. What what do you need? Uh, they're they're, they're going to come at, with, at you with everything they have, and they've got their wands. They're not allowed to use them to activate your necklaces, thank God. But it is uh, thanks, Sophilus. But they 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 will be able to use magics. They will be able to uh, hit you with their flails and well, their swords. This is this is a violent endeavor. They they're, can't kill you, but they're it's... gonna need it because I'm Mr. Bones, and we all have bones. You frighten <laughs> me very much, little one. I frighten myself. So Sometimes. I mean, he, this guy's nine feet tall, so like he's three times your height. But, like, he, he, he's, he's like, okay, yes, yes, Mr. Bones. Don't yes. you forget it. What, what would happen if they did activate our necklaces? Oh, you'd fall asleep. You'd wake up a little confused a few hours later. I mean, uh, it, 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 it's uh, sometimes vassals get upset and we have to uh, give them a bit of a cool down. Yeah. Do you have an anchor? What I could use. An anchor? Yeah. Uh, is... I, I can't imagine where we would find an anchor. Where what about that big the... silver ship? It would be oh. sacrilegious for us to disturb the ship until it's time for us to return home on it, even if it had an anchor on it. Mm, fair enough. But uh, if you want something big and heavy, we can provide. No, oh, yeah, show me what you got. You would find the largest, biggest metal club that you could possibly find. Yeah, I'll take an ogre club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this will do. It's, it's one of those ones where, like, uh, it's like a cross section of metal. If you, you understand my meaning, like there's four points of uh, how like a morning star. Yeah, 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 yeah morning star. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a big, thick fucker though. It's yeah. like a baseball bat, twice as thick. It's just yeah. it's the, I'm imagining it's the club that the ogre uh, mage had and uh, yeah. in Warcraft Three, Dota. Manius, I just need uh, the, I just need a hot pepper. <laughs> I don't know how else to say this. <laughs> I don't know how else to tell you this, but I need you to fetch me a hot pepper. A hot pepper, you say? A hot pepper. Well, we uh, we have those. I can I can send Daisy to the nearest restaurant, and I'm sure I'm sure we can find you a hot pepper. Yeah, <laughs> bistro. <laughs> yeah. Gonna, send Daisy to the closest bistro. Have her fetch me. <laughs> Have her fetch me the hottest, <laughs> reddest pepper she can find. The bones, <laughs> the <beef> <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's a a, says he brings a vassal named Hot Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> he brings oh, a, I'm so sorry. He brings a vassal named Pepper who's extremely attractive. <laughs> <laughs> The, the vassal goes to a little a little place on the corner called Taste of Ogre. Today. <laughs> that shit's canon. <laughs> <laughs> they have the option of Lenautilus and Scratchy Dicks <laughs> being slug <laughs> <laughs> And they only have the big sloppy daddy burger. I believe you're thinking of Scratchy Biggest Dickus. <laughs> How can I be so foolish? 
Scratchy piggy dick. Biggest dick is so biggest dick. How can we be time. so foolish? <laughs> Uh, and it, you don't have to RP the whole thing. Genuinely speaking, he is offering Daisy will go get you material components and any non-magical weapon that you want, that you need to have. So can I get like leather armor? Yeah. So I'll take leather armor and a staff and a shield. There you go. And oh, I mean material. I'll components. take studded leather. <clears throat> you just you just take take whatever the fuck you want. Uh, mistletoe. Um... <laughs> what the fuck is mistletoe? <laughs> Doesn't grow in this land. Oh God! Why? Well, I, I guess I. You're thinking of bargers. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know where other things are. I need a drop of molasses from the bistro. Yep. Uh, I need a pinch of. No dust. more than a drop. I need a longbow. I need a small straight piece of iron. I just want some decorative bone as well. I basically then we have at the bistro at the butcher. Yeah. At the butcher yeah. I don't care if she brings back like chicken, like used up chicken yeah, yeah, yeah. bones. I don't care if it looks ridiculous. I want to like be. I'm trying to like imitate your near in like the worst way possible, and like wear some little bit of bones around my neck and stuff. Um, I made it clear that we're not RPing all of the choices that you make for everything, but that you genuinely can have any non-magical equipment or material component that you should make. I just need that hot pepper. Uh, yeah, the hot pepper is on its way, and if you need armor or other choices, then you can have that. Uh, I I need studded leather. Yep. Cro- or um, a long bow with a quiver and twenty arrows. Done. Um, a spider web, a piece of stone, and a feather. All three of those are provided. Perfect. <laughs> he brings out the uh, cobweb gun <laughs> from which light. <laughs> I'm gonna, I am going to need a cobweb gun. And uh, um, nothing else for you? Uh, I I don't need a weapon. This club is nice, but I think I need... Uh, you, you ogres must have giant uh, gauntlets for punching real hard. Uh, just, just, just over here, and you can see hanging from the the walls of this armory room, uh, where there's uh, an assortment of weapons and things, uh, armor. Uh, you you pull you pull down, and uh, uh, they are a little big for your hands, so they they they're wide around the wrist, even if, with your your thick meaty hands being what they are. Uh, they, these are made for 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 ogres, so they're a size too big. But when you grip them and hold them down, you you think that you could punch the fuck out of somebody with these. Yeah, I'm thinking like giant version of Vander's Gauntlets and Arcane or something. Yeah. Like that. yeah. 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 And that's what they look like, like ogre size, even yeah. on Barnabas' body. <sighs> Trozak, the shark puncher, thinks these will do. Daisy returns from the beast row and she throws down bones and hot peppers and all the shit that you add. There's even a cobweb in like a little like satchel that she puts down. She... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I'll fashion together like some shitty necklace and like put some bones in my like. This better be my worth ear. it. Yeah, okay. What the fuck? Yeah. Are you gonna kill all these guys or what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let us do this. And you start to make your way out to. Before we do, I know that we are out of our element. But I would like to say something in the hopes to boost our morale. I know that Scrim here is a little bit nervous. Mm, oh, yeah. I know we've been through a lot. Uh, the first thing I'm going to say is aberration. Um, but after that, what I would what? like to say is if we could all get in a circle and join hands. Sure. Yeah, uh, that sounds good. <laughs> we'll do that. Well, just just in case we don't make it. <laughs> oh, 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 you've crushed me. You're quite happy. We're like holding Scrim up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's like when two parents have like a little kid. Yeah, yeah. They both lift up they're walking. Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. Aye. Now I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. That's a shed. And I, I was looking kind of dumb with my finger and my thumb in the shape of an L on my forehead. But the years start coming, and they don't stop coming. Oh, he's the the rules. They don't, they don't the stop. rules, and we hit the ground running. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to live for fun. <gasps> well, your brain uh, gets smart, but your head gets dumb. There's so much to do. So much to see. Mm, <laughs> so what's wrong with taking the back seat? Uh, You'll never know if you don't go. Go! Ah! Okay, let's go! <laughs> and that's it. Pull back. <laughs> Let's go! I'm 
my soul! You can see this great portcullis start to raise up as you sprint down this uh, uh, tunnel uh, from the armor- armory and into the actual circle arena itself. Should that should that be where we call? No, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> you want to make you ready? To make you ready? <laughs> All right, it's up to you. That's let's beautiful. Take, let's take a, one more copy break. <laughs> okay. So we're, and if you guys are are down for combat, we'll do combat. Fuck yes. The years stop coming and they don't 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 stop coming. And We're either zone. gonna hold our own, or they're gonna one shot all of us, <laughs> one <laughs> after the other, after the other. <laughs> you race out. Oh, okay. Are we all ready? Yeah, yeah. let's jump right in. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You oh, race okay. out. The force comes uh, 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 lifting up, allowing you into the field of combat, and you are staring at a huge crowd, a nearly full stadium uh, in this hippodrome. And you, <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Derek? Uh, oh, hippodrome. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Now I know. Oh, and music. you're confronted. Oh, do you? Do you <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Can you play the music? Actually? You. Are you ever DM before? As a bonus. <laughs> action while we're running out I do cast first strike oh yes oh. Uh, I believe it's a reaction and uh, you uh, are on your way to uh, meeting the, the, the field of battle but as you uh, stop and skid to a stop on the hard pack you see skid. the columns in the space and you see that uh, uh, there's already been quite a bit of combat here there, there, there are some uh, patches of dirt that are slick with darkened blood drying from, from previous battles just in this previous day and five gladiators confront you uh, one of them uh, you hear the voice of uh, Fangaro uh, uh, crawl, uh, cry out. Uh, the, the the crowd goes quite quiet uh, just to hear him. The fight now uh, is uh, between uh, 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 Manius, uh, he, 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 these five creatures here. They, 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 they are, are perhaps reborn ogre gods or vassals. We are here to test their strength, to test their abilities and combat, to see if they are true ogres. And they face uh, some of our mightiest champions. You all know them. Agrippia, Flavio, Totalis, Antony, and Cecilio. And the crowd erupts in uh, applause and excitement for what they clearly perceive to be uh, uh, experienced and wizened champions of the uh, field of combat, of the Colosseum. Um... Agrippa uh, is muscular, wears sandals, has a cape of red, he has a buckler, a bat, he looks very grim. Flavio, uh, squat, wearing sandals, a full red robe accentuating his huge belly, and a giant flail that he swings around, around, and around. Uh, Totalus, he's got an arm guard, uh, a helmet, uh, he doesn't have a weapon and shield, he seems to have just his mitts uh, in oh. front of him. Antony, a cape of red, and he carries a trident. Uh, Cecilio, a leather band crosses his chest like a bandolier, and he wears one of those metal uh, uh, military masks uh, or face plates, uh, and he carries a gladius, uh, a short sword. And uh, they all look uh, like they're ready to fight. Uh, even though they, they seem to have sustained some injuries, those injuries are closing as you are mm. see as you are, are, are watching them and the the five of you are are standing where you're standing do you do anything before yes what do you do uh, so we we can like prepare things and do things you have a moment before uh, combat initiates I say. would like to do two things I would like to use my fables and my archers readout oh um yeah, I think that you would have the time to have done that in the armory or to have uh, prepared it in this time. So you do that. Perfect. Uh, let me... You see as um, as vines kind of spring up out of the ether and attached to the end of it, it creates like a long uh, arrow. And attached to the end of it is a very fat bumblebee stinger out that is the uh, the tip of the, the arrow. And nice. I create some bolts mm. for myself. Um, and I'm creating, oh, yeah, get it, girl. 
Oh yeah, seven fey arrows. Fey nice. Hooks. Okay, seven of them. But do the, was um, there anything else in the armory then, that you would have wanted to do? Yep. And then um, a swarm of bees uh, encases around me for my archer's redoubt, creating um, like almost like a, a tower of bees around me, like you would see in a castle where they've got the little slit where you can pull the arrow out. Yeah, parapet. <laughs> Uh, they create this around me so that I'm going to be very, very difficult to hit. But uh, I've got great aim on everyone I'm looking at. Okay, you do that. Anyone else? I just major. I always have major armor. Major That's armor? Uh, on my shopping list to Daisy was a handful, like a, like a like sort of a bundle of hay. And so I hold the hay out, and over a minute I will cast Corticate Armor. Um, and I will sort of, the, the hay will disappear and over my body, you'll see this sort of like hard ice start Ooh. to appear over my form, almost in like a suit of like icy armor. Uh, and my AC will increase to Hell 14 yeah. plus, uh, plus dex. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Hello. Um, I would grab a couple of, um, whatever yes. delicious treats, nice berries, fruits, uh, and I would take a, a water skin and the hot pepper, uh, and in my, I would take it all in my palms and kind of like <sighs> breathe into it, mush it together, create, uh, like boil it basically in my hands, create a liquid, uh, and pour it into the water skin. Um, and okay. then that's it. Okay. And then that's it. You feel you feel and primal. Then and then the- <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it on my hip. I'm going to run forward and I'm going to get compl- I'll, I'll whisper to myself, "Be with me, my lover." As I get completely coated in seawater and barnacles, and uh, around my gauntlets, my my hands will shift into uh, two large shark heads yep. as the shark fin grows out of my back as do six large crab legs ah! as I just I mutate terribly. <laughs> uh, they, look, they almost kind of look like a shark-like girl, like a green sahuagin. What a nightmare, but I love it. Yep. Uh, yeah, the yeah, five yeah. of you are prepared, primed, and you realize that uh, perhaps your very freedom is on the line. I need everyone to roll for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes! What do we get with first strike? We're advantage, right? Oh, we're at advantage. Oh, oh. I might even roll better then. Yeah. Oh. Please. Oh, one better. Let's go. God, rolling tens and nine. Oh, I'm so ready! Let's fucking go. Oh, where's this? Um, where would initiative be? Oh, wait, maybe uh, this here? It's in skills. Okay, the, okay. Yeah. Let's all have to be at the top, too. <clears throat> can, I use, can I use two twists? I really want to go early. Is that crazy? When well, yeah, we have a bunch. Yeah, let's use it. Oh, oh right. over there. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. You guys are. Go, oh, come on. Why does everybody hate Scrim so much? I'm not gonna get touched. Ah, it's horrible. It's all horrible. <laughs> I'm not getting touched. I hate that feeling when you use twists yeah. and you're like, I didn't get what I wanted. Oh, I, I rolled, I rolled one twist. four dice. I rolled four dice. And I got I my highest with a six. Right there, it's okay. No. Sometimes it happens. You're gonna have a better roll when it matters. Yeah, I just really wanted to go early. I am ready. Is this, who will sustain? Does that mean who's going to take the most damage? They think Scrim's going to die like right out of the game. I mean, which could happen. Who's, I mean, and how do we define damage? We don't know. I think I think we're all going to get one damage shot. I know who's going to do the most damage probably, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, 20 to 30? 20. Oh, for, uh, for what? 26. I'm voting Scrim. You suck. <laughs> 26. Uh, 15 to 20. 16. Uh, 10 to 15? 13. Session. Nine. <laughs> All right. I rolled four dice. Uh, I rolled so four dice. Go. Go. <laughs> buddy, buddy. And they never said that the dragon nowhere were fast. <laughs> Just that they were powerful. We're going to go. <laughs> sure. Scream. We're going to go Barnabos. We're going to go... Show them your bones. Oh, I'm about to. <laughs> Agrippa? We're going to go... Mm, holy shit, they're going to have their own initiatives. Yornir? Jesus. We're going to go... Slavio? We're going to go... Totalis? We're going to go... Taishen? Wow. We're going to go... Antony? And we're going to go... 
Cecilio. Let the combat begin. <laughs> what do go? I am going to charge in. Wait, um, wait, wait. Oh. Let, me, let, me, let me just make sure that the combat music is going. Oh, yeah. This isn't the combat music? This is music. Oh, baby. Nice. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm going to charge in, and by charge in, I mean I'm just going to jump to the front and stay back this far. Because. Lay in front of you, aren't you? Uh, no, actually, I'll, I'll go up like three spaces. Does Archer's Redoubt move with you? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it stays around me for 10 minutes. Cool, sorry. Um, and you, you'll watch as the bees swarm around me and form a slit right in front of me as I take my arrow and I load it with two of my fey bolts. The big fat bumblebees are buzzing angrily as I shoot the fey bolts out at um, uh, at Cranky McCrankerson over here. Their uh, names are written on their... Uh... Oh, you're right. Oh, Agrippa. Agrippa. Um, and I am going to fire the two bolts at Agrippa. Um, and that is going to be, be, uh, 21 and 23 to hit. Oh, I suppose I should have their, uh, stat block in front of me. One moment. Uh, 20 and 21? Uh, 21 and 23. Both of those hits. Perfecto. Um, and so I'm gonna do some damage. Wow, I have not attacked. Um, okay, that sucks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ten. So ten plus ten. Uh, twenty points of pierce yeah. or twenty nice. points of force damage. Strong nice. open. Because it is my my fey arrow, so it's twenty Jeez. points of force you damage. You fire these, and they stick into him, <laughs> and you can tell he's shocked by the amount of damage. And that you, you able watch to do. as they as they hit, and they immediately burst into sunflowers. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. Oh, that's badass. Okay, uh, and he immediately starts to push push away. They pull out the arrows, um, and uh, that's the conclusion of your turn. That is the conclusion. Scream, of my you're turn. up. Um, I push my way forward and I move up a little bit uh, as I see uh, um, Queenie do this uh, amazing thing. And you can hear the bones that I'm wearing like shaking because I'm nervous <laughs> uh, and I'm sweating profusely and I, I'm very scared. But I'm, I'm amped with adrenaline and I get to the front and I shout, ah, Flavio, I am Mr. Bone and you will fear me and feel the pain of osteoporosis. <laughs> And I snap <laughs> the bone dagger over my knee as I cast throbbing okay. bones on. Yeah! Oh my God! I didn't what even the hell? There is a there is a deep gray smoke that emanates from the from the oh. bone of this dagger. You hear the howl of a hound off in the <gasps> distance, oh. and he is suddenly racked with pain. Oh, uh, how does that work? So the pain the creature suffers due to this spell. Uh, so, uh, sorry, I choose a target you can see within range. That creature's bones begin to throb and pulsate. Uh, it affects creatures, it only affects creatures that have bones. Uh, the um, have bones. Okay. <laughs> the pain this creature <laughs> suffers due to this spell causes it to be a disadvantage for all attack rolls and ability checks, and its speed is reduced by 10 feet. In addition, the target make, must make a constitution saving throw at the start of each of its turns. The creature takes 2d10 bludgeoning damage on a failed save or throw, or half as much on a successful one. Um, right, right. So the so he, it will be affected. It's <laughs> it's taken in smoke. His bones Ooh. are throbbing. He feels the osteoporosis. Um, and at the same time, I will uh, use my bonus action to hexblades curse him. Okay. And that's my whole thing. So you're going for Flavio. Yeah. All right. I have locked eyes with him, and he now has osteoporosis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> negative ten feet. And he's going to take damage at the beginning of his turn. Was was there anything else I forgot? Disadvantage on attack throws and, and saving throws, I believe. Wait, let me double check. Might be skill checks. Disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. And its speed is reduced by 10. And then if he fails the constitution saving throw, it's 2d10 bludgeoning damage or half as much. Yikes. Yeah. Part of us. Um, I can't get to any of them, can I? Which one has the gaunt- the, the punching? Uh, you're speaking of Totalis. He's in the middle. Oh, sprint his ass. You gotta have some crazy sprint distance, right? I can, can you just do 8A. Ah. You can move and then hold your action. 
Um, yeah, I am going to uh, run up. Oh, I didn't, and I didn't get uh, harpoons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I am going to just start running out, and I'm going to point at uh, Tatalis, and I'm just going to point at him with my uh, shark head arms, and I'll say, "You're mine." Uh, he punches back uh, both his uh, uh, hands, and uh, yeah, he, he doesn't seem particularly intim- intimidated. Uh, despite your insane magic and the display that's happened so far, these are seasoned veterans of the combat field. They've seen it all. I'm going to ready my action. If anyone gets within range of my uh, biz, I'm going so to make in this? my attack. Okay. Uh, it's which, a water Which one is marker, Agrippa? So it could wash off. In the back. Uh, that, oh, wait. That's Antonio. This is Agrippa. Yeah, it's Agrippa. Um, it's, Agrippa's it's, been hit by Queen. It's a water. Base okay, marker, one moment. You can just wipe it off with yeah, the only one that's been hit was the one that Queenie got. Yeah. yeah. Well, you broke this guy's bones, right? He hasn't taken any damage yet, though. Oh, okay. okay. No damage. He's All just right. he's just been cursed to hell. <laughs> he's been cursed to hell. Hell yeah. Um, Agrippa, uh, uh, he's getting hit with these arrows and shuffling off the sunflower uh, petals off of his form. He pulls them out and he breaks them with two hands and he throws them down and he looks at you. And he starts to mutter something in giant, you can only assume because it's so similar to when Yornir speaks, and he pulls his wand out and he <gasps> starts to do uh, a, a oh, gesture. No. Uh, he starts to speak, and you feel something intruding inside of your mind. I need you to make an intelligent saving throw. I'm gonna twist it twice. Okay. Mm. Let's go. Thank you, chat. Oh, I apologize. Uh, don't spend those twists. In fact, uh, you're gonna get a twist of bread. Oh, <gasps> Jesus! I thought we couldn't twist the bread twists. No, I, it's a matter of like and who says what first. So I'm just gonna start <laughs> twisting of bread saving throws yeah. for combat because that makes it scarier. Yeah. Okay, I fail. Yeah. Right, what do you get? I got a two. Oh, you got a two? Okay, so you, you do fail. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you are dead. Are you Sorry, to yeah. being frightened? Uh, I do not believe so, I no. doubt that, yeah. On a fail save, you lose the ability to distinguish friend from foe regarding <gasps> all creatures that you can see until the spell Holy ends shit. as foes, as such. Each time you take damage, you can repeat the da- uh, saving throw, ending the effect on uh, success. Uh... Whenever you target another creature, you must choose at random from among all the creatures that you can see within range of the attack spell or other ability that you are using. If an enemy provokes an opportunity attack from the affected creature, the creature must make that attack if it is able to. So you treat all creatures as though they are foes. You are looking around and you no longer uh, can easily distinguish because of this intrusive nature of this spell hitting your mind uh, from uh, uh, the the ogres in front of you and the ogre sonas around you. Uh, and he's gonna back up. Oh, ten feet. Afraid to get wet. <laughs> God. <laughs> Uh, and you can see uh, he pulled those arrows out, and one of the wounds actually closes as he regenerates. Are you like troll blooded? And uh, that's Sprint the conclusion of his turn. You're near. You're up. Yeah. Depending um, on some people have a bonus action. Goblins. Oh, check the range. Real rogues. Quick. Sorry. Uh, cutting I action beforehand. Uh, I, don't I think, will. I don't think I get any kind of movement. I'll Let probably. Try. I'll come up here, just to sort of be with my friends, and I can, you know, I'm a little beefier, so I'll stand here. Um, maybe not that close. <laughs> I'll stand back here. Go on for. And then I will say. Um, Let me see my actions. Here. Oh, I don't want to fuck you. Yeah, that's fucking you. I'm going to one further. Um. There it is. Oh, yeah. So, um, I am going to uh, raise my staff and I'll cry out something in giant. Uh, and you'll he- this cold winter wind will start to blow in. And at 120 feet above basically this entire area, oh! you'll see these like these uh, clouds sort of billow through the arena. And you'll hear kind of galloping. Um, oh, in the clouds, shit. you can't really see anything, <gasps> but you see these lightning cracking and a sort of a six-legged horse just for a second, oh! like, like <laughs> silhouette uh, appear and disappear. 
And then uh, from the clouds, a massive lightning bolt will come down and hit all, all five of them. Let's go. Oh! Nice. Woo! He cast Odin. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Or is that nice Slavnir? Spell Odin. Is that yeah. the, yeah. Oh, fuck. That's uh, cool. Call light. So they need to make a uh, 60. F- they're in a 60 foot radius, right? Yeah. 100%. Oh, for sure. Um, be incredible if when you cast this and you roll the d20, if you landed on a 20, Odin came oh, down yeah. with his sword out and just beheaded everybody. Uh, oh, well, that was quick. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the osteoporosis didn't yeah. even have time to have so it. These two guys, I'm going to call it here, and these two guys need oh, to no. make a... That's uh, a Grippa and Totalis. Dex saving throw, DC 16. Dex saving throw for all of them? Uh, no, just a for Grippa these two guys. and Totalis. Oh, sorry. So that's the the sixty feet is the storm. All right, the I first guess. one's fifteen for Agrippa. Fails. And a natural eighteen for the other. Okay, that passes. Okay. So they are going to take. But that's Agrippa and Flavio, you say? Totalis. Agrippa Totalis. and Totalis, Totalis. was okay. the second. So Jeez. Uh, fourteen points of lightning damage, or seven if he passed. Right, and the storm passed. clouds will sort of just stay over the arena. Oh, holy shit. That's so cool. Okay. Uh, you do this, and uh, lightning strikes the ground, and everybody in the crowd sh- screams in uh, uh, horror and excitement. Uh, they've not seen a fight like this in, in much time. Uh, uh, this is new magic to them, uh, but they are they are thrilled and excited by it. They 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 all are cheering and and, and booing for whomever they they, they so choose. Uh, Grippa and Totalis are uh, obviously uh, struck terribly. Agrippa especially it seems uh, quite hurt. Oh wow! Okay, great. Uh, that's my turn. Yeah. Flavio. Flavio. Constitution saving throw of DC sixteen. Osteoporosis <laughs> strikes. His bones are brittle and throbbing. A 15. He fails. He takes 2d10. Do I do, do you, roll the you damage? You need to roll the damage. Sick. 2d10 bludgeoning? That's a 10. Oh, oh my god. At 13 total points of damage. 13 points oh. of damage. As he's oh. racked with pain and he can move 10 feet less than Are you concentrating? Would. Yes, I am. Okay, good to know. Come and get me. Uh, you brittle boned bitch. <laughs> my bones. <laughs> Have I told you about the <laughs> the bones? <laughs> omega, they fucking the hurt. Omega three oils that I need. Um, why <laughs> to can't survive? I do that right now? There, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I drain the calcium from his bones. Um, but that's the start of his turn. It's Flavio's turn. Yeah, give you bonitis. Flavio. This guy right here. Yeah. He can move ten feet less than normal. Can he make it to? What's his movement? Your ear or Barnabas with 35 feet of movement. It's probably oh, pretty for close. Sure, for sure. Yeah. So he can move 25. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Should be, I, I mean, here, here we get that. That's that's 15 okay. feet of movement, you, I think. Uh, he wanted to get to your near, but I mean, well, he, he can can't, make it. He can't that's make it 15. To 20, yes, he can make it to 25. He can make it, make it to your near, then he can, get, he can get to both. He can get to both. He can get to both. Yeah, yeah. that's like 25 feet yeah. of movement yeah, right there. I mean, he could he could almost get the scrim. Not with that osteoporosis again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, how much movement does he have? He has 35. He's oh, okay. moved 25. So okay, that's, yeah, that's yeah, his max yeah. movement. <gasps> My bonitis! <laughs> My only regret. <laughs> uh, I what is that where he was? Oh. oh he was, fuck. like, right there. Yeah, he was yeah. right there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That, that's no, no, yep. Right yep, there. That, yeah. That's where he was. Uh, instead of rushing forward and doing what I had in mind, really uh, I need to get a little creative here. Mm. Yeah, well, you better. Um, he's gonna also dig, dig down into his own magic oh, and pulling no. out the wand, and he's going to start to speak and do the necessary verbal and somatic components required. Uh, he starts to cast another spell. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> In spell, I cast Bork, 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 Bork. <laughs> I cast Bork, Bork, Bork. Is your water bowl empty? No. Did she feed her? Flavia. Did she need to go out, maybe? Did you feed her before d and I... I know how you get before d and where you, like, hyper-focus. Because oh, she could just be hungry. 
Oh, uh, maybe she just wants to She was food. over here chewing on a fork. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and she keeps trying to eat Andy's meat stick. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a, uh, I gave Barnabas. her some ground beef. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Barbara, steal yourself. you. And uh, you have to succeed on a constitution saving throw. That's where you gotta be a Viking. I am a Viking. Yeah, Daddy, they suck. Are you hungry? I'm going to twist his right. Really oh, jeez. So I roll a disadvantage. Yeah. Right? Yep. I just take the lowest. Oh. Uh, what is it? They don't look good. No, it's not good. I'm dying of onism. <laughs> You're dying of onism. Uh, <laughs> That's how you said? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven does not succeed. All of a sudden, you are you are racing forward. You are you you you've got your target in sight. You feel like you've you're you're on top of the world when your feet lift off of the ground. Oh no! All of a sudden, you feel weightless. You're being pulled up into the air. Ten, fifteen, oh, no. twenty feet into the air, and we'll simulate that with the blocks that we have. Uh, put uh, Barnabas up on. Uh, uh, do you want me to use a pillar? Two blocks. Is this an anti-magic field? Not anti, yeah, anti-gravity two, two field. Two blocks to represent. Uh, Reverse gravity? Uh, That's what it's called. 20 feet. Holy Ow. shit. Um, I love these blocks. Yeah, this is pretty cool. What? Oh, this is a doll. Down here. Oh, this is a doll. Uh, it's it's clearly, it, 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 it clearly is requiring this a great amount of concentration from sweet. Flavio in order to hold you there, but he puts his wand back and he's getting ready to, to engage the rest of the battle as he seems to feel that you, you he's... Uh, neutralized you, Barnabas, because there you are, 20 feet up. Nothing to grab onto. You, you're you just floating in space. You're levitating. And coward! <laughs> uh, that'll be the conclusion of his turn. It's Totalis' turn. Totalis, uh, he is going to... Where is Totalis? Is he the center, center oh, bro? Oh, he's this guy, yeah. He's center bro? Um, Tatalis, uh, seeing, uh, what has happened to Flavio, uh, is going to also reach down. He also is going to use, uh, his magic, and he whips uh, out, uh, a number of beans that spray out from the, from the wand. Uh, I guess beans! He loves beans. In one moment. This is beans! This is food! <laughs> this is beans! <laughs> this is food. <laughs> Thank you for the raid casters and cantrips. Hey, well, hey, we're hey. having a big coliseum fight Thank against you. five magic casting ogres. Uh, it's pretty intense. Okay, uh, three darts shoot out from Totalis's wand and hit uh, hit you, Scrim. They just hit you. What? Each one does 1d4 plus 1 damage. Oh, However, you're going to need missile. to make three concentration uh, saving throws for each. So I'm normally at advantage because of my abilities. Great. So you could dread me to make it straight. Oh, very interesting. But I am at advantage for concentration is, saving throws. It, where, where is that coming from? Uh, it's one of my Eldritch. Uh, like, I think mm. Eldritch. Eldritch really? fortitude. I yeah, think I took, so I have advantage on concentration I'll saving hold throws. On them, I'll hold on to them to see how, how we do. Uh, but it's only for maintaining spell concentration, so not not advantage on all concentration. Not all, all concentration saving throws. Just, just to maintain my spell concentration. Okay, that's good to know. So three uh, concentration saving throws? Yes, exactly right. And I just have to get higher than a 10 I'm plus... Not, I'm not going to twist any of them. Okay. Uh, that's a 10 yep. plus, what, 5? I Plus my constitution, right? Yeah, what's your con? Oh, that's probably not 5. That's a good point. Sorry, I will check. It's it probably, back. like, plus 4. Plus, plus four. 4. It is plus 4. So, yeah, so that was a 14, so that one's good. That's a 20. Yeah, you're good. One more. Can I twist to fate this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to do it. Odds, that, like, what are the uh, odds of that? A one and a three. Do have, like, can I use two twists just to be sure? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do I just re-roll? Both of them. Because yeah. you're at advantage. Or no, you just, this is an add another die. Yeah, it's yeah, a that's a 16. And then, yeah, yeah so, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, so then I pass the last one. Thank you for the twist. So I you hold on to your concentration. I do, I do. Uh, But you take 12 I, points of... Jesus. Uh, force damage. Ow, ow, the ow, three well, guards. that's <laughs> right so far. Ow, fuck, ow, fuck, fuck, fuck. Stab into you, and that's the end of Totalis' turn. Uh, he's gonna walk forward 10 feet, and then, Taishan, you're up. Uh, I move, uh, closer a little bit. Just right, uh, right next to my old pal Scrim, uh, and 
Actually. No, I can't. Um, I will shoot a firebolt at Flavio. Mm -hmm. Flavio, Hotman. <laughs> That's a... 19? That hits. Alright. Well. Uh, six points of fire damage. Six points of fire damage to Flavio. Flavio, Hotman. Okay. And that means he needs to make a constitution, uh, a concentration check. And he gets a natural 17. Ooh. Very good. Anything else? Uh, that's it. Anthony uh, sees you. Uh, uh, he is looking dead at you. Um, and he steps forward, getting into the center of the arena, trying to group together and, and stand in solidarity with his brothers. Yep. Uh, you you can get him right next to the other. Yep. Group them, all, forward? group them all together. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, he uh, sees you. He he was watching you with those hot peppers. He saw you make that poultice, and he knows what what perhaps you have in in store. And uh, he pulls out his own wand, and he does his own little dance, so unique from the ones that you've seen some of the others doing in this mad chaos that's suddenly broken out. He points at you and casts a spell. Uh, you need to make a wisdom saving throw, and anyone within 10 feet radius of him needs to make a, uh, the same wisdom saving throw. Ooh, that's me. They, I mean, it'd probably be it's all three of them. Except, yeah. Everyone, yeah. Except, everyone Barnabas. except Barnabas. So everyone needs to make wisdom, wisdom saving throw? Wisdom saving throw, yep. and okay. I'm only going to dread you, Taishan. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh boy, I failed. I got a seven. The DC is 16. I got yeah, a I nine. 28. Shit. <sighs> Yikes. Did you do your yeah, wisdom? wisdom save? Natural 20. Oh. I also have natural 20. Nice rolls, nice rolls. Okay, the two of you feel this fog enter your mind. You feel confusion. You feel delusions, uh, 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 uncontrolled actions. You feel that until you can clear this, that you might not have to complete control over your own uh, uh, body. Uh -oh. You're ensorcelled. You're confused. Oh, shit. Okay. I love that word. Ensorcelled. Ensorcelled is the hippodrome of, <laughs> of words. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of descriptions. Of words that aren't hippodrome. Uh, Antony does that. And Cecilio. What does Cecilia do? Right, is he right back here? there? Is this one? Yeah. Uh, he's going to dash to Jordan. He has 35 speed, so you can get him 70 feet. I'm sure you can make it. That's difficult terrain through through them. Yeah, he but he uh, shoves himself through them. Uh, okay. Uh, well, that's probably Where like, did he start? Uh, Watch Rich. He's here, the movement think? master. <laughs> I am the movement master. Yeah, yeah. He, he was there. Five, so 10, 15, 15 20, 20, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, 50, 55, 55, 60. What's his movement speed? 70. Yeah, so he, he, he can get here. He uses yeah. his full action to get up in close and personal with you, Yornir, and you feel his hot, disgusting breath uh, in your face as he is... Uh, uh, Hello there. <laughs> oh, no, you don't, because he's wearing that military mask. Instead, <laughs> instead you just see his insane metal face. Oh my god. <laughs> and uh, that'll be the conclusion of his turn. Queenie, top of the round, you're up. All right, I am going to, because um, I you see Yornir move in front of me and start screaming in this horrible language that I don't understand. Um, I believe that he is just as much a danger to me as these orcs. And now is immediately in front of me, so I'm going to attack him with both of my fables. You may choose <laughs> to do what you're doing. Yeah, or I know, you can I am. say I will choose randomly and roll to see who oh, I Oh no, he moved in front of me and called forth a six legged horse that rained lightning well, down. The sil you see the silhouette. No, I think that's justified. Yeah, no, I just that's, wanted to let you know that that option was available. That's yeah. horrifying. That is horrifying. And you're mm -hmm. now in front of me. Yeah, yeah, that's and uh, yeah, yeah, you are yeah. all my enemies. <laughs> Um, so, uh, 27 to hit, and Barely 18 misses. to hit. <laughs> the second one misses. Okay. <laughs> Doing... 18 points of damage. Ouch! 
That's huge. <laughs> Why did you do that? The force damage. Yikes. You big ogre fuck. You think you can move in front of me and you're going to deter me from winning this battle? I don't know what you did with my friends. I don't know where you t- you put them, but I'm going to kill every last one of you. And I start aiming my crossbow at all of you. Oh, my oh, Louise. No. You ogre fucks are going down. And that's what I do. You do that. And uh, everyone cheers. Uh, they, uh, there's a confused screaming in all directions, to be completely honest. As you're like, uh, well, I, aren't they all on the same side? What's happening? Um, but you, can hear the, you can hear the sound of Fangaro. He's screaming and sloshing wine down onto the spectators. And uh, that's the conclusion of your turn. Scream, you're up. I'm ensorcelled. Yeah, you what are. What I have to do? Uh, oh, uh, so oh, you get no. to roll a d10. A d10? Yep. I can do that. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. One. <laughs> <laughs> I jinxed it. Roll a d8. Oh my oh gosh. No. Three. I'm north. I'm. I would be one. Yep. Two, three. So three is this direction. Yeah. Uh, you use all of your movement to move in that direction. Okay. I. I, I will hit the Coliseum wall. And you, can, run and you cannot take an action this turn. So you run just this way? all the way into the column. Yeah, and I and then I, I, I assume that the D10 was an attempt to break the sorcel and sorcel. No, uh, at the end effect, of the turn, right? you may now make an additional wisdom saving throw. Perfect. That since that's my whole turn, right? I can't I can't make, take any other action. Nope. So uh, this is just straight up wisdom. Jesus. It was not faded. I am still in sorcery. Okay, the DC was 16. Yeah, so. not even close. Okay, you uh, <laughs> you run into the column, and uh, this just seems to make sense to you. Nice column. Done. <laughs> Barnabas. I... How tall are those pillars, the columns? 20, 20 feet? 10 feet. Each block, so 20 feet. Uh, yeah, each one of them is, is 10 feet tall. So you're, you're, you're 20 feet up, and you can see the tops of the columns. I am going to look around, and I'm going to be floating in the air. It says, ah, it's going to take more than that to stop Barnabas. I mean, Trozak the Shark Puncher. <laughs> 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 and I'm going to breathe deeply and let out a bellow like a whale. And I'm going to cast Ooh. Gust of Wind. And my attempt is to blast the wind this way. Yeah. So that I'm then able to push myself. Okay. 15 feet this way, because if you fail, you move 15 feet in, in a direction. Okay. So, and then when I get to the column, use my crab legs to climb onto it and then skitter dip. That I is, think that's a totally acceptable I love that. Move. That's so awesome. So you, you, uh, uh, you don't have your pipe, you don't have your tobacco, but you are still able to give out this great <laughs> gurse, uh, uh, burst of, uh, of wind energy, uh, just like a uh, whale uh, geysing, uh, the geyser uh, that comes out of its back, and you push yourself 15 feet. Yeah. And then, so yeah, I'm going to go 15 feet this way, and so then that's just part of the gust of wind, and then I still have 40 feet of movement. So I'm going to uh, skitter down. You would you would just be hanging in air. So you need to you need to make a check to see if you can grab, grab onto it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I would like to try to use my uh, my crab legs to to grab onto the column. Okay. Do that. Um, uh, what is that's going to be athletics or acrobatics? And I'm advantage because I'm raging. Oh, that's going to be a lot. Um, <laughs> Twenty. Nice. Twenty-two. You're barely able. One of your cr- uh, crab uh, crab claws is barely oh. able to. Uh, hitch into the top of this, and you're That's able terrifying. to uh, uh, yeah, get, get purchase. And uh, even though you still remain weightless and floatless, and you're not sure how easy it's going to be for you to crab down, uh, you are able to grab onto that column, and you can get rid of the two columns we were using to uh, simulate Barnabas. So, do I have any movement now that I've grabbed onto it? I don't know how levitate works. Once the I'm target can only move by pushing or pulling against a fixed that, object. That sounds good to me. You now yep. have a fixed object, which allows you to move it as if you were climbing. Yeah. So as long as you maintain grip, you are going to be able to. And, I, and my climbing movement. speed is my is my movement. So you so have, because you, I have, you have, you have your movement. You just try to like grip, grip the ground. ground. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah. So I'm just no, I'm yeah. actually literally just going to crab. crab you are wall. literally that is so yeah. sexy. That's yeah. so yeah. That is cool. so fucking sexy. Yeah. And in a horrible nightmare scenario, I no longer use my legs and I fucking dock ock down. You're Kenneth Brana from yeah. Wild Wild West. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. I've been taking yeah. twenty, and then I can move another twenty. Yep. So wait. Uh, 15. And then you can get and five then and I can go guy. right here. 
to That's old uh, and I would go on the ground with my crab legs and I'll say oh, you thought you could neutralize the shark puncher did ya and I am going to just I knock, I don't have a bonus action to do anything, so that's that's my turn. Uh, the ogre screams at you in return. Uh, uh, it, it's ready for fight, and it's, it's excited by the um, uh, the clear uh, in urgency that you brought to the the equation. Uh, Agrippa, you're up. That's me. Oh God. Uh, Agrippa. Which Where is Agrippa? Agrippa? Right here. Right Agrippa's next to Barnabas. the one that Barnabas is now Just engaged with. Him. Oh, he's gonna make fucking uh, attacks. This is what he's gonna do. He's gonna he's gonna uh, Wrong move, slam Agrippa. down. It's your funeral. Uh, Agrippa has a giant bat, uh, a huge uh, uh, metal club, basically the same club that you're you're carrying, mm. and he goes bam, bam. Uh, the first one is going to be. The twenty-three to hit. Uh, that'll hit. And a, a twenty-four to hit. Metal, but that'll hit as well. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, he, you got me. You got that, me. That'll do it. Uh, I'm gonna just roll one. Crap, people. Crap. <laughs> uh, you take nineteen points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh. He comes down. Uh, you, you're still is. holding on. It's not easy to dodge, so you just not have me. to take it smack into the side of your belly. You can feel a rib, not quite crack, but <laughs> oh. bruise horribly, and then smash oh. down into the into the shoulder. Uh, you see your your uh, right into the collarbone. Uh, it, it is. It's a painful experience, and you can feel it reverberate through your body. Uh, that's the end of Agrippa's turn. Yornir, you're up. Um, I'll keep waving my staff. Uh, in the air, and then uh, you'll hear the hooves sort of pass through again, another silhouette in a, in a, a crash of lightning as a huge bolt of lightning lands here, and all three of them need, need to make, uh, Anton, Antony, Agrippa, and Totalis need to make um, deck saving throws. The angry lightning wheel fuck. <laughs> I'm right, coming natural, for natural you. 20. Oh, a wow. 7. That's a fail. fail. And a uh, 14. Fail. So nice. two fail, one pet. Come on, please, hi. <clears throat> Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, way good. 22 points of damage. Ooh! Yeah, let's go. To the two that failed. Uh, and who, who were the three that we were talking uh, about? We did Totalis, to- uh, Antony, and, and Agrippa. Agrippa. Okay. Uh, Agrippa succeeded. Totalis and Antony take 22. Yeah. But 11 to Agrippa. Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got it. Uh, and then from the clouds, you'll see sort of the snow start to come down. Uh, particularly above me, and uh, snow will start to sort of obscure me, and it'll get so thick that I disappear and I become invisible. Oh, uh, until the start of my next turn. Where the hell did you go? Oh, and I'm going to try you. to sneak away, and I'm invisible. As long as I don't do damage or make an attack or cast a spell, I'm invisible until the start of my next turn. Oh, it's like, uh, what is it, Snowy Veil vale in Pokemon? Snow Veil? Vale? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's really sexy. Um, make a persuasion check. Oh, oh. Interesting. And he could still theoretically, like, if he thinks I'm moving away, if he can perceive that I'm moving away. And I would have you do the same thing, Barnabas. Me? Big roll, big roll. Persuasion? Yeah. Uh, do, you mind, do you have enough juice oh, to get through the... Yeah. Oh. Persuasion, you don't say. Skill. 16 for Barnabas. I mean, Kothak the Shark Puncher. Uh, 13 for me. Not okay. great, but could be worse. Okay. Um, that's the conclusion of Yornir's turn. Flavio is up. DC Constitution saving throw, 16. <laughs> that's a 9. Yeah, uh, it's a... A 14. That's going to fail 17 points of throbbing bone oh damage. Oh my god. <laughs> I roll almost max. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is just absolutely crippled with pain. <laughs> I have it! I have But Scrooge's too busy walking forward straight into a pillar, not going anywhere. <laughs> it's, it's like in WoW when you leave your character on yes, auto run yes, yeah, and yeah, you're yeah, walking yeah, into yeah. a wall. You're running into a mountain. I forgot, uh, I was too busy being an ogre and I forgot to cure my bonitis. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's uh, that, it's not the, the end of his turn. That's the start of his turn. What a nightmare! Where's Flavio? In hell. There. 
Uh, let me just double check that this is a concentration. Scrim's spell. over here if you're just joining us. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just chilling. I'm, I'm just vibing. Just vibing over there. Vibing. And if it wasn't clear, I dropped the gust of wind as soon as I made it to the pillar and attached uh, yeah. to it. Yeah, I think uh, that was He's obvious. gonna be forced to make a concentration saving throw. Um, for 17 points of damage, that exceeds... The, the DC is going to be increased, isn't it? What is Slightly. The, no, se- if it, no, it's it needs to be 17. 22 points of damage yeah. to increase the DC. Yeah, that's a good point. Because okay. it has to be more than he half. He maintains levels. concentration, I'm sorry to tell you, Queenie. That's okay. Uh, that's <laughs> going to be... Where is he again? He said that Flavio he... is this one. Yeah. He's going to race up and he's going to get into Barnabas' business. Uh, uh, seeing the this immediate one? threat. Yep. Yep, he, he he's going to be able to use his full thirty-five uh, points of speed, and he's going to make two attacks on Barnabas. Oh, Barnabas! Uh, the first one is going to be a. We need some misses here. No, oh, you come at me. You got to have a good amount of health, but <clears throat> uh, seventeen to hit. Uh, that does hit. That does hit. Mm-hmm. Wow. And higher than that. Seventeen is exactly my same. Mm-hmm. Seven, thirteen, nineteen. Didn't... Nineteen points of damage again with the bludgeoning. Oh, uh, so that's that's not good. Well, it's, it's having sh- it. Oh, okay. he's, I was having okay. it. So okay, I say that is a shitload of damage. Yeah, I mean he's holy shit. Where is Tatalus? Right next to Barnabas. Oh, he come at me. Uh, no, this one, quite. this one. No, yeah, no, no, he's no, in the he's middle not still. Here. He could get to Barnabas though. Well, he could get to. Ah. Squeezing rules. Is that right. a, is that a thing? Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, it technically is. I just hate it. You, well, technically, you can't like occupy other, you know, like. Right, you can't. I think in yeah, this if you scenario, can overlap this slight yeah, square, yeah, like, so I think that's though, probably uh, fine. Uh, they're huge. I mean, yeah, uh, I think they could get there. Yeah. Well, it's up to you. I I, I feel I think, like yeah, because he's only like this guy's only really halfway here. Out of yeah. yeah. All right. Damn. Okay, we're going there. <laughs> yeah, we're just fucking going there. That hits. That misses. Uh. <laughs> uh, you're gonna take eleven points of bludgeoning damage okay. as uh, Tatalis gets in on the business. Taishan, you're up. Uh, what do I have to do? Oh, uh, roll a d10 for me. Oh no. Do you know what the ten does, or are you just hoping for an out a good output? Four. Four. Nine and ten, you got. I'm take guessing you take like, no you movement take oh, and you okay. take no action. You're f- sh- like shocked away out of the combat. The f- sound of the crowd fades. The adrenaline pumping through you. You uh, feel dormant, almost sleepy. But you can try to break the ensorcel at the end of your turn. You may now make a wisdom saving throw to see if you can break through that. Godspeed, Taishen. <laughs> Godspeed with your ensorcel. Oh, twist no. it. Twist it. All right. Make him dread you if he wants to. All right, I'll double twist it. Yeah, double, double twist, twist that twist shit. It. Just do We have it. Thank you, Chad. Yeah. I'm Apologies, gonna, people salty to, about it. Oh, that, that was a natural okay. twenty. Oh, oh, let's go. Let's all go. Right. Right. Uh, break we need it. We need it. Your Taishen again. Uh, sorry, not Taishen. Shagoth of the Black Rock. <laughs> of the of Black, Black Rock. Uh, so that's the end of your turn. So Anthony. the Dragon Ogres. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's Anthony? Uh, Anthony's in the back there. He's in the back there. Uh, he is also going to advance. Let's see if he can get just behind the ogre that's closest to Taishan right now. Yeah. Uh, What's his movement? You yeah. sure you don't want to get half. on the other side we're of gonna, me, big have, fella? Have, yeah. I mean, definitely. There's that. plenty of room over here. Uh, he gets there, and uh, seeing that uh, these other creatures have been largely ignored, um, he's going to uh, use magic missile on um, Taishan. Are you concentrating on anything? No. All right, two damage, uh, four damage, and five damage. Uh, Eleven. Six, Eleven points of force damage to you, sir. Just the ensorcel break if we take damage. Yes. Oh, you're free, but you were already free. I was already free. Fuck. One of those mysterious bolts slips out of the way and hits the <laughs> for uh, a single point of damage. Where's Cecilia? Take like 12 points of damage. It was right before I got in source. Uh, yeah. This one, the front, the front, the front guy, the hell, the giant vanguard. Guard. And you're invisible, you're on here. Mm-hmm. Yes, yep. I have snow veil and the runes. <laughs> he pulls out his wand 
makes a few gestures and his biceps double in size. Oh, yeah. He races forward to you, Tyson, oh, and he swings down and he attempts to grapple you. Oh, you little bitch! He's gonna he's gonna mountain you and crush your skull <laughs> like a, like an overripe melon. Yeah. <laughs> One moment. Oh, Whoa, I'm man, I have to strength contest him? Uh-oh. <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> the, the runes are <laughs> giving oh, no, you no. whoa in your first, favor. First he needs to make an unarmed no strike hold. against you. <laughs> okay. And he does that, does a 22 hit. <laughs> the runes say you're going to have a bad day. <laughs> You are now dead. Tarus. Tarus. I love your knees. Your knees. Your knees. Tarus. 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 Damn. Yeah, you, does anyone know if you cast shield at a higher spell level? Does it do anything? No. Nope. Nope. Alright, it hits. <laughs> It hits. Yeah, he he hits. pulls his huge, massive, crazy, insane tree trunks of arms around you. It's like super low. And you are crushed. And you realize that uh, it's oh. his goal. It's his goal to start to get tighter oh, and crush yeah. tighter and crush tighter. You are now in a bear hug of oh, pain like and it. torment. Huh? Do you have mage armor on? Or misty step? No. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how to. What? I don't think I have that. Uh, you should get it. <laughs> Queenie. My you're dragon? up. You're going to be like 19 as a dragon sorcerer. I'm going to look crazy. forward and I see the, the two ogres hugging each other. I don't care. <laughs> I'm looking for the the uh, sneaky, icy fuck that is escaping my grasp. I can't find him. So I am going to lock eyes with the only other ogre that I've engaged with, Agrippa. And I'm going to let loose two more bolts Good. on Agrippa. Mace, can you tell me what those numbers are, please? Uh, eighteen and a ten. Big money, big money. So twenty. So, 20, so twenty that's... and twenty-eight. Their AC is fifteen. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. Can you add those up? Okay, three, five, nine, nineteen total. Nice. And that's including the ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, yeah. You rolled one, two, two, that's four. Uh, nineteen <laughs> points of force damage to Agrippa. <clears throat> nineteen points of force damage. He gets stuck by another two arrows, and he see the sunflowers burst out from uh, his mm. chest, and he falters for a moment. Not only does your mind clear, and the enemy abound spells. Uh, <gasps> evaporate uh, from your mind because his concentration is broken. But he falls ah, down to one knee fuck? and he. Oh, he taps! Oh, he taps oh, out! Oh, yeah, what a. Agrippa bitch. taps out. <laughs> it's like in like WoW him? where they beat, they think Neil, and yeah, then they, they become untargetable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> give him a tap out token and he'll oh. use his next turn to exit the battle. Am I free? But it's understood that. Uh, no, 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 he's here, he's here. It's understood that uh, he is uh, no longer uh, in bounds for the purposes of this combat. And what happens if we like, kill him? Yeah, what if we kill his ass? Though. Unless you were to, yeah. Okay. God does not we're fear. We're true ogres, we, we follow the code. Oh, do we? I was going to say, gods don't fear mere mortal ogres. <laughs> no, we, we still. We're the ones who established the code, I'm Mr. Bones. my teeth with his bones. Very <laughs> Very good. Mr. Bones has fucked the code! Do you do, do anything else? Uh, no, I, I look around and I'm like, oh my god! I almost killed oh, that's oh, my poor friend! And that's it. Scram, you're up. I'm still on Sorcelled Ben. I, I was confused on which one lifted the spell. Come on! Come on! Two! Yeah, I think you might be. I'm doing the same it, thing. Yeah, I'm always doing. No, no, no. You it's, just look at that. Boy, that's a nice column. It's just, it's just so nice. You do not take any actions. Uh, come on, nor do, nor do you move. Come on, wisdom saving throw. You got this. DC 16. I think we twist this to hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So fail. Fuck, that's an 11. I'll twist twice. Two twists. Twist. Two twists. Twist. 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 I have plus five. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Two out of three. There we go. 21. There you go. We're good. Mister Bones. That's my turn. In front of us. <laughs> uh, which one looks ru the ru rougher? Or, I don't know if any of them have taken damage. Uh, who are the two that are? Uh, Flavio uh, and Totalis. They should have all uh, taken damage. 
Oh, yeah. Between I don't think lightning? Anthony. I don't think no, Anthony's team. No, between the... Oh, between the oh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, don't I think, think you're right. Total I, don't, I also don't think Cecil is. Slightly rougher than Flavio, but they both look just on the uh, edge of bloody. Oh, Tal Totalus is the one without the... He had his fist, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I said I'd find you as I lunge forward with my gauntlet. Uh, Punch him in the throat. <laughs> Collapse his tree. Uh, that'll be a natural 20. Let's go! As I was like, I you know why they call me the shark puncher? And I'm going with my gauntlet first. Uh, and to try to smash into him to hopefully get a natural 20 and activate my crusher feet. Uh, as he looks down, we're going to need a bigger <laughs> boat. Uh, I'm going to roll um, for this purpose. Good time tonight. Oh, no, wait. It's a D8. Uh, do we, it, wait, do I have a brutal critical? Uh, not, no. no. I think it's seven. seven or eight. I yeah, seven. Uh, okay. Uh, that is uh, nine plus uh, five, which is 14, uh, plus two, 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Ouch. And all attacks on him as his armor, whatever he has, is, is smashed and cracked. Uh, everything's advantage on him until the end of my next turn. Nice. nice. And then they'll say, there's the punch, now here's the shark! And they <laughs> matching, a shark hand is go uh, going, a shark head is going to be going in to uh, attack him uh, twice. And you're advantaged. Yeah. Well, oh my god, that's yeah. so oh, good. Anyway, I'm advantage nice. anyway. Uh, the first one is... The, uh, the rest of us are all... 21. Dead. That hits. Nope. That is cocked. And then 18. That hits. Do both of those hit? 15. Is there AC? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mage armor, by the way, is the exact same thing as your common bloodline. Oh, oh. It's, it's, it says 13 plus dex, yeah, okay. which yeah, is you, what Draconic okay, Bloodline is. So, okay. Never mind. 7 plus 10 is 17 plus 4. Wait, seven, uh, 17 plus 4, 21 uh, points of piercing damage. Wow. As, as then Huge. The, other, the other hand will go in and the shark will uh, tear into his flesh twice. Nice job. Uh, you tear so into him. Uh, his helmet flies off. Uh, he, 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 he's um, <laughs> struggling to get his hands out from your, your shark mouthed hands. And uh, you can tell that he is on the edge of tapping out, but he's trying to stick with it. He thinks that perhaps he can, he can turn the tide. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not going to push him forward. Knock him. Oh, wait, do I have to knock him forward? I might have to. Uh, no, I think no, you may. It's your no, choice. Yeah, so, no, I, I don't. Yeah. I don't want to knock him away. Good. I'm going to keep him right in front of me. So that's my turn. A grip of dashes for me. Just out of the, just off the field of play. I let him go and not take an attack of opportunity. That's right. Do you want the bean back? I don't know, You're here. The storms are still going. I will. The snow will sort of dissipate. And you'll see Yornir appear uh, out of nowhere as he's spinning a staff, and a bolt of lightning will come right here. God, what is the spell? I need to reread Call these lightning. Spells. Call, Call lightning. lightning is fucking outrageous. It's insane. It's very good. Uh, Totalis. That's how I got crummy killed, remember? Uh, Antony and Flavio need to make uh, deck saving throws. It's not quite as good as osteoporosis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Totalis succeeds. Antony. Uh, oh my god. It's that, a dexterity yeah. saving okay. throw? Deck save. And You're, the DC's 16. That's right. Okay, so natural 16, 9 doesn't succeed, and then an 8 doesn't succeed. So, again, so one Anthony and bills. Flavio are going to take the full brunt of that. So 19. Huge. If they, or... 8. Uh, 9. Or 9. 9. Stop, and, I heal! 19 uh, he or fails, 9. Uh, Flavio uh, fails his uh, concentration check, so you no longer are in the effects of... Uh, uh, levitate. Levitate. <laughs> <laughs> How much is this? Uh, it's either 19 points of damage if they failed, or nine. a 9 if they passed. Wow. Yeah, you're just rolling like hot fire. Yeah. Bitch. Okay, so Totalis steps out. <laughs> Uh, he thought he, was, oh, wow. he he thought that he could hold on, but he uh, it can't endure the sudden <laughs> pain as quickly as possible. Beat the shit out of him. Yeah, yeah. You guys are doing very well. How's everyone looking? I told you. Me. Yeah, I'm I look fine. I look confused. Does Anthony and Flavio are uh, looking at their brethren. Agrippa has bloody. turned and run, and uh, they are shocked to find themselves in the position that they find themselves in. Good turn. Oh yeah, I'm done. Flavio, yeah, it's Flavio, and Flavio feels as though his bones are about to be exposed through his flesh. Oh. 
<laughs> this is really funny. He takes half damage if he fails? Yeah. All right. Um... He has one hit point. <laughs> I'm not going to read the constitution. I'm not going to even roll the constitution saving throw because I could get a natural 20. Well, he won't die. He'll just fall unconscious. He dies to osteoporosis. No, 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 he has one hit point to the to threshold, threshold to the that tap I'm using out. for tap out. So then he's just he's just he's just yeah, at yeah yeah. Oh my bones! Yeah, how, how do you want to do that? <laughs> I I want him to basically. Like this whole time he's been in pain, he's been trying to either, he'll like reach for somebody, he winces, he like does something, he's like, ah, and then he's like, ah, he grabs his yeah. hand, and it's getting worse and worse, and he just falls to the ground and like, and like crunches up in the fetal position, like yelling as the, the air is like gasping from his lungs. Oh it just hurts. Everything hurts. Ooh. I need to go get some fish oil. <laughs> <laughs> does anyone have any milk? <laughs> Oh, now you know why they, they call him the Mr. Bones! <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a Coliseum, not a Calcium. And he uh, he <laughs> falls to his Steven. knees and he... That's pretty good! Yeah, it was a Have a meatball yeah, yeah, song! Uh, Flavio is out. Flavio is out, motherfuckers! Well, he, if that's the start of his turn, will he just immediately he'll run dash. away? He'll, okay. he'll use his... So both of them are dashing. Uh, ah, see you, losers! And, <laughs> and Tatalus. See you, losers. Exactly right. <laughs> do uh do I have to use like a bonus action or something to drop concentration? Like do I have to spend no, can, no, at any point just turn okay, off on my off. turn I will turn it off so he doesn't die of osteoporosis <laughs> like off screen. <laughs> Anthony. Uh, no, turn. it's Tyshen's turn. Oh, what well, I'm grappled by you're this. Being, you're being crushed to death. Yeah, being crushed I'm being crushed to death. Yeah. Uh, what who, do you want me to do about that? Crushing you to death. It's, it's the seal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so you're, you're, you're grappled. So you can attack my him, or you can do like spells and shit. I think. But yeah. Whatever. You're yeah. grappled as you're chained. Can you? Guys, no normal spell. I don't know. Yeah, you can do plenty of spells. Okay. Your grapple is zero. Zero movement is zero. And he's in melee range, so you'd be disadvantaged on a range on a range attack. But if yeah, it's a, if it's a saving, saving throw, yeah, it doesn't matter. You're crushing my range. Uh, <laughs> well, I would be disadvantaged on a spell. On a spell attack. Range spell attack. If it's a ranged touch attack, or if it's a touch spell attack, it's fine. Crush my bones in the <laughs> afternoon with Cecilia. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Um, in my but just twist it. Uh... If you oh, fail, no, I just don't want to, you know, you so many twists. Well, all I've I done mean, is like, twists, and all I've been is. Yeah, yeah. Come on! Yeah, all right, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. The lovely our, folks our in the Vantage Family are doing Okay. Um, I will attempt to hit him with a spell attack. Oh, yeah. Disadvantaged. <laughs> okay, well, right, that's a natural one. All right, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to twist it. I'm going to twist it. I'm going to use two. I'm going to use two. I don't know why I listen to you. I don't know why I listen to you. Is every roll is this advantage? It's not my fault. No, no, no. no. Yeah. It's not my fault. You're I just roll fucking two. suck. Uh, uh, no, that was that a 10. A, it was a 10. A, yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, so yeah. 17. Yeah, that was 18. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. So it hits. Um, and I'm gonna take this opportunity where yeah, I'm letting this happen. I'm gonna take this opportunity where the only thing I've ever done has happened successfully. Let's go. Um, yeah, use your oh, all fuck. your sorcerer points. Is it um, what time of day is it? It's day. It's, 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 it's the middle of the, of the afternoon. Okay. And it's a beautiful. It's like, it's like it's a beautiful it's sky out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a sunny day, so fires, yeah. so fire attacks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm being instantly charged. Yeah. 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 Well, that's exactly what I was asking. The material component for the spell that I customized for him has a very cool condition. Oh, I yeah. need sunny day to use my spells. So I'm, oh. uh, I, I'm getting crushed by Cecile. Classic. Uh, I'm, I'm in uh, his burly grip, uh, and I look up. And I see the sun shining down on me, yeah. and I bask in its glow. And I open both my palms. Correct. I open the left, and it starts to glow with the white hot light of the sun. Oh. And I open the right as I twin spell. Let's uh, go, sun scorch. Oh, oh baby, um, that's you're, nasty. There's a fire in your belly and the. No, 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 this is, I'm just coursing oh. with the sun. No, my hand know, glows with an awesome yeah, power. My yeah. hand glows with an awesome, awesome power. power. Yeah, yeah. And its righteous might is uh, begging me to defeat you. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is he wearing any metal? Um, Cecilio? Yeah. Oh, he has a leather band. He's 
This is Cecilio, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's wearing a military ma- mask made of metal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So he's going to oh, take. Toast. So for one sun scorch, you, he's going to take three d10 fire damage and then one d10 radiant. You're actually just going to kill him out. So he's going to he's going to take he take any damage. He's so going to take eight d10 oh. damage. Six d10 will be fire. Two d10 will be radiant. You're literally going to cook oh. his brain. Instantly. Plus plus four damage. Two d10s. Yeah. Oh, if you have, I only have the one d10. So yeah, I'm going to cook his entire <laughs> brain. Dungeons and Dragons so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, oh, these are all details. It's Wait, going to be. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. It's gonna be like uh, season three of Korra. Yes, <laughs> with the, the with, with the combustion moment. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. His head is literally just going to explode. What's yeah. the? Is that ten? Yeah. Yep. Zeros is ten. Nine. Jeez. Wow. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. yeah, you actually just yeah. murdered a man. I would love for this guy to get one shot. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, th- these are all the D10s. So you rolled six. So six, far. so that's 19. That, so this would just be the fire damage if this is six. Yeah. This is 15. Oh, fuck. Man, I need to get no, back no, to no, playing no, no, Chuckles tw- with the sorcerer yeah, stuff. 10, 19. No, oh, 25. Yep, yep. Oh. <laughs> 25, 34, Holy 38, shit. 42. And then that's just the fire damage. Forty-two, plus. forty-two for the fire damage. Oh, plus four. I think it's plus four for my. Fl- oh, I wrote it here. Yeah, plus four. So forty-six. Forty-six. Plus. I said forty-four. Forty-six. Forty-six. Well, I almost said plus eighty-one. Plus nine. Fifty. Five. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Right? Yeah, fifty-five. Yeah. yeah. Total. And you gotta do it like a dragon ogre. Yeah. Make a persuasion check. Whoa. Oh, actually, I'm, a persuasion or an intimidation. I check. wonder Your what choice. those are. Oh. What those are for? Uh, it's, I think we're persuading uh, the crowd. Uh, the, military uh, Jones. Ooh, the, uh, persuasion. The, uh, persuasion. Fabian. Or, uh, yes. Fabian, right? Fangaro. Yes. Uh, Fangaro. We're, we're, we're <laughs> Luce, persuading Lucian. Lucian. Fangaro. Can I twist this? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna use two. You're charismatic. Yeah, I am very charismatic. I just my dice. Oh, work. I am Tai Shen. <laughs> You're not rolling hot tonight. I, I roll very terribly. Oh, okay. There we go. Eighteen plus seven twenty-five persuasion and fifty-six damage. Okay. Okay. Straight to this. I I blast. I turn my palms upward and aim straight at his metal helmet, <laughs> and I blast boat two twin beams of sun scorch. Oh, oh, yes. Open your yeah. mouth. Put the yeah. token of tap out on Cecilio. Done. Get uh, wrecked. Was that just one shot? Yeah. That yeah. he went. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for the threshold that I had in mind. He, oh and my the, the god. The quality of your persuasion check. I mean, you just did fucking like 55 points of damage at 56, least. 56 right, points yeah. of That's damage. That's some ogre god level stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You. you Charge into him, blasting radiant up, flaming beams in, up into turns the air. Into a fucking grill, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like that. He falls to his knees. He releases you from the hug. He drops down. You are are feeling, uh, yeah. That's why they call him Blood of the Black Rock of the Dragon Ogres! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you, Chad. That was like eight twists to, <laughs> yeah. to accomplish Thank one you. attack. Falling yeah. apart, he uh, is crawling towards the portcullis on his side of the arena, and uh, that brings us to Antony's turn. <laughs> Do you know this guy moves? Well, he's no, he, he, oh, okay. he, yeah, he'll go. Yeah. He'll go, but... Yield, 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 yield. Yeah, everyone is yelling that for sure, for sure. Death but bonds. there are those Bruce. who believe in Antony, and Mister Bones is coming. <laughs> pulls out his wand, and uh, in a panic, he seems to. You, you all, you all, ah! you all need a taste of what it means to be in Helga Heaven. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> It's uh, kind of threatening. Uh, Scrim. Kind of threatening. He no. He just wand at you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And he casts a spell. <laughs> I'm going to use a twist of dread on this. Uh-huh. So I'm rolling a disadvantage? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he casts a gun. Prepare for Ogre. I need to make a charisma saving throw. Oh, that's where you're that's where you're I am a disadvantage though, but I'm so still. so that's, I will. Saving throw. Scrim will be like feeling like he's he's in a position of power because mm-hmm. we're ganging up five v one. I will, you know, Scrim will be like, Rah! and then he just sees the wand playing. He's gonna be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're good. I got a 17. You're good. I rolled a 9 as my lowest, plus 8. One more twist, just to see. Oh! Wow. <sighs> but hey, it's straight now. It's straight. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled a 4. <laughs> so I got a 12. Oh! oh. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh, you all watch as Scrim out of existence. And Scrim. <laughs> He's this die move. What <laughs> moment? <laughs> uh-huh. you're, you're facing down a group of menacing gladiator ogres in a hippodrome with hundreds of spectators. <laughs> the next, you're falling and you <laughs> land hard on a rocky surface. <laughs> The smell of ash and smoke and sulfur fills your lungs. Oh, no. One moment. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You crash into the ground and oh, find fuck. that it is a sheer slope. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. Oh, he's going to be fucking face to face. 20. With net, dirty 20. Dirty 20? Yeah. Nice. You uh, take half. Is, is this so uh, five damage? Is, uh, okay. Bludgeoning damage. Uh, three. Ah, and you start to tumble down this slope of this seemingly infinite incline, but you slide to a stop. Rocks and pebbles roll and shift all around you. Every surface seems to glow red like the interior of a volcano. Oh, what the fuck? You what see the a fuck? massive plumes and explosions erupting from this strange sloped place at varying distances. There is no sky above you, just a pitch black void. And then you see an impossible sight. It's hard to judge how far away it is because of its sheer scale. A mile, five miles, 50 miles? The colossal scale makes it unbelievable and unknowable. You see a spired city of warped buildings, grays and blacks and reds, twisting towers and turrets and domes entangled by a myriad of bridges and spans and gangways. Thousands of smokestacks belch toxic smoke into this bizarre and tilted, harrowing realm that you now find yourself in. The dark city moves is moving. The fumes that rise from the city tell this tale, and you have a horrible realization. Somehow, even on this treacherous, slanted, slopey hill that you find yourself on, the city is creeping. Moving quickly, even. You see what can only be described as thousands of fiendish legs grafted under the massive lower deck of this city, racing and working the city up and up and up. 10, 20 minutes and the city could very well be right on top of you. You have been banished. I begin to scream. (laughs) (laughs) And that'll be the conclusion of Antony's turn. What? The f- what? I actually know what's happening. What? I call that as my favorite moment. Fuck! Holy shit! I will. Um, where the hell did Scrim go? Bees? <laughs> and then I will shoot two arrows at this guy. Can you roll my dice? Yeah. What, to hit? Can you roll That's two? the coolest yeah, fucking yeah, one that's ever yeah. happened in this campaign. <laughs> oh, this is like the most heavy, nice. heavy metal riffs are blind. Yeah. Did you put a slow, heavy, yeah. slow death metal <laughs> in the distance? <laughs> what is the name of the blind guy from the seven. Fury Road? Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 17 and 28. Guitar flames. 17 and 28 to hit oh. for Queenie. Both hit. Okay. So roll 2d8s, 2d6s. And add I love that you've just been Dagny babying this entire time. <laughs> <sighs> I, got, I got sucked to hell, guys. Yeah. You literally got sucked to hell. <laughs> 20, oh, damage. <laughs> 20 damage. 20 damage on Ow. Antony. How would you like to do this, Queenie? Um, As he taps out. One those. in each eye. Yeah. Uh, Pierce his brain. Only one of those was a fey bolt. That was my last fey bolt. So the first nice. arrow sinks into him. The second one with the um, large bee, it's a queen bee, which is the last one of them. 
And as it hits him and it stings into him, you watch as his face begins to swell up. He's allergic to bees. <laughs> <laughs> EpiPen, go! Um, you see this Anthony drop and he uh, falls to the floor and he immediately uh, uh, undoes his concentration. You see Scrim pop back into existence and drop down next to the column where he was and he lands with a thud, looking very different. Oh, hey, uh, Scrim! The, 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 the little time that he's been gone. And uh, Antony and the rest of the ogres are crawling back and the crowd goes wild. That's why they call her Smash Mouth! Ah! I'm screaming. <laughs> oh. Goodness, uh, that's not what I want. One moment. There it is. That's up there. The crowd is screaming. They are uh, destroying their throats uh, in excitement for the uh, display that's uh, that's been put out. You can hear Fangaro from the uh, top box uh, yelling out, uh, uh, nearly like throwing up, burping, and 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 <laughs> shouting in victory at the same time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> himself. You can tell he's changed his room three times yeah. since combat yeah, he's begun. Four, he's four yeah. shades down the hook. That yeah, he's yeah, before, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> He, he's he's screaming out. You can't hear him though over the sound of uh, the eruption of the stadium all around you. What are you guys doing? <laughs> he gets um, struck by a lightning. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? I just smell um, the clouds. Yeah. I am gonna step towards the middle, and I'm gonna my voice is gonna boom out, and I'm gonna say, "Hey now, we're the All Stars. <laughs> we got our game on, and we played." Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would, leap, I would leap up behind her and just just explode dragon's fire breath into the air. Um, yeah. Okay. And as the snow bank finally, from the, the snowy storm, uh, fades away, I'll say, that's why they call him Frostguard! And I'm going to use all of my charges of rage to shift into different sharks. I'm going to grow a, like a, a massive spiked shark tail, uh, and I'm just going to be mutating, uh, tearing my, 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 my mouth will stand, Sperm whale. and I'll get like a, a, a horrible, <laughs> um, a horrible uh, shark-like face, uh, and I'm I'm just going to be mutating like crazy. Megalodon. You do that. Uh, you do that. You've been, it truly starting to embrace the bestial change that is within you and, and what you are being empowered to do. And uh, Hammerhead, uh, 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 Basking Shark, a, uh, a Great White, uh, all of these shapes are, are, are coming out of your body as, as you guys start to uh, make your way off the arena. Can I make a point? You may make one point. You know that a puppy trusts you completely when you can scream all star <laughs> and she doesn't even flinch. <laughs> Yeah, she literally <laughs> give that doggo a kissy for me. I, you, I can't. You she's can't. She's, she's, she's a little little collapsed forward. Yeah. Just, just, just a little here. There it is. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh. In after uh, celebrating with the crowd and seeing uh, Fangaro um, clearly uh, uh, delighted, uh, you make your way back off of the hard pack, past the columns, through the tunnel, back into the armory that you were. Equipping yourself in, and Manius is there. Well done, well done. You you proved your worth. You you swept them aside with your hand like 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 like, like nothing. You you were unbelievable. What magics you are capable of? What what finesse? I can't believe you, elder spirits. I knew it from the very start. I said it. Are you now convinced? That we are who we say we are. I've been convinced since yesterday. All right, well, what about lotion? Fangero will be very agreeable, I'm sure. Not just because you showed the, the true spirit of, of, of what it means to be an ogre, but you entertained the crowd as well. It, 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 it is without question. Without question. I would... Have us go up and talk to him, but I understand that he is fast asleep. So, <laughs> I propose that we make our way into our carriage and make our way back home. Uh, it has been a successful day. We have tomorrow our, 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 our meeting with uh, Seneca, uh, the house of, of, of uh, a drama, of art, oh, of well, theater. We're going to kill that one. We, 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 we're going to be able to do this one after the other, day after day. Forever. And soon you'll oh. be free, and we will be able to talk about what 
messages you have from heaven as soon as we've proved it to the world of Okerton. Each one individually? Oh, yes. Yeah, it wasn't even a challenge. Hopefully the next house will be a little bit deadlier. Just four to go. Uh, we'll handle it. I told you ogres had layers, like onions. And I have my own challenge that I must administer, the House of Knowledge. We we, 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 we must make sure that you understand uh, the, the, that education and knowledge is important, of course. I hope we're on, like, a really shitty game show. Like the kind you would find on Game Show Network. Leopardy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it smell like uh, Lucian is here with his sh- pants full of shit? <laughs> oh, that's just scram. <laughs> Are you? Are you doing? Are you doing a rattle bones? You shoot bones. yourself when they sent you to Ogre Heaven, Mister Bones. You seem. You seem like. Uh, you. 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 Uh, you look like the others uh, ogres that you uh, sent back to the to their side of the arena. There. <coughs> no, he's just doing his rattle bones. After a great fight, he needs to just rattle his bones. You know how Mister Bones is. Uh, return your weapons. Uh, I assume you can keep what we took from the bistro, uh, Daisy. Uh, uh, make sure, make sure that you have everything that we need, and uh, uh, let's all let's all make our way uh, to the carriage. I'm just gonna walk out, and as my shark arms uh, retract into my arms, I just drop the uh, uh. the gauntlets onto the ground. I don't like put them back. Yeah, okay. I'll drop my staff and my uh, shield. I'll okay. keep my pepper. You keep your pepper. Yeah. You keep, I'll keep the staff, actually. You keep the staff. Yeah. Okay. Might we be able to celebrate it, said Bistro, with a nice, maybe, half sandwich, soup, and salad? <laughs> I'll say that you do that. But for the sake of I don't know, you guys have a delicious meal, and you make your way back to... Do they have caprice? You make your way back to... I call that uh, as my favorite moment. The house of the... Um, do they have fried pickles? Of Blaginius. Yeah. The, the time could have used more They have balls. everything that they could ever give you that will make you fat as someone that they are going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they're going to give you all the food in the world. I yeah. want fried pickles. In the you got all lunch. of it. And they're not, they're not just fried pickles, but they have like a slab of butter on top. I like. also want fried pickles. <laughs> Ooh. Can I have some of those? Yeah. Okay. You got they have mozzarella stuff? <laughs> yeah, delicious. Great. Like extra fried. Oh no, they're like fancy. So they're fried. mozzarella right. squared. They have yes. the <laughs> mozzarella yes. triangles. Yeah. Triangles. Ah, oh, it's yeah. fancy. Yeah. You can charge. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, the cheesiest cake. They're like tall cheesecake too. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With like uh, strawberries Gouda. and the whole thing. Gouda. Howda. 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 Late night. <laughs> <laughs> Full of wine and food and victory, and the plus. five of you, the six of you, make your way back, back, back to the and House of Knowledge, again. where Bliginius calls his home, calls his family. And uh, as soon as the, uh, the two carriages stop and the polar bears start to themselves, because they're quite intelligent, make their way to their own stable, uh, the um, you, you something is a little amiss. <sighs> You, uh, a vassal, runs out and uh, immediately starts communicating with Daisy. She turns and she says, there's been some commotion since we've been gone. What happened? Uh, I I understand that there was someone who was pregnant here. Oh, no. Yes? Uh they've, They've given birth. Oh. Oh. That's great. Congratulations. Well, not me, but... But, oh, well, I know that. Well, the, don't the you don't you want to go? Wait, well, yeah. And see. Sure. Sure. I got it. I guess. I guess. We'll give yeah. our godly <laughs> blessings to the new ogre child. Can you tell Manius? Yo, Manius, your wife had the baby. But congratulations. My wife wasn't pregnant. Do you oh, mean? Shit. Do you mean? Oh, is the caretaker vassal? The, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, vassal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, I thought your wife I was I thought that was going to happen last week. It's been a little overdue, to be honest. She looks like a whale. <laughs> that is a horrible thing to say. I fucking got her. I'm going to go check on the new, the new mom. And I'm an ogre. <laughs> <laughs> have a good night's rest. I'm going to go and have a good night's rest myself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're more than I could possibly have imagined. And he makes his way, and the five of you, the six of you, the seven of you, uh, all make your way down to the quarters. Not the space where you have a private room, but to the same bunk bed-like commons room that uh, you actually came to understand and know, Scram. And it's here that you see uh, Fraldina, 
uh, holding a small baby child. Hey, April Dina, congratulations <laughs> on your new baby. Now and scrim. <laughs> she, I mean, as long as I'm playing DJ. The thing she, about hell. She uh, holds up her baby, and uh, uh, you can see the, the the surrounding, you know, two dozen uh, vassals of the House of Ed, uh, Education, the House of Knowledge, and uh, holding out her baby. She's. You want me to hold her? Look, look her hand. Just, yeah. just, just see see the child, and they're all they're all smiling. And uh, Daisy, this is this is when our our final cry happens. I was gonna just ask if the baby's crying, and the child. <laughs> begins to scream. And that's where we'll call the night set. Oh no. What? Oh no. If we're going to find out how how or why they're not able to speak. Bum, 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 Final bum. cry. That's awful. That's a terrible, like, ugh. We're not done. Uh, Don't go anywhere. Uh, uh. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. What's next, Andy? What's next is Evangelist and Chill, which is a special segment we do after every stream session of D&D that we play, which is a perk for our patrons and our subscribers, where we uh, talk about our favorite moments, we talk about uh, what we think is going to happen with theories and whatnot, but most importantly, we answer all of your questions and comments. So, if you've been on the fence about maybe becoming a patron or subscribing with Prime or whatever, uh, now's your chance uh, to hang out with us a little bit extra as we do a debrief. And, uh, you know, and well, I think tonight it'll be.